And, uh, we're back. Let me test that audio quickly, and then we can move forward. Back. Yep, audio is working. Hi! Hey, Vision Dente! I'm alive! <laughs> After uh, having a completely unknowable illness, slash, yeah, I'm not sure what the fuck, but, uh, yeah. We're, we're alive now. We, we are... No, no, just, it, it's, it's like allergies, hives, everywhere. Oh, 42 minutes? Rude. Oh, what's this? Yay! Oh, gosh, that auto thing is awesome. What's this? What's this? Yeah, so, and, and because it's the, it's the holidays, so I couldn't find, it's the holidays and I'm like in a different area now and no one's taking new patients, so, yay. Uh, I was, yeah, like I have no idea what it was. It's still, I've still got some hives now, but. Uh. <sighs> well, yeah. Oh, um. I will check before I move on. I'm just doing some dailies. Christmas season is always is almost over. But yeah, feeling miserable, but yeah. What did I get for Christmas this year? I got a beautiful fucking necklace from my partner, which uh, I shall wear always. Ah, <sighs> and uh. One a really cute uh, keychain. Um, oh, and he also got me um, some crowns for. Uh, well, so what he did was he bought me a Steam gift card so I could buy crowns. Hey, Asham! Welcome back, friend of the stream, Pigeon Dente. Asham, friends of the streams. Um, but yeah, he bought me like a, a card, like a, a gift card. But instead of using the gift card to buy something, I kind of used it to buy him a video game instead. <laughs> and then I worked really hard um, over the holidays and uh, bought myself um, more crowns. So, yeah. <gasps> yes, I saw that Pooch and Plush. It was so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, priorities. Priorities, like, oh, I was thinking of getting some of the crown crates today if you wanted to do a loot box opening episode. What? Ga Gamba stream? What? I do actually want to get some, but I'm not even sure if I should stream it. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that, a shame. That's fucked. Or, if you're an introvert, best thing ever. No, I'm just kidding. Like, COVID bad. <sighs> oh, but yeah, I'm still, like, very itchy and shit. Like, they, they, they were, like, massive, massive um, hives all over my body, on my face, on, on my scalp. Um, on my on my ass. On my, but the worst was when it spread to the, my palms and feet. Uh, that was painful. Oh, a shame. I'm sorry. That's bad on two levels. Then I was trying to find the bright side. I was trying to make lemonade, as I do. But yeah, um, hives on your hands, uh, not fun. Hives on your feet, um, not fun. Again, they have cleared up. Um, if you're in the um, well, it's better. I'm hoping that... See, I was staying at uh, my partner's place for a couple of days. That's why I'm so late to come back now. Um, and they've, they cleared up while I was there, right? Oops. Um, but... Okay, yeah. Yes. Hold on a second. Quick... Sidebar... Oh. Alright. They cleared up while I was away, so I'm hoping that uh, they don't come back because I've come back home. So 
uh, last night was the first night I stayed back here. Um, oh no, looks like I'm going to have to stay with Boo forever. Infused... Wait, pants, infused... Oh, it doesn't have any of these, so I'm going to have to find one which is... Okay, research. Clothing station den. You hear yourself, buddy. Oh wait, that's another clothing station. What's that? Blacksmithing? Three out of three. Oh yeah. Keeps time there. Alright. But yeah, I've got another hour before I can reset the horse um training. My gosh, though, there was someone in the Iridian chat. Of course it had to be in the fucking um, Dominion chat. So, to give you a quick... Uh, if, for those of you who aren't uh, clued into ESO lore, the Old Merry Dominion are the bad guys. They're just, they're just the bad guys. They just are. Um, the Old Merry Dominion basically forced the Khajiit to join them by threatening them with taking away the moon, which is basically like a ho threatening holocaust against the Khajiit, right? So the Khajiit is basically forced to join them in their war, uh, because if, if they don't, then the Old Merry Dominion will take away the fucking moons, which the Khajiit, um, uh, which are the furry cat, cat, cat boys uh, in this game. Um, they depend on the on those things on the moons, the Masa and Sukunda for their breeding, like to be able to give birth. Also, during the course of this game, um, the Old Merry Dominion attack the hatching pools of the Argonians in um, in uh, Shadow in was it in Black March, so uh, literally attacking baby hospitals. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Old Merry Dominion. Um, so, and also, like, I don't like the Ebonheart Pact because it's got the Dunma, and as we all know, the Dunma are fucking slavers. F fuck slavers. And, and the Telvanni can suck my, suck my lady dick. Seriously. Fuck those guys. All hoity-toity. Red Aran are okay, but, like, the Telvanni shit me. Ooh, Dwarf Fortress looks too hard to, too hard for me. I can't even do, um, I can barely do City Skylines, which is a fun game. I wouldn't mind playing it again. Okay. You too. But yeah, uh, da, 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 I've got all of those. This work never ends. I did all of the dailies, uh, most of the dailies yesterday. I'm testing out a new add-on today, which you can see happening right now, um, is um, the Lazy lit, uh, lazy Writ Crafter, which makes um, writs easier to do. First Jacobin issue, woohoo! I need to look into that. Find out more about what Jacobin is. But yeah, seems like a bunch of stuff has happened since I've gone. Chaya Riot... Chaya Riot Chak, right, Chaya Raichu, Pikachu Raichu, has had a face a face reveal. Like a 50-50 if it crashes. Really? Huh. That's not good. Well, if I go into carry, then... Actually, no, like, she'll, she'll need to... I'll need to replenish her, um... Her, uh, research anyway. So, do that. If I can. Yeah, I don't know, like, it can be a bit hit and miss with Paradox, honestly. How's my charging going? Is it actually charging? I, I reset my, um, oh, it is charging. I reset my headphones and reconnected, and now they seem to be doing stuff again. Do, 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 do. 
Hey, what was the what was the problem with SimCity again? Uh, blacksmithing. Yeah, I need to research some blacksmithing. You used to be cool, man. You used to be cool. I think I had I st I had uh, SimCity 2000. I still have the st the disc somewhere. What about Age of Empires? The ones you got from the the um um the cornflakes boxes. Well, City Skylines is a fun game. I'm just ashamed that it crashes for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Why are you doing that? Maybe they meant to. Maybe they're evil. Evil! Could be. Could be just evil. No one else. Research that tree. Sim Tower was the shit. I could never figure out how to get above, um, uh, like, 60 stories, though. Because I, I, it didn't make sense to my child brain. Oh, the Sims. How, 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 like, the only, the only, the only, um, uh, publisher worse than Paradox for... Actually, no, fuck that. Paradox is still the worst for DLC. EA is... Ca EA can be hit and miss. EA... Oh, actually, I don't know. Like, Paradox does too much DLC, but it's generally quality DLC. Like, it's actual DLC that does stuff most of the time, and it's not usually priced too much. I mean, like, it's bullshit, and they shouldn't... And, and DLC is fucking shit. But uh, EA Games has badly implemented e um, fucking DLC, like D Dead Space DLC, you know, that sort of shit. Like, it just, like, DLC that ruins games rather than ruins your wallet. You know what I mean? At least Paradox um, DLC doesn't ruin the fucking game. Which is not saying much, honestly, like... Because, like, we should move away from DLC, this DLC bullshit. EA Games. EA Games. Shit on everything. Oh. I need to install... Oh, is it dark something? Bioshock is mocking libertarian. You just found that out? You just found that out? I thought you watch. Wait. I'm sure that Hassan's talked about. No, maybe he hasn't. He's not much of a gamer. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Bioshock is like full on. Um, Bioshock takes the like uh, 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 Atlas shrugged, and goes to ex to the extreme with it. Like it is, it is a critique of um, of uh, anarcho capitalism. Like that's the whole basis of the game. That's amazing. I mean, like, that's really cool that you found out that, like, I wish that I could find out that for the first time as well, because that would be pretty cool to learn about, you know? Well. Alright, now. Um, you were in school. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. I mean, I'm not, I, I, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, like, being all, oh my gosh, you didn't know that, um, while I honestly have not finished any of the Bioshock games. I have not finished them. I just, like, get bored, I think? I get bored very quickly in first-person shooters. The reason Fallout 4 can... Like, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, like, get my attention for so long is probably because of the, the creepy lore that they keep on putting in the games. And because of the crafting and uh, looting... Um, the Fountainhead... Yeah, yeah, I mean, like Atlas shrugged. Um, what you could, what you could do. Um, wait. A shame. 
the Cavernacle's done several video, like three or four videos about how Bioshock is criti criticizing libertarians. That's that. That's that's why I was confused. It wasn't. It wasn't because you're a fan of Hassan. It's because of of um, the Cavernacle. Left for Dead. Everyone says that game. I I. It is boring to me. I'm sorry. I it. I'm sorry. It needs a gimmick. Like um. And that's just me. Like it's boring for me. I'm not saying it's a boring game. It's just me. I'm I am defective in this. Um, I did this, um, I'm working with, ah yes, I need to talk to Rhea, Rhea, I also need to do the dailies, so where are the dailies at? Yeah, I mean like, um, I, I enjoy Nazi Zombie Army with friends, like that, that game for me is more fun because it's more focused on like sniping shit, because that's much more fun for me. I find that fun. What is this lockbox symbol up here? It's like a lock thing. Breaking and entering. Interesting. Well, I've got, it, I've got it, but um, it, 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 it would take a lot for me to put down another game and pick that game up. I'm interested in playing the new, um, the new one from, like, it's basically Left 4 Dead 2, but in the Warhammer 40k universe. That'd be interesting to give it a go. You miss Cav? Why do you miss Cav? Why do you miss Cav? What's wrong? What happened to Cav? I'm so fast. Guards! Why are you so angry? Um, sorry, I'm running around because I'm I'm a mess. I I cooked a pie this morning. Now I don't even. Now I'm like not even hungry. It's just like fucking. Why are people attacking the guards? Where are oh 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 ah found them oh that's right I didn't have it it's st it's still here it's still here <laughs> it's in the lonely pie but I'm not hungry anymore it's like I haven't eaten it ah oh. I'm terrible all right let's do these writs. Continue. No. Yeah. Finish. All right. Research. Research is ongoing. I have day and nineteen hours, but I can deconstruct all of this shit. So time to do that. Now I can do the. This is the lazy lit writ the the la the the lit writ creator. They should have called it. I'm just making lits. It's lit. It's it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. Um, George Santos will be decent react content for you if you want to run out of the loop. Who's George Santos? I've got, um, I, I, I'm interested in finding out more about the Chai Raichak, uh, stuff. Ha 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 ha, it's like... Alright, so the woodworking station is there. Where's the... Oh, clothing station. Oh, I need 39 silver weave. The fuck is silver weave? Well, what is silver weave? Silver weave. Whatever it is, I don't have any of it. Silver weave robe. I guess it's something that is the I don't know what it's made out of, but if I pick up enough of um the mats, then um I'll be able to find it.
Massive Valley Girl? <laughs> Any more Silver Weave? Silver Weave! With the vocal fry. Uh, uh, vocal fry. Hey. Hey. Oh, it keeps on cutting out because it's like, that's not a real voice. Vocal fry. Alright, where's where the blacksmith? Where's the blacks? Oh, there's the blacksmith. Hi. Hi, Mr. Blacksmith! Alright. Researching. I don't know, I get, I, Australians are pretty close to the Valley Girl accent already. Because of the rising inflection that we always do. Apparently, we always do that. Even though I, the last two sentences, I didn't do that. I'm letting down my people. But we do it more than often. Is, is what I, more more than what most people would do normally. All right. Da, 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 da. Creation. All right. Craft those. Yes, threat me. Oh my gosh, Markiplier. I used to listen to him. His voice is so awesome. Ah. Uh. And then he just screamed all the time. He had such a cool voice, and then he started screaming all the time. And I'm just like, uh. I mean, like, no, 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 uh. No shade on people who enjoy that kind of thing. I don't, but that's okay. Like, it, it, it wasn't for me, it was for a different audience. It's okay. People are allowed to enjoy different things. Enchanting table. Where is the- oh, there's the alchemy station is over there. He made an OnlyFans? Fuck yeah. Go Mark. Secure the bag. That's kind of weird though, because he's like, kind of appealing to like, a younger audience. When you think about it. So... Don't know how I feel like about that. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's still weird. No. Don't say that. Oh fucking hell! If if he turns out to be a fucking groomer, if he turns out to be an actual fucking groomer, I'm just gonna like. I'm gonna be pissed. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Bind it. Yeah, well... I was disappointed when I found out about Ryan from Rooster Teeth. Like, years after the, the shit went down. Because I hadn't watched it in ages, and I mentioned that he was my favourite out of the Achievement Hunter guys, and it's just like, oh. Oh... Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, y you grow up. You grow up. Yeah, it was really bad. It was really bad. Oh, so bad. It was so bad. Hold on, I need to look this up. <sighs> what is this? Strong? Strong! Strong? Glyph of magic. Pora and Mako. Pora, 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 Pora. Where are you, Pora? There you are, Pora Zor. I know about Mako. Uh, with that. Pora, Mako. People hate Matt. Wait. Which Matt? Which Matt are we talking about here? Who's Matt?
Oh yeah, no, I don't like him. Yeah, he 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 did he like I, I don't want to ruin him for other people, but just like I don't like him. Like I fucking hate his attitude. Um and also he's like made transphobic jokes in his videos before, videos are still up, Not never really apologized for it as far as I know, but this is a long time ago, might have changed since then, so take my opinions with a grain of salt. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And he's, uh, it, it, just the way that he describes a lot of things is just like, Hey, uh, he he has a lot of really bad takes when you actually look at what he says and people talk about it. And, and the Five Nights at Freddy's. Anyone who gets involved with Five Nights at Freddy's, I tend to like... I, I, I like no shade against the game. I know that a lot of people enjoy it. I, I just... For some reason, there's, there's a direct correlation between YouTubers that start playing that game or start talking about that game and me not watching them anymore. And, and that's not because of the game. Yeah. But yeah, one too many attack helicopter jokes in his videos. That, that That's basically it. Like, literally, the one joke. He uses the one joke a couple of times and it's just like, no. I'm good. I'm good. I don't find that shit funny. I find the fact that people find it funny, funny. And I like making fun of people like that. But, um, yeah. Which one? Friday Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, I guess. Like, it's just like people keep talking about the bad lore. Or well, not the bad lore, the deep lore, and it's just like, oh, interesting. See, my favourite thing about Five Nights at Freddy's is it's basically inspired by um, J by uh, Jim Stephanie Sterling. So, yeah, that, that's, that's my favourite thing about that. Is this not a pub? I thought I went into a pub. Oh, Hughes Ma Hughes Man? No? Is this the pub? What the? Oh, okay, so the pub's outdoors. Ah, fresco dining! Bendy in the ink machine. Yeah, um... I need to play some more, um, Blair Witch. I got, I don't know if you remember me playing it, but I got stuck and in a loop and I couldn't move any further and it just kept on, kept me in that loop and I'm just like, yeah, this is boring now. So I stopped playing. I don't know if you could call them cash grabs. So I like, how do you, how do you pr even prove that? You know, someone there had fun making the game at the very least. By bomb bomb cyclone? What's a bomb cyclone? Minus ten degrees Fahrenheit. That sounds cold enough to freeze. Alcohol seems pretty fucking cold. Puppy playtime. Yeah, maybe. Um, I, 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 it's got some different mechanics in it though, doesn't it? Yeah, the horror games for kids. Yeah. I thought that the horror games for kids was, um... I mean, there's always been horror games for kids. I think what Psychonauts was one of the best ones. Psychonauts was one of the best horror games for kids. For, for a kid. Maybe Conker's Bad Fur Day had some hor horror elements to it as well. You can't tell me that was for adults. That was for teenagers. Come on. Twenty-three minutes. All right. So I need to deliver. Oh, what? Oh, okay. There isn't even a thing here. All right. 
So kids watch it in Force of Grown Spider. What is Psychonauts though? What it is a really good game. Um it's a fucking amazing game. Uh they recently came out with Psychonauts 2. Um <clears throat> it, it's it, it's a platformer, but like it, it, so Psychonauts came out on the uh OG Xbox um as one of the last like I I reckon it was probably the last of the old school um, platformer games, and it was really, really fun, really interesting. Collectathon, or everything like it wasn't rare. It was by Double Fine Studios, which is a pretty decent studio. What? How can Hassan community call ship baby game? The climate from the Arctic uh, blew down into Midwestern North. Once in a generation. It seems weird that all of these once in a generation stuff, like, it keeps happening. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely recommend it. It's a fun game. Still need to play the second one. Um, I, I was going somewhere. Oh! I think I was, yeah, I need to go to Davin's watch. Davin's watch. But yeah, I, that game, that game, and for me, it has a special place in my heart because um, it got me through. The, I I played through Psychonauts when it came out on Steam, um, while I was going through massive uh, PTSD from um, a like drug fueled fucking bender. Um, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> it can fuck you up for a very long time. Brain can take years. Yeah, psychosis is a bitch. Fucking, yeah. Oh, I'm better now, but, you know, there's probably some, um, irreversible brain damage there. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. I'm not so sure about this mount for this character. It seems too regal. I thought this would look more monstrous. Yeah, this the, the, this mod the, this add-on um, really does make things easier because it opens all the boxes as well, so I don't have to do it myself. Oh yeah. What did I pick up? Beach shield. Marcus Junk. Gloves of a Mother's Sorrow. Uh, Marcus Junk. Recipe. Also, I picked up something from the store. Check that out, check it out, check it out. My friend. This is my new friend. Azabi, the banker! This one keeps your sleekest possessions safe and sound. Your door cloud items too, if you want. It's a little kitty banker! It's a little baby! It's a little kitty bingo! She's so cute! She is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I had to pick that up. Yeah? Does yours have like as badass uh badass drip as uh, this cat does? I always forget her name though. Dang it. Alright. Survey, 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 survey. Cuff boots go away. Survey, survey, survey. Block picks, don't need that. Need that. Uh, vibrant paint set. That uh, looks like something I can sell. Um, painting of palms. Uh. 
hold on to that, because I can always use those with this character. A large laundered shipment, I need to open that up still. Um, we'll still... Freighter's Night Infusion. Okay, jewelry, armor. Marker's Junk. Galatide Sword. And... 7697. And see you on deposit. Do I have any other currencies? Nope. Strawberry hat and a banana hat for her. Thinking of buying some humiliating go go garb again though. But yeah, this is my banker. I can put I can whip her out anytime I like. A zombie. Has need of a zabi? This one is here to serve. She's so good! Alright, Pigeon Dente. You have a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, and yeah. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with, with this character. And then we'll move on to some more interesting stuff for y'all to watch. Blah! Who said that? Oh yeah, I need to get a better... You know what I might do? I, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna do the loot boxes now. Because, like, I, I never buy loot boxes, and I want to treat myself for Christmas. Little did she know this would be good. The, the, the thing. Alright. Pow. For me. Alright, let's get. Let, let's let's see what we can get. Alright. Oh, you gave me an extra one. Thanks. Thanks, bruh. All right, what you got? Uh, Crown Stout Magic Liqueur. Increased Magic uh, Recovery at scale by level. I'm going to mulch that for gems. Ooh, a costume. Pretty basic. Ancestral Honor Garment. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, it's a pet. It's a, it's a spider. Yay, spiders. Alright, potion. This is actually a pretty good, this is actually a pre pretty good result, to be honest. Mm, and the Mimic Stone. Okay. Yes, let's open another one. Show me what you got! Soul Gem, meh. Potion, meh. Writing lesson! I would rather mulch for gems. And an emote, a round of applause. Okay, yay. Disappointing. Alright. Give me some cool armor. Ugh. Stamina recovery. I can I can craft this shit. Ah, uh, pets. Pets are always good. Zertzug. Clearing wasps from the Betnik docks falls to our youngest warrior. Okay, cool. I can have a wasp. A uh, magic liqueur. What's that? Ah, oh, more magical recovery. Alright, meh. And restoration potions. Meh. A whole lot of meth for those ones. Uh, crown lesson. I'd rather buy that though. This looks valuable. Yeah, but I'd rather something like unique. These are good, but I like unique stuff. So, American near reactionary movement is about to get to get it. Wait, really? Why the FTX stuff? Why is that? Aw, oh, he's not giving me extra stuff anymore. Spellcaster elixir... meh. 50% meh. Whoa, okay. Oh, it gave me the same- wait, you can't- it, it, it can give you the same thing as before? What the fuck- how bullshit is that? That's bullshit! Alright. Uh, Next. Your rewards are red. Poison. Poison. Potion. And a face tattoo. Ah. Eh, that's cool. Marvelous rewards. Are they? Give me a mount. I want a mount. Uh, oh, Fennec Fox. Fennec Fox. Woo woo. Oh, actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like, I really like foxes, but not on this character. Um, 
Uh, Caroline Ellison, it's Mench's mold bug out of the shadows. Oh my gosh, the, all of this stuff. See, this is deep lore stuff. Ooh, stone lore guards. Yeah, that's all right. How many boxes did I have to get through to get something like outfit related? Gosh, this is a scam. That's not reasonable. You just gave me something that I have already. Shuffle your fucking deck, buddy. Give me an extra one. Select your rewards, my friend. Ooh, a fledgling terror bird. That sounds scary. A uh, combat mystics stew. Um, okay. Riding lesson potion. Yeah, see, this is why I don't buy crates and, like, loot boxes and stuff. Like, I'm so specific with the things I want that I just don't get excited about it. So it's a, a poison, like, poison, you see, I, I, I have master crafters. I can craft, like, decent enough potions that, like, that, that doesn't bother me. Like, mimic stone, I'd rather grow. Ooh, see, here you go. Come up, uh, like, I like this stuff. This is what I want. Uh, an autumnal intrigue. That looks cute. I don't know which character I'd give that to. Potion and another and a thing I've got already. Once okay. More, my good friend? Yes. Make a selection to reveal. Make me. Grand Gold Coast Experience Scroll. That's useful, but I still would rather grind that into the gems. This one invites you to try again. Okay. The lore is very deep. I have gotten this like four times, this emote. What the fuck? This is the worst sh the, Like, this, you're supposed to try and hook me with this stuff. How are you gonna get me to buy these things again? Ragu. Fucking Ragu. Now, if you want, ever wanted to look like Avatar, the Avatar does when he does wrestling matches, this is this is your look. Heart of Mara, a hey, I got a free one. Ta da! Oh, yep. Okay, cool. Ooh, a dr a Dage Rat. Let me see that. Oh no, wrong button. Whoa, that thing was cool. Yep. Alright, so, what we can do now... Look at that thing. Is we can go to gem extraction, and we can extract all the gems that are from things that we don't want to keep. So, like, I would rather... Can you... Okay. F. Yes, yes I do, of course. Like I said, I, I would rather grind for most of this stuff. And if I save up gems, then I can at least buy things that I want. Oh my gosh. That reminds me of that one, um, I, don't, I can't remember which, um, which one of the clipping complex does it, but he's got, um... That dance that he do that he did one that one time. There we go. And now we can go to the store. Until next time. And I've got more crown stone things. So for these, I can like save up for really cool stuff if I really wanted to. But. See? Stone Law Bear. And get some mounts. And get Recall of the Gallon Wilds. Or I can just save it for when it's like. On specials. Target Spriggan. Interesting.
But yeah, so you can, you've, I've got all of that stuff. I could probably get the rest of the stone law stuff, I suppose, at this point. Druidic Arch, Floral, Fire Song, Spectral Mud Crab. Yeah, I do, I do like that rat thing. A weeb as big as him needed Vocaloid to explain. He's, he's, he's not a weeb, he's a boomer. According to his own, uh, his own description. Alright. I've got a bunch of collectible stuff. Alright. What was I going to do now? Being Hikikomori. Isn't that basically what I am, though? I only leave, leave the house to work. And see my boyfriend. Doesn't matter if you if you avoid you can avoid being Hikikimori at all costs, but you'll always be a gringo. You were instrumental in crushing the Daggerfall army at Devon's Watch. Or a Hengaijin. Alright, where was I? Where was I at? What was I doing? Yeah, I know. I know what it is. I, I'm I, I I'm a bigger weeb I, I was a bigger weeb than um than than Hassan um uh, ever was. Oh, I heard that his name was Lasan. Is that right? Isn't his name Lasan? I heard some people calling him that, is all. <clears throat> I just wasn't sure if he'd changed his name or not. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm being. I'm being a bitch. I know. I know exactly what. 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 Where that comes from. It's funny. You raise fine horses in Davin's Watch. What you want to Vivek himself? What can I help you with? Five minutes. Damn. All right. See, what I need to do is level level um runs and hexes. Our speedy gal. And also I need a ton of, um... Mwah! Of other stuff. Ha! That's right, I'm, I'm, I, I've been told that my sarcasm is sometimes a little bit too hard to tell. But that's because I'm Australian. Y'all just racist, y'all. Y'all. Yo. Y'all just racist, yo. Where is this? Stormhaven. I'm a bitch, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just start doing, grinding some quests. So... This is the thing that I was interested in having a look at, um, before, like, uh, the serfs was covering this. The easiest way to do it, rather than finding the shit that, um, I, I was gonna find. And less than five hours after- So I've never reacted to, uh, the serfs before, so hopefully this isn't gonna be, like, shit, so the Tucker yeah. interview, they were able to identify Haya Rychek's Linda TikTok face and attire well on the Capitol grounds on January 6th. <laughs> 
from Chad Loader. Newly released analysis of the footage appears to show Haya Reichek, the woman behind the Libs and TikTok account, trespassing on restricted grounds on the US Capitol on January 6, 2021. Oh, hey! It's you! How's Holy it shit, they, they actually got proof of this? Yeah. This is amazing! Yeah. Was that a fun day? Oh, you look like you're having fun doing a little coup. We do a little coup, we do. Tucker Carlson today. Oh, to God. Ah, uh, oh, uh, it's, it's already so hard. Uh, that was just six seconds. Fuck. Of the media in our society is both more straightforward and more complex than anyone entered. Fucking got him. It's more straightforward in the you sense that his job is very simple. Figure out what's going on, cover the news, and bring it to your readers or viewers. That's the straightforward part. That's the part they don't do. It's more complex in the following sense. Your whole understanding of reality, you should like she was. Of reality comes through the media. You have no way of knowing what's happening in the world except through the media. And so it really matters how your media institutions. I mean, I think that applies if you live offline in, in the modern age, I would think. Behave. It matters that they're honest, that they cover the real news, things that are actually happening. By the way, there's nothing more fucking sus than having someone tell you that they're not sus, being like, you know, the mainstream or lamestream media is just trying to brainwash you into becoming a bunch of sheeple. But it's a good thing you're here because I'm the only truth sayer and I'm here to give you the raw, unadulterated truth. Well, yeah, that's that that that's that that's called um. That, that that's just cultish language. That's creating a fear and then selling a product. It's the Alex Jones model. That they don't filter it before it gets to you in order to control what you think. One of the most important media organizations in the United States right now. It's much easier to create. Uh, to, it's ma much easier to create a product and then create a need for that product claim to do than it is to. So, uh, find a the gap and uh, then Chaya make Reichick. product and, for that uh, gap. No, no. Ch Chaya Reichek is not simply doing the, the journalism, the reporting. Uh, she's a stochastic terrorist who inspires people to commit acts of violence towards LGBTQ plus individuals. Uh, Don't you lying, mean stochastic? They are groomers and pedophiles. Yeah. So, so what she'll do is she'll see video footage of someone being like, I'm gay. And then she'll be like, this is a pedophile. And, and then put that uh, up on the, the internet for the world to see. And then sometimes if she's feeling extra spicy, she'll be like, here's that person's address. Here's that person's phone number. Here's where this person works. Here, here's where this person lives. Here, here's their home address. Here's all the information about them. Here's how you can find them and really let them know that maybe you don't agree with them being a pedophile. What do you think about that? That's that's what Chaya does. And, and any single person. Sto chapstick terror. The, the white power hour of fast hour. But any person who describes it other than that is lying. Like when you, when you see, and people fucking they think they're so cute about this. Like, do you remember when I was debating uh, Adam and Sitch, and they were just like, "Well, I don't know. They could mean grooming, as in, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you you groom an animal." Ha <laughs> ha. Lol. Keck. There must be like a re a shorter, more concise way, a uh, more concise way of um, bringing that up. I, I I need to find find a good way of um, like a really really snappy and 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 easy to understand way to explain when someone knows what they're knows what you're talking about but is being deliberately obstinate hey how's it for life welcome back friend of the show how you doing how you doing oh troll fuck the trolls My gosh, these things like take a ta these things take a fucking beating. Why wh why is this not? Damn. <laughs> My count is not working for this. Some reason. All right. For some reason, night blades need to not have that. That's weird. I wonder why that is. Sorry. It finds out what's going there. on and it brings it to you. And it's a Twitter account. 
It's called Libs of TikTok. And if you've never heard of it, you've almost certainly seen what Libs of TikTok has gathered, the news they have found and brought to you. Here's a 58 second sample of the kind of information we would not have were it not for Libs of TikTok. Hi, my name's Alice and I'm a preschool teacher. Recently we started wearing pronoun pins and the kids get to pick a new pronoun pin every We have some that pick like she, her every single day and we have some that change it up. So I'm a non-binary preschool That's really, teacher. That's really cute. That is so cute. Why would you not want to have that happen? That's such a good idea. How could you have a problem with this? How could you have a problem with this? Literally, like, the kids choosing their own- that, that is the, the easiest way to- for kids to experiment and have fun and to- and to promote, like, a lack of, um, like, stigma against other people who use alternative pronouns. That's- that's a good thing. Okay? And? And? I, I'm expecting something horrifying to happen, and, and I also want to touch children to happen at the end of that sentence or something. No, no, that's it. Just just fucking the most simple, wholesome activity. <laughs> My god, yeah. no, pronouns, pronouns. <laughs> it, it's just like, it's just like the attacks in, it's just like the attacks on, um, on people, on, on, uh, drag shows, which have nothing to do with, like, adult drag shows, which have nothing to do with kids. It's just like that. It's not about grooming kids for these people it's about our identities as gay and queer people just queer people like if you are divergent if you are not white if you are not cishet white and male then you deserve less it's about a hege hege hegemonic he hegemonic uh, control over the population that's all it's been. It's all it's ever been. It's all it ever was. It's always been that way. <sighs> Some bullshit. <laughs> Most of them pick the pronouns uh, related to their own gender, and sometimes they don't, and that's okay. <laughs> it's all okay. Things sound wholesome as fuck. I don't. I like at least put one of the ones where it's like something where people are like, okay, well, I don't think maybe you should be dressed that way in front of children. But at the end of the day, I don't think this is uh, pedophilia or grooming. I think this person is just expressing themselves, something like that. But no, that that one's just like uh, pronouns. The kids are learning what pronouns in the YouTube. Yeah, like the the thing is though, notice how every time that they get knocked back for something, they just move the goalposts. And they've moved the goalposts so hard now that you can just say pronouns now and be called a groomer for 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 saying him her he him. Like literally you can have he him pronouns in your bio and people will call you a groomer. Even if you are a cishet white man. It's just they're trying to they they are trying to make take the language we have built around ourselves to explain ourselves and to um create communities around and associate that with um trying to rape kids in order to um justify our erasure that's it there is no logic to it. There never was. There never will be. It's, it's not about logic. Why are we? Why is everyone fighting here? I'm going to join in. I'm joining in. There's a big fight going on. I thought it would be cool to join the fight. Yay. I wonder why this happened. Who knows? Um, yeah. There's no rhyme or reason to it. They will just keep on shifting what they're talking about and pretending that um, they're talking about, you know, protecting children um, while justifying the erasure of queer people because we don't fit into their worldview. It's much easier to blame individuals. Uh, when is your verbal fight as it were happening? Um, uh, Thursday night uh, was uh, what they said, but I don't know if it's going forward. I haven't heard anything from them yet. So hopefully I hear back soon and we can get that that uh, that shiznizzle uh, set up. But um, yeah.
utility of the English language. <laughs> and my kids know I'm not binary. Um, they know I'm not a girl or a boy. I use they them pronouns in the classroom. We work on it. Not all the kids get it. That's okay. And I go by Mix Gray in the classroom, not Miss or Mister. Yeah, let me let, let me uh, let me um, translate for you. Um, she is trying to um, make normalize a non-gendered uh, hierarchy in the classroom, which is a good thing for everyone, both men and women. Like, both men and women benefit from being taught from a young age um, not to use man as the default. But obviously, conservatives want to conserve, want to regret, well, obviously, conservatives who are actually just regressives want to regress society back to when men had control. And um, because because they because they think that it was better back then, because um, they don't understand how their brains developed as a child, and how things were did seem a lot better when they were younger because they didn't have to worry about a lot of the shit that um, you worry about today. But notice how uh, kids who have gone through trauma, kids who have grown, kids who have grown up in minority communities, um, you know, black kids in America, you know, kids who didn't have that form of safety when they were younger that white people did. Notice how they are much more likely to understand class consciousness, much less likely to. Um, be conservative because they don't have a childhood which was safe to you know create those, that illusion of um better days because that's what it is it, it, that's what conservatism is it, it's the it's it's the wanting to be a child again you know, the people joke about like you know oh, how conservatives are just trying to get inside their, their mother's uh, vaginas again you know, trying to jump back into the, into the womb, and so to speak, and, so, and and try to regress time back. Because things were better for them when they were kids, because they had a stable environment, a more stable environment. You're more likely to be con um, conservative if you had a good childhood, because, like, you have something good to look back on. It's like a psychological thing. Yeah. What kind of what kind of um you know good old days are you th are you looking back on? Hmm. It matters, and I'm not saying that kids need to have good old days, but like we need to, we 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 can move past those sort of like real painful um. And negative forms of growth and understanding by educating kids from a young age and that's what this is it's trying to remove the problems and normalize good things for the kids to look back on and want to preserve that's it yeah no nostalgia nostalgia is like fucking problematic as fuck Is that in a fucking pirate ship? Because if so, that is uh, awesome. Anyway, let's continue. And, and again, that's it. Th these are the highlights. This this is the ones that like Tucker Carlson had to bring yeah. to you. you know? Honestly, like you, you, there are so many libs who have been gaslit into thinking. Yes, I'm using the term gaslit because it makes sense. Because it actually fucking makes sense here. Like, ga literally gaslit into thinking that Libs of TikTok actually shows the crazy lefties. They don't. Not one video that they have shown has been controversial in any fucking way. The controversial nature of it is basically them saying... Queerness bad. That's what it is. It's not the content on the screen right now. The people talking, they do not matter. 
They are simply the scapegoat for the problems within society because we weren't as um, out and um, proud as we are today. And shit is not going well right now. And it's much easier to blame individuals than it is to blame systems. And to basically just, like, regress to a childlike point, like, part of your life where you didn't have to worry about uh, the world fucking dying around you. It's much easier to say, oh, it's because gay people are ruining everything. And, like, the biggest takeaway you can get from this is understanding that applying your moral, a moral uh, baggage to these people like Tucker Carlson and Chai Rychik is kind of beside the point. These are systemic problems that we are facing right now, not individual ones. We can attack individuals if it is um, a smart thing to do, but we shouldn't be focusing on, oh, Tucker Carlson says these things because he's evil. Because when you look at the psychology behind conservatism, when you look at uh, the systemic things which have created Chaya Rachek and Tucker Carlson, um, you realize that if it wasn't him, if it wasn't her, it would be someone else. These are not individuals that we are fighting. They are systems. We need to make it so that people can't go on to online to like a massive amount of people and dox queer people to try and normalize our erasure and normalize hatred against us. We need to stop the systems that are allowing this, not like focusing on like individuals. Yeah. Oh, hey, Thunder randomly. I'm all. I'm. I'm. I'm getting there. I'm a mess, but um, I'm. Uh, I'm alive. I'm. I'm doing my thing. Ooh, lethal po poison. Drains magicka and stamina. Ooh, I like that. I'm a drainer. Get some drain cleaner going. Yeah. You know, this is like, you won't believe the things that she's discovered. And, and then you see it, and you're like, what? It's a, oh, that's so they being them, they, they go by they them yeah. pronouns. No, no. Y'all have been fucking gaslit into thinking that there are any crazy, um, any crazy queer people in any of the videos that Libs of TikTok have posted. There aren't. Look through them. I implore you. Look through every video that Lives of TikTok has posted about, you know, like a, just a, just a random queer teacher talking about um, bringing up pronouns in the classroom. I guarantee you, you're not going to find one instance of grooming there. It's just not the truth. The, these are absolute lies. And, but But because there is a narrative around it, and that so many conservative talking heads are talking about it as if they're as if it's just true, as if it's just what the truth is, without being challenged. Because they're not being challenged on these basic truths. They're not being challenged challenged on these no, the, these actual facts. Look at it. People are say more more people. I've seen more people talk about how oh you know it's not all queer people, just the crazy ones. What crazy ones? Show me the crazy ones. You can't, because otherwise we'd be seeing them right now. They don't exist. I mean, they probably exist, but nobody fucking gives them any airtime. Because they're fucking crazy. Crazy and dangerous and nobody wants to have any to spend any time with them. Stop 
allowing conservative media to get away unchecked with providing a narrative which is f absolutely false from the get-go libs of tiktok has not exposed anything they're just saying it until people believe it they're just gaslighting you guys literally they're just gaslighting you and y'all have bought into this shit seriously i've seen i've seen hassan slip up i've seen so many people slip up and just accept the narrative that libs of tiktok is actually um putting um wild stuff up there they're not they're just putting um people who look different up there and pointing at them and telling their audience that this is wrong without providing any proof behind it and we're just allowing that narrative to keep going because i don't know maybe people want to people people just keep what we on the left tend to love to do is to argue the point a lot of the time i think that's a problem we tend to want to debunk every point that's put in front of us um which is which is fun to do but it's a waste of time and it also perpetuates problems like this when you argue on every point with some with a platform like libs of tiktok what you're actually doing is conceding the point to them. She's trying to say Katie Porter was saying pedophiles is an identity when she outright said in the video that she listed uh, people slam queer identities as uh, queer identities, pedophiles did demonize them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's false. It's false. There, there 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 are no there are there are no maps. Maps is not a thing. Literally, it 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 was literally. A 4chan psyop. Look it up. It originated on 4chan exactly the same way that Super Straits did. I can't believe that we're still talking about this shit. It happens every single year. A new one pops up, and this one's just stuck. That's all it is. This is just fucking astroturfing from the right. This isn't a grassroots movement at all. This is a planned attack against the LGBTQIA plus community. And some people are in it for the lols. Some people actually hate us and want to see us dead. And those people are the ones who hide behind the people who do it for the lols. Yeah, Q. Oh, that was uh, 8chan, wasn't it? That was, uh, that was, that was the pedophile version of uh, 4chan. Ironically. Like there's another one. That's it. This is this is devastating. Me uh, teaching the children about me being poly was crazy, but not only that, but they also know that I'm gender fluid. I'm going to give you my explanation about what it means to be transgender as well. So when babies are born, the doctor looks at them and they make a guess about whether the baby is a boy or a girl. Kids as young as three and four are actually aware of their gender okay. identity, even if they don't have the language for it. These are the highlights. Pre K through third grade are not ready for such topics. It's it's that I want. Okay, so I thought Tucker Carlson was going to go with like you know your your run of the mill like uh, mm -hmm. here is uh, you know the one instance where we found a drag uh, queen uh, dancing uh, uh, wearing very scandalous looking clothing in front of a, a young child uh, are you going to endorse this and then of course I would be like well that's different than them actually trying to have a sexual interaction with the child but if you would like them to wear more clothing I'm not going to defend that choice of attire in this situation but this yeah so that's why uh, th this is what I mean like Lance like you're ev just by arguing on their level you're conceding the point that they they are l legitimately covering uh, grooming behavior like, there is no need to justify anything that these people in these TikToks are saying, because those TikToks speak for themselves. They're pretty fucking solid TikToks. When you watch them, you realize, oh yeah, that's that's pretty. That makes sense. That's pretty normal. Enjoyer of. Uh, Swanson frozen TV dinners. Why does frozen TV dinner just sound incredibly unappetizing? 
This is a very specific example. This doesn't mean, broadly speaking, that every single drag queen event is uh, not age appropriate. In fact, the vast majority of them are. So when you find one case and you're like, well, this proves my point. Every single one is this outright. That's I've never seen the only the only age inappropriate thing I've seen at a um, drag queen show um, is everyone drinking. That's what I thought he was going to do. Instead, it, the, the, every single one of these is like, okay, and, and, which, dot, dot, dot. Where, where, where are we going with this, Tucker? I, I still don't see problems. Be on transphobia. <laughs> it's like, it's nice. He's so serious about this. So those are all teachers, kindergarten, preschool, first, second, third grade wow. teachers. They could be teaching your wow. kids. So that's what they're yeah. telling your kids in school. Based. Holy Whether shit. you're for it or against okay. it, that's real. But you wouldn't know that. And so this is how they do that. <clears throat> so already he's skipping. He, what Tucker Carlson is doing now is skipping the explanation. He's just putting it forward, and he's like, "I'm just, I, I'm just showing you what what's in front of me. I'm just showing you on the screen. You got to make up your own decisions. I just put the dots up there. I'm expecting you to join the fucking dots. You fucking. This is what they do." And this is what you attack. You don't let it get any further than this. This is where it ends. This is where it ends in this conversation. Because nothing they put up on the screen is a problem. There is no problem with anything they've said on the screen. And if you disagree with me, it, the onus is on you to fucking prove me wrong. You would have no idea that was happening unless libs of TikTok pulled those videos off publicly available social media, mostly TikTok. You should know that, but the New York Times is not gonna tell you they're gonna hide that from you. The Washington Post, same thing, NBC News, same thing. That's information that you should definitely have. And uh, yeah, we're moving, uh, we're moving further and further away from talking about the, from him justifying um, this just senseless hatred against um, LGBTQIA plus people, because that's what it is, it's, it's senseless hatred at the end of the day why am i talking to a scholar Ooh, the raven watch inquiry no not yet i'm doing this one yeah the age appropriate question isn't invalid yeah yes it is in this argument yeah here's the thing a shame like you need to pick the proper context for talking about these things. And we're not talking about to, about age inappropriate stuff right now. So it's uh, it, it's 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 beside the point to start arguing over what is age appropriate and what isn't is conceding the point to Tucker Carlson that tick, libs of TikTok is actually showing something worth arguing. If libs of TikTok was putting up content which pushed the bar pushed the um um if 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 she was putting up the TikToks of teachers actually talking about age inappropriate stuff, then yes, having a conversation about that would be useful. But they're not. And that's my point. That's my point. As soon as you start allowing them to control that narrative you have just agreed with them that the libs of TikTok page is showing teachers which might not be age-appropriate content. That's my point. You get stuck in these... Po you, we, we love to win arguments on the left. We love it. But we're terrible at understanding when to pick fights. We're terrible at that, honestly. We do things we do things too late and we do things too early. And at the end of the day, it's more important to look at this situation as something which is a PR battle and not a battle of wits. It's not a battle of knowledge against ignorance. It's a battle of people who fucking know better. They know fucking better. These people know exactly what they're doing because they are media trained.
You think Tucker Carlson is just, you know, like, does his own thing, and nobody has any Im input on, on that? Do you think that Ch Chaya Rajic, who was propped up by the, by the Babylon Bee, and other conservative media organizations to where she is now, to create an astroturfed organization... Do you think that, like, they have no understanding of what the process is? The process isn't about proving themselves correct. The process is about making us look like pedophiles and justifying our erasure. And it's all based on the lie that Libs of TikTok is showing... Anything but normal run-of-the-mill shit. Because that's what they're showing. It's just normal run-of-the-mill shit. It's just normal shit. Libs of TikTok doesn't show you anything other than just... Un un uncontroversial normal shit. Like, at the beginning, at the beginning, the best response... Best response to seeing a Libs of TikTok clip is just like, so, so fucking what? Are you angry because they have short hair but look like girl? Because that's what it is. It's it's not it's not about facts. It's about it's it's always been about feelings, and 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 my parents' rights to abuse children is basically it. It's unbeknownst to them, projection on their part. It's the the kinds of people who are who hate uh, queer people. Uh, will cause the most amount of damage and abuse to uh, their queer kids. While all the while calling us the abusers and uh, the and and the pedophiles. Funny that, right? What happens? What happens in a conservative household that believes that queer kids, right? You know, you've got a dad. You've got a dad who truly believes. You know, in his heart of hearts. That queer people just just are not worth anything in this world. They're disgusting, and they're, they're morally wrong, and their kid is uh, queer. Do you think that 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 parent is going to see their kid as a real human being when they abuse them, um, when they sexually abuse them? Because you know they're they're just they're filthy and horrible anyway, right? Because they're queer. Y'all don't realize how deep this shit fucking runs in, psych in people's psyches. You don't realize just how people justify their shit, the shit that they do, based on the dehumanization of other people. Why do you think that women are beaten so much? Do you think it's because women are weak? Bullshit. It's because culture te teaches men incorrectly that women are worth less than them. Hmm. No, I know it's shame, but, like, I, I don't care about any... I don't care about that argument, um, at the end of the day. That argument doesn't... doesn't need to be said in this... in this instance. Like, the problem in front of us isn't isn't that there's any grooming isn't the the fact that there's a question of whether there's grooming involved is the problem not talking about what constitutes grooming or not you need to fucking they need to fucking pro prove it yeah the Me megan the stallion i don't know anything about her other than than um uh, uh, that shitty fucker uh, shot her in the foot and people are trying to do a uh, johnny depp bamber hurst so fucking but weird. have never had until libs of TikTok bothered to put it in one place and show you. And for that, for doing that, the person who runs libs of TikTok has been the focus of a lot of hate and many threats. So many that that person has remained anonymous until today. Today, right now. Funny, but she hasn't lost her job. But she's caused a lot of other people to lose their jobs. So um, what actually happened, this is neat, uh, Chud's a TikTok, which is a leftist Twitter account, actually, uh, I think was the first person to kind of do a journalism and, and discover uh, who uh, Chaya Rychek was with publicly available information. Uh, it was all public uh, Facebook posts and uh, discovered uh, who she was uh, and did a uh, face reveal. So that's, uh, that's credit going to Chud's of TikTok. And then I guess once that had happened and a number of bigger accounts uh, reported upon it, uh, at that point it was, uh, it was time for primetime. So at that point uh, it's time for Tucker Carlson today. 
how the person who runs Libs of TikTok will reveal who she is. Her name is Hi Rachik, and she joins us on set. Hi, thank you so much Hi, for you. coming on. Um, I it is Haya. You convinced me that it was Chaya after someone said that uh, in like another broadcast. And I was like, I, I think that name is pronounced Haya. And, and I had been saying it correctly for so long. Wow. I, I have been fully, fully duped by you. I should say, just in the interest of always being as honest as we can be, we've had dinner. We've known each other. Uh, what, what, what? What's going on? Oh. Oh, okay. oh so Lips of TikTok. So, um, sorry. Yeah, Chance of TikTok was right. Chance of TikTok was right all the time. Hey, we got some lore right out of the gates. Wind yeah. and dined. Since this summer, um, you've come on our show several times behind your screen. Yeah, she was part of the insurrection. Uh, so we're grateful because she's an insurrectionist. Really she's a fucking traitor to your country. Lol. Traitor to your country um, and your people. Anyway, How do you feel about that? Fash hour. Like, that's what you're seeing. I mean, the aesthetics, yeah, it, it's got more money and all this kind of shit, but like, they are just propagating lies about marginalized groups and communities in order to have real world violence enacted upon them because they're bigots. Like, th this is just one of one, uh, this kind of shit. Th this is what Libs at TikTok does. Like, she has an account where she lies. Like, you saw the clips. You, you, that was their choice. That, that was the highlight reel that Tucker Carlson put together to exemplify her work, to be like, as you can see, she's doing an invaluable service. It's like, who was, by the way? It yeah. feels like really weird targeted harassment because you don't understand this shit like if someone is like uh yeah I, I did an activity for the kids in my class where they got to pick pronouns even if she wasn't she was off a wall that that's what you are fine with people getting death those threats, who know who know death threats, fucking those who understand death will know death threats and bomb threats hospital like that's enough that's that's where the fucking the bar is so i've got a lot of questions for you but let me just start with the obvious one you're revealing your identity right now why are you doing that and why haven't you before so the reality is that I think most Twitter accounts are anonymous yes. to start with, yes. unless you're a public uh, official or you know a fake. A, a fake unless figure. you have, or a journalist. The verification. <laughs> well, not anymore. Yeah, Elon right. That. But until Elon uh, changed that, you know, most most Twitter accounts start off anonymous, uh, as as did mine. Um, and then, of course, of course, she's deeply boring. <laughs> like, all of the worst, like the most profound big. What? No, she was. They've got they've got a picture of her. They found they found footage with her in it. She was there, and not only that. Like I'm pretty sure that um, people found um, old Twitter posts and shit saying that she was. Um, like from her old accounts and shit. I'm pretty damn sure I've seen that before. It's so yeah, that we cover like the worst of the worst. The Matt and I'm not fucking with you. Bullshits. They're boring. Like they're, they're so hate filled, but they're also simultaneously so boring. And you're just like, of course, it makes sense. I, you know, when my account started growing, I realized the hatred um, that the left has. And when your business started growing and their violent nature. And you run a hate account. That's 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 you, you run. You run. No, 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 no. Um, Lance, Lance, she, she, you read you read the same shit I did. She doesn't run a hate account. She runs a hate business it is a for-profit business that is she is running she is profiting from hate from propagating hate speech yeah america land of the free you <laughs> these teachers are not asking for your harassment and your slander they're not asking for your libel they're not sitting there being like and also even if she wasn't she was those who know will know. I really hope. I'm, I'm just really hoping that lives a TikTok. You know, Haya finds my account one day, uh, takes my video, puts me on blast, and then I start getting death threats and have to move. That's, yeah, that, that's you. That, that's the thing that you do. And I was like, I'm going to remain anonymous. Yes. By, by the way, this is like a classic thing that the right does a lot, that they will try to uh, act as if they are in the act of being oppressed when they are actually oppressing marginalized communities. Um, as my account was growing and, and getting more effective. Um, and I have remained anonymous until now. Um, well, until I was, I was doxxed, my, my name was shared. Um, my location was shared. My my photo was never. Shame on you, Glenn Greenwald. How could you have done that, Glenn Greenwald? Shared that I've never done any in-person events, um, and I'm choosing to do that now because I feel like I over the past few months um, I've done so much. I've helped educate people. Um, I know you that I've I so painfully boring. Um, oh my god. She hasn't educated anyone on anything she has put up mundane TikToks and basically bra basically gaslit people into believing that they are some in some way harming children that's it you've lied and lied and lied um and you have not ed that that's not called education that's that's just cult shit man i don't know what to tell you and uh hooray fucking let's pull out the applause for that one 
Hell yeah. Oh, you're doing it. Yeah, fuck them kids. Yeah, uh, I, I think I've done all I epic. can. And I am ready for the next step. I get people asking me, I have mom groups asking me all the time, um, can you come help us? Um, I got. In, in I can tell you as someone who's pretty deeply tapped into the online LGBTQ plus community uh, that they are pretty much screaming at the top of your lungs to stop. And, and I'm talking about parents, mothers, fathers, non-binary parents as well, screaming for you to stop. A lot of cis people too. Fuck that cis people saying, please stop. I have trans kids. You're making them less safe. You, you That's what you do. You, you do that. And, and you're funded to do this. That's, that's your fucking job is endangering children. That, that's like that's so fucking disgusting invitations you know to, to help to help people yeah. understand how to how to expose the left and, and yes. how to fight it and you know being anonymous was sort of keeping me um, like i was restrained from, from doing all those things and i i'm ready to do that um i think that i'll be a lot more effective when i'm not so anonymous anymore um, and hopefully you'll be more effective uh behind bars after you get charged with uh insurrection charges for being part of the january 6th insurrection you dumb bitch oh oh I mean, the good news is that you're so boring like so deeply boring i i do not think that this works in your favor so that's that's at least one plus for you know people who are for uh kids existing um and i'm excited i already have a couple of speaking engagements planned for the next few months good. um and what a surprise oh are you gonna be doing the circuit She's panicking and trying to get the get the bag. She's trying to get the bag before she gets fucked over. She's doing the same thing as um what what, what that that fuckhead that uh, shot Megan Stallion, right? She's doing exactly the same thing. She she she's releasing all of her albums. She's going on her tour so she can make as much money as possible before she gets put on the fucking stand. Ha! Let me guess. Are you going to be talking to Tim Pool, going on the TimCast RL? Are you going to be going on Stephen Crowder's show, most likely? Hey, maybe even Matt Walsh will have a guest appearance. Who knows? Everything can happen now. Prager U's ready. Oh, we got a Prager U video coming out. Oh, hells yeah, we do. We 100%. So fucking transparent. I'm not talking transparent. about the where they just take someone else's clip and then try to make it look like they did a Prager U video. I'm talking a she proper knows she's Prager fucked. U video, 100% coming out. So she's going to try and get as no, much as she can out of it before she gets like, fucked completely. until I told the truth how violent the left could truly be. It's going to be like, that's going to be the theme but I want to do all I can. Oh yeah, Rogan, um, and, no question. People. Fucking Rogan already loved Libs and TikTok. So Ro Rogan's going to put Libs and TikTok on there for sure. To fight this agenda. Uh, and I'm glad that you are. I think it's an active agenda. <laughs> um, and you've had a remarkable- The gay agenda. Effect. And I just want to say, and I'll say this about 10 times because I think it's the most interesting part about you. You haven't really editorialized very much. Holy shit, he is just a, this is a glow up if ever I've seen one, eh? <laughs> My fashy sense is tingling. <laughs> what you've done essentially is bring to light bring to further light to publicize what they're already saying in public that's your crime yeah exactly they don't they don't want it to be shown though to certain audiences no no like it's fun to to show what you've shown like every like everything everything that uh, like again go to the libs of tiktok account and 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 see what i'm talking about there's not one video that she's posted of a queer person talking that um has any for that, that that is problematic in any way it's just normal shit they're literally just saying they don't say this stuff in public and like you know you do, the, the shit that they're saying in public is oh hello good morning good sir uh good they them it's just like what wait why is it trying why is it trying to get me to go here i was there Oh, this game fucking annoys me. For some reason... Yeah, I'm gonna recall them. For some reason it made me go all the way up to the, this tower. It always tries to make me go through this fucking building to go anywhere in this, in this fucking map. Ugh. They, they want their, their content out there, but, but they don't want us to see it. So it, it doesn't really add yeah. up. No, it well, like it, it's li literally what she's doing is is well. There's two things. One, it's creating a uh, hit list, and two, it's creating a narrative. And the narrative has gaslit so many people that so many that they can just say, "Oh, they're exposing the left," and people on the left will fucking believe this shit. I kid you not. People on the left. People who, like, well, call themselves on the left who complain about uh, uh, crazy far-left tankies and stuff like that, those kinds of people will automatically just assume that the people they hate are being featured in the videos that uh, Lizzie TikTok posts. But 
I implore you to watch the videos that she posts. They're not... They aren't the people that you hate. They are your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your kids. They are your workmates. They are the people that you see every day, just talking normal, run-of-the-mill, everyday shit. This is all lies. It doesn't add up, and they have. Uh, no, they um. Yeah. They don't want you to call them pedophiles when they're not. That's that's what they're saying. That's that's pretty much it. This is to stop labeling them as. We just don't want you to lie what, what they're saying about it. That's, like that's you it. are now. You're not a hero. Uh, you're a bigot. That, that's all there is to it. No valid complaint against you. We just don't want you to you fucking lie. Privacy. By the way, you can tell right now that Tucker is steering this conversation and steering. Um, Tucker Pro Carlson, she has posted uh, addresses and workplaces of people who who she's posted. Like literally, you have like she has done work to like endanger people's lives. Um. And she, her life has been endangered in any way. And um, I, while I say that she deserves it, I definitely disavow any violent actions against anyone as a result of this. You should definitely shouldn't be being violent towards people for any reason. I disavow. I disavow those who know will know. In this interview because obviously he has media training he's been doing this for years he knows what he's doing uh but that also demonstrates how profoundly boring haya is uh that he's like he's having to be like okay i'm gonna save you here and, and keep this trying to keep this and steer this into a more interesting manner you're posting what they put on tiktok <laughs> they're allowed to post <laughs> that but we're just not and their know. addresses and places of works yeah, yeah, and yeah, and also sure the, the... and also you're posting you, you're just posting you you they are laughing about the fact that they are just posting run-of-the-mill stuff because they're absolutely telling the truth there they're posting normal stuff, which is uncontroversial, but then they are just creating a narrative around it to make people think that it's controversial. They are telling people what to think about it. Um, um, that's the problem. When If you put someone's face on a screen and uh, tell a group of people that they are a pedophile, um, that's a really shit thing to do. Stop it. Get some help. Libel. I'm guessing that's probably the, the, the issue. Yeah. Um, so I think you've done an amazing thing, and unlike so many other people in journalism, and I'm going to, whether you like it or not, describe you as being in journalism, because I think He's you are. He's negative. Yeah. I, I, I think that, that works, uh, I would say, in our favor. Uh, the fact that it's so profoundly boring. <laughs> um, you've had an effect, a real effect, by bringing this to light. How did you wind up? Do, I mean, to the extent you're comfortable sharing like, it, like how did for, you? For a second, think of this. Like this, this interview has a lot of gravitas in, in the far right scene, right? Like this is this is the fucking stochastic terrorist herself going on to Tucker Carlson uh, to explain her craft and tell her story. And like, even if you were the biggest fan of both of them, you'd just be like, oh shit, what? Wind up doing this? You, I assume you went to Columbia Journalism School to become a journalist. <laughs> I went to Harvard and Yale. Um... <laughs> and you ended up being a real estate agent. So, like, I mean, I guess you're already the worst possible person you can be. Um, thank God I didn't know, um, because those are now... We finally have an answer to the question. What is worse than a real estate agent? Now, obviously, those institutions are all poisoned. Um... <laughs> Such an easy layup. Prove it. <laughs> That's all you got. You just had to solve something. Because they're all poisoned, every one of them. Poison pill. They're all poisoned, and if you're on the left and disagree with me, that proves my point because you've been brainwashed by the left. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to prove anything because uh, you, you've gone to liberal colleges, and uh, and uh, have been brainwashed, and I, I, and I am right because you are angry at me. Yeah. But who would have thought? Really during COVID, um, I was noticing um, all of this content that was being published on TikTok, um, and I was just like. This is crazy. Wait, like, bitch, you like forty. What are you doing watching, re, w being, uh, watching fucking TikToks? So what, at this point, you're not in a related field. Like you weren't. No. In, no. You're not doing anything related to public policy or journalism. Nothing related to politics, journalism. No. Media, Were you nothing. very political? No. Really? Yeah. I was not. What? Yeah. This COVID was like the other day. This was just a couple of years ago. Yeah, this was two years ago. You were at the January uh, six uh, insurrection, and you were also a Pizzagate. Um, Conspiracy theorist. Like, th this is lies. Lies, lies, and damned lies. Fucking hell. Well, my account started two years ago, yeah. 
That's just, that's just incredible. Yeah, she started her account after, after, um, talking to uh, the guy from um, uh, the Babylon Bee, and created a um, LLC, like TikTok uh, LLC, and uh, started a for-profit journalism company as a journalist. Like it wasn't. It, it, this is all astroturf from the beginning. Like, she had connections to all of these right wing people. It's just like, yeah, that's this is these are all just fucking lies. We we know the truth. We know what you are, bitch. You can try to lie. You can lie to the dumbass chuds, but you can't lie to us. We know what you are. <laughs> this is like we've got the receipts. Gaps, to just like like that's that's where you would fill that in, right? Because it's, it's like dead air. You're you're just sitting there and it's like. Oh, well, that's incredible. You're not a super political person. You're not watching people's speeches on C-SPAN. <laughs> you literally run one of the largest, if not, is it the largest, like, actual hate group account against, like, LGBTQ plus people? No, you're just a normal person stuck inside. Exactly. It's one of the biggest then, uh, hate group up. companies and, for and profits. That, <laughs> and it just made me more hateful. I just had all this time to myself to hate, hate, hate. But, um for me and I, and I think for a lot of people it really woke people sadly up sadly not a um, lesbian sort of it was like an awakening um either you can oh, yeah. stay um like sleeping you know not really interested in, in what's going on oh my god you are fully red pilled this is all fucking andrew tate red pill nonsense and then you wake up in the matrix on in our government or you can choose to get to get involved um and i think COVID really drew a lot of people in just because of all of the insanity that was going on and, and that was being imposed on us our rights were being violated of course um and i was like, like and that was really Bitch, you lived in a fucking America. Nothing was being imposed on you. What are you even talking about? Like, I live in a country where you can claim that, like, lockdowns were imposed on us. You weren't imposed... No, you know what? There were no lockdowns in America. There were no real... Ma there were no real mandates until it was far too late. Like, fuck off. You dumb bitch. You don't know anything about the world, like... Other than what what you personally have experienced, and you hate us for it because uh, like the left and queer people apparently are the same thing. Everyone is the same. If you deviate from the norm, then you are to be destroyed. Just uh, like check marks, you know, <laughs> one after the other. Uh, that was really a turning point for me um, to 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 get involved and, and to be interested. And then um, COVID also is when TikTok started becoming big because everyone was stuck at home looking for entertainment. And then they stumbled on TikTok and we started seeing all those videos of, of, of nurses, you know, dancing in hospitals during during the pandemic. Um, and I was like, you know, TikTok was, was getting really big. Oh my God, I'm falling asleep. Sorry, I got a one, two, five this. She's so boring. And I was like, oh, you know, let me let me see what, what this TikTok thing is all about. And then I, I stumbled upon this whole, um, yeah, this is what happens when a 40-year-old real estate uh, manager, like, fuck off. Like, you were friends with the one of the owners of the Babylon B, you had connections to the conservative media. Like, this is these are all fucking lies. They, they, they're all just fucking lies. We, we know that she's lying at this point. And it's boring lies! I mean, all of the stuff, you know, everyone, I'm sure, has seen some of the videos. It, it's just, there's so much more. And uh, Oh my god, this is like, baby learns how to TikTok, the, the fucking show. I was like, I just, I need to disseminate this. Like, this, it, this it's just so bizarre and, and dangerous. Yeah, what a surprise. Is something how come other people find, um, find it easier, easy to, like, make the algorithm send them stuff to, like, hate and, like, to react to? And mine is just, like, fucking bullshit boring stuff like how do you make tiktok work you didn't understand immediately you were like i need to vilify this but I, I don't understand the thing i'm seeing what the hell and i was like i just need the, as many people. did she get bankrolled by babylon b she did well to see this it's possible in, 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 in large part, no, me, but there was a lot of adults bragging about sexualizing children. not just bankrolled but like the babylon b like collaborated with her to create the, the account like it's quite obvious that they'd been in conversation about this for a while before they started making uh, posts. <laughs> like this was an astroturfed fucking organization. Like all. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, pardon me. They botted the shit, the, the the channel up to up to the wazoo, and then the conservative media started making stories about it immediately. Like this is just. Complete astroturf bullshit better than the CIA does. 
<clears throat> you know, if you don't Google before you click on a Warhammer 40k channel, then you have to... Well, maybe I should do some Warhammer 40k stuff to, like, um, change the algorithm some. Yes. And see, like, you got to understand there's an actual pipeline and connection between a lot of these different groups. Uh, and, and there is lots of funding uh, behind these campaigns because, again, this isn't politically popular to be this hate-filled and bigoted. It's not. It's, it doesn't move like electoral pulse. Uh, this is the domain, again, of, of the far right and the fucking people sliding towards fascism. Uh, and this is their campaign. So, of course, this, this shit is going to get bankrolled by some very fucking shady actors uh, to put the shit on, too. Like... They, it's very useful to the right to have someone who's willing to go that extreme, Slanesh? Uh, anonymous who's back in the day, and do full who's on, like, this person's a groomer, this person's a pedo, oh look, uh, fucking, uh, what's his face, Pete Buttigieg's husband is a groomer, and watch him grooming kids, that one's still up by the way, and uh, no, he's not, that's not him grooming children, that's them singing the Pledge of Allegiance, but instead of the American flag, it's the rainbow flag, it's cringe, I'll grant you, if you just said, look at this fucking cringe, that's so different, so different than you saying this is a... I think it's cringe to make kids sing the Pledge of Allegiance, but that's just me. Groomer grooming children. That, that's you accusing him of being a pedophile and trying to lure the kids into having a sexual relationship with you. That's fucked. That's very, very fucked that you do that. that, that you do that for a living. That, and you're... Again, like, look at any one of the videos, um, and you'll see that it's just normal shit. Sometimes cringe shit, but like... It's, it, it's, it's, it's just normal shit. Which is being shown to a far right audience in order to create a narrative around it, um, knowingly and bankrolled by like powerful far right figures. <sighs> Very sponsored to do a as lot, well. um, specifically teachers. Um, they're also just parents, <sighs> activists, doctors. <laughs> Um, that Amazing. is the most scary part about it, and that's what my account focuses on a lot now. So you start to see these things, and you, th and how did you decide? Yeah, I, I know. We, everyone knows, because those hospitals get fucking bomb threats, and then fucking regular uh, courses of action, the doctors can't do shit because of that. It, it's incredibly dangerous. Like, kids can die. It's threatening the lives of children. To take clips Ooh, I died. from TikTok and put them on Twitter. Um, it kind of just happened. Like, it was just, it just clicked. There wasn't, uh... I, I, I still can't believe that was the highlight reel. Like, this this is the example of the important work she was doing. And this one was like, uh, the kids in my class uh, get to pick their pronouns. They pick them off a wall, and most of the time they choose she, her, or he, him, but sometimes they choose they, them. But that, that, and? <laughs> that's all? That's it? There was no plan to... That's, that's worth labeling someone, slandering someone as, as a groomer, just because of that? The most become, wholesome thing in the world? You know, a big media outlet, like what it is now. <laughs> right. And, like, to become, to get docs, there was no plan for that, or to become, a, you know, to become famous. I never wanted any of that. And it, it, just, it, it just started, you know, for fun. Um, and uh, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you heard of Surf on a Turf? I get it. And it has the word surf in it. And, and I, I sort of just kept changing the, 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 the path of, of my account. Um, based surf on, on a I Turf, Lance's and porn movie oh, shit, name. wants attention. Hold on. Juan Zerka. Any relation to John? Uh, slandering someone as a far-right extremist and a Nazi, you do it at the drop of a hat, I'm sure. Uh, I'm very, very specific, Juan, with uh, who I label as a Nazi. Like, neo-Nazi? Uh, Nick Fuentes. There you go. Nick Fuentes is a neo-Nazi. Uh, Chaya Rachik, uh, very specific. She's a stochastic terrorist. She is uh, lying about LGBTQ plus people, saying they're groomers and pedophiles, and then posting information about where people can find them, then getting bomb threats and death threats sent to them. That's fucked. I don't think teachers should get death threats. I don't think doctors should get death threats. Just by virtue of existing. I, I think that's super fucked up and that she should stop doing it because it's going to get people killed. This is, uh, it's not a game, you know? Fucking, we're at the point now where people are shooting up uh, nightclubs, people are fucking shooting up uh, power grids because there's a drag show going on. Uh, like, you know, far-right extremism uh, and terrorism towards LGBTQ plus people and the violence that they face is real. It's it's a real thing and it keeps accelerating and getting worse. So absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, fuck libs of TikTok. That did, did anyone else, I mean, did you have friends in the media business or did you have someone advising you? Or? Nobody. I am, I was a total outsider, a complete outsider. A and, true outsider. Yes, true. And, and actually, um, the person who doxed me said in an interview um, right afterwards that one of the reasons like why she mom? thought she felt she had to investigate was because oh, media no, was a foreign actor. Oh, you're, you're confused. Uh, sorry, that wasn't Taylor Lorenz. Taylor Lorenz used publicly available information that you had actually registered yourself when you got a domain. So that, that was just out there already. But I mean, that's up to you if you wanted to try and hide that or something like that. Uh, it was Glenn Greenwald. I mean, yeah, like if, you, if, if, if she's going to lie about everything else, then she might as well lie about this shit as well. You know what I mean? Ugh. Wait, where is where am I supposed to do that? Oh, I missed it. I went past it. Loom. That that actually talks to you. That that verified uh, where where the house was. That was Glenn. Glenn Greenwald. Yeah, you know Glenn. Acting on behalf of the Republican Party, 
Um, maybe you were a Russian spy. Yeah, I probably am. You never know. <laughs> you don't seem like it. You don't fit the profile. <laughs> well, maybe that's the trick. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I remember reading about this at the time. That they were the people who were trying to expose you. Uh, were very surprised that there was no you had no digital footprint. Exactly. You weren't all over the internet. You didn't have a Pinterest account. You didn't have a Facebook. Well, that's not true. Oh, they found a lot of digital footprints. Oh but yeah. Did you know about January sixth? Yeah, that there was a lot of digital footprints about that. She also, she, she tried to do a whole bunch of other social media projects that kind of failed. One of them was kind of like uh, the Clint Eastwood style, like talking to a chair shit, you know, like Joe Biden's not, it's a chair, but Biden's not, you, you get it? It's funny. There weren't 50 pictures of it. you from your sorority years. Like, who's this person? Yeah, but yeah so, they, and, they and did find a bunch of that shit. Actually, part of that is, is why my account actually grew a lot is because people are sick of like the mainstream people, you know, like what we call, um, besides for the media, just- Your, your, your account grew from preferential treatment by, from Twitter and from, um, far right funding. Like, the, the, you didn't build it on your own. You didn't build any of, an, of it by yourself. This is an astroturf organization. Like, you had funding from the Babylon Bee and their, their far-right uh, contacts as well. You had uh, media... Um, pe you have people pass it on to fucking Joe Rogan as well. Like, you're acting as if you created this shit by yourself and you built it by yourself. No, you didn't. You're a trust fund baby. You're a trust fund kid who who failed out of college and became a fucking real estate agent. The whole idea of lying the swamp and bitch. It's like it's all the same old people, the same. Oh, what a surprise! You're a massive maggot shot, of course. Same, um, the same media figures, um, mm. and they're and, and people are wanted something fresh. Yeah. Um, and I am an outsider, <sighs> um, and I just I came in. And, <laughs> I'm a maverick. And there's also a little bit of this mysteriousness, I think, because. Again, what you're bragging about was that you were one of the few people who was willing to actually straight up do that slander and libel. Just straight up be like, this person's a groomer, this person's a pedophile, this person's a groomer, this person's a pedophile. Yeah, that, that, that was a little more extreme, but it gave everyone else a great opportunity to retweet that shit. All of a sudden, Joe Rogan, fucking Tucker Carlson, Tim Pool, Stephen Crowder, all of the right are able to be like, uh, well, look, they're, they're grooming children. Here's an example. Uh, did you hear about the cat litter box in this school? Apparently, apparently the children are allowed to uh, think that they're cats and then they shit into a litter box in the eyes of everyone else. Yes, in the middle of the classroom. And it's like, no, that never happened at all that's just a lie you, you lied this is a lie that you've made up in fact the picture that you're using and referencing is really sad those litter boxes uh, that you're showing uh, those are for if there's a school shooting because that's a real problem that children actually die hey i love that one the whole background behind the the furries using litter boxes was because they used they kept kitty litter in case of a school shooting that's how fucked up your country is america fuck you and so, so in case that happens they, they had materials there in case a kid has your to your country to sucks during a school shooting sorry um, not sorry yeah, so that's weird that's weird that you would lie about that uh, and then you kept that up that one's still up there by the way you haven't taken that one down that one's not deleted so it's just a lie uh, and then joe rogan repeated your lie on the joe rogan podcast and then it was a forced feedback where you were then like uh, appearing on the joe rogan uh, he confirms that apparently this happened and then joe rogan had to be like uh oopsie yeah i lied that never happened uh and, and then there were no uh, corrections issues or, or like deep apologies either you know spreading pretty pretty bigoted uh lgbtq plus conspiracy theories but you just you know oopsie i just did an oopsie yeah to my 11 million people listening on spotify cool cool and normal spotify can't wait until pride comes around yeah i can't can't wait till till all those flags come out and got the nice old trans logo or the rainbow logo look at this washing you're doing here spotify fucking awesome I knew who i was but, but how but how i mean so I, I don't know your age but i think i have children roughly your age and i, I so i know people your age and i think most people get to the <laughs> fucking gross their 20s or early 30s or whatever with a lot of evidence of their lives on the internet they've exposed themselves to one way or another on the internet and you had oh you certainly exposed yourself to i it. so by nature i'm a very private person um and i was never into social media so until my twitter account i never really had any social media that's you must be the only one uh just not true just just straight line because uh, again the rest of the social media has also kind of been cataloged uh, at, at this point showing again the january 6th uh, appearance that that stuff yeah you're just lying to dr carlson right now I mean, what, what you could have said that was true is that your other social media projects never took off they true true they were abysmal they, no engagement not, not a lot of you know interaction so that that part is true very rare and yeah. it's just interesting that the person who never had social media became this dominant figure in social media. Yeah, I, I learned it really quickly. <laughs> Did you both sit down and think of origin stories? You're like, what is the ultimate libs of TikTok thing? It's like, the person who never used social media would come to dominate social media. Ah, the anti-social media social media. Um, how to navigate, um, you know, how to, how to deal with do social media and, and make it grow. So at, did and no one taught you how to look? <laughs> so boring. You made it grow by having enough funding to buy enough bots. That's it.
And when it becomes self-sustaining, like um, you, the, you, the, um, you had uh, enough connections with media companies to um, get featured on these far-right uh, networks. And the ones that uh, you didn't have connections with followed suit shortly after. And that's what happened. That's how you build a social network. That's how you astroturf. Even Tucker uh. has to carry this thing so much. These are all such fucking easy fucking... These should be layups. You know, you should be slam dunking every single one of these. It's like, yeah, I I am um, good social media because I don't have social... Never use social media. College is poison. Keep the stuff online or how to promote, how to juice your account on Twitter. No, I learned it all on the job. What did, what, did, what did your friends and family? Why is he in such like? What the fuck is this nonsense? You know the truth. <laughs> it's just heavily funded by the founder of the Babylon Bee. It's, it's not like oh, and then you know I just again someone who never used social media. I mastered social media, and I just had to learn on the fly. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. Did they know what was going on. Um, so in the beginning, I did tell some friends and family, um, and then as it grew, I started realizing more that I want to keep it more private, yes. just because the the left is so violent. Am I on 125? Oh my god, I just, I completely forgot. I, I was like, this... It's, it wasn't the left that uh, put in the bomb threats. What the it fuck? It just sounds like a person almost speaking at regular speed. And hateful. Um, and intolerant. So, um... Intolerant? Yeah, you, you shouldn't tolerate intolerance. You shouldn't tolerate people being bigoted to other people. Yes, I, 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 I stand firmly on that. I, I will not tolerate that. I, I tolerate you fucking marginalized people who already are marginalized in society? Yes. <laughs> um, so I started, you know, telling less and less people and being much more private about it. Um, but I think, you know, my friends and family were all really supportive, um, which is which is really great to have. Oh, that's good to know. Cool. Awesome. So you, you come from a family of bigots then. It was just a, it's a family affair. They're, they're like, we really mm. like all that slander and libel you're doing towards the, the gays. Yeah, that's that's cool. Cool and normal that you're slandering and libeling the gays, calling them pedophiles. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to call cap on that. Um, it sounds to me like, um, you know, like she probably kept quiet about it because being because her family probably wouldn't be too accepting of her outright hatred for uh, minority groups judging by the you know her family's history with uh working uh with uh minorities uh, particularly jewish people um and uh, their you know charitable works in that area like it sounds to me like she had no choice because people fucking found out who she was and uh probably her family confronted her about that that's what i'm guessing that's where i'd fucking go with that that good good on you good, great job great good work well yeah you've done this incredible thing last question about process how did you know what would work like how in other words by work i mean how did you know what, what videos that people would be interested in seeing uh, it's crazy, Tucker. I posted a video uh, where, like, a teacher was like, I'm gay. And then I said, this person's a pedophile and wants to rape children. And then all of a sudden, like, it, it just got lots of retweets, lots of engagement. And then I was like, oh, this, this so is like cool. a trend. Are... That people that are big on hatred on the, the right have families that help minorities. Yeah. And just look at um, Rupert Murdoch. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing that and then keep getting the, the likes and then the engagement. That's a really good question. Um... I, so I made standards for myself, um, sort of what I believed to be important. Um, and I do a lot of vetting for the videos. Um, oh, there's a and process, I kind of was there? just tuned what, what in. What is it in vetting? Well, so I don't want to. Mean by that? Could, could you explain further? Go deep. Let's, let's get to know the real you be below the surface, the layers. Please don't what tell me about her process. Like parody, for example, right. right. Um, because although a lot of these videos look like parody, yes, they do. <laughs> we wish they were parody, but unfortunately they're not. Um, we get a lot of them across our desk here. Obviously, a lot of the videos that you find, and a couple of times I've said to myself that that just cannot be, that cannot actually be a kindergarten teacher. Yeah, and then it is, and it's really scary. So do you try and? Fight? It's not scary at all. None of these videos are uh, controversial in any way. The only controversial thing is you claiming that they are controversial. Lies, basically. Again, if you were watching the start of this, they showed the highlight reel. Tucker played what he considered, I assume, to be some of the most egregious examples, and they were the most harmless shit. I'm not sure. You are a pair of Done randomly. Ass adult I'm really not digits. sure. Like, that's what is happening here. If someone is like, so the kids in my class got to pick pronouns off a wall, the majority of them picked he, him, and she, her, but a few of them picked they, them. That was the clip. That's it. That, that's that's the whole. What? This, this is what requires bomb threats, death threats? Fucking okay. Is that who these people are? Yeah. So, um, so, that, so that's one thing, is to make sure it's real. So I, I'll make sure that it's actually a teacher. And you do that yourself? Yeah. Um, to the extent I can, yeah. 
um and i make sure it's it's not parody it's like it really sucks how fucking normalized uh, this is that this is like this is far right extremism okay this is a stochastic terrorist this is someone who inspires real world violence against lgbtq plus people and, and it's just being mainstreamed on fucking the the largest news program on fucking on uh on, on fox it, it's wild um oh no and... hurry also, I like fresh so sure oh, oh, yeah. stuff. It's all I, when people come to my account every day, they know that they're gonna they can scroll through my feed and they're gonna get a couple of pieces. Oh, by the way, I should add, I, I had a, a little bit back and forth uh, with Kaya uh, on on the Twitters before she blocked me. Um, she was not really happy with me pointing out uh, that she's a massive hypocrite because uh, she uploaded a video that someone had filmed inside a children's bathroom while a kid was going to the bathroom. Yes, the stall was closed in the video, and I was like, "This is super fucked up. You just posted a video without a child or a parent's consent uh, of someone filming them going to the bathroom. That's fucked up." And she blocked me. Yeah, she, she was fine going back and forth before that, by the way. It wasn't like, uh, this was just like the first time she saw surfs on her account or something. She had quote tweeted me before, and I was wondering why all of a sudden I got filled with all this groomer, 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 groomer. I was like, oh, fucking Libs and TikTok quote tweeted me, that's why. But as soon as I posted that, eh. <laughs> Oh God, hypocrisy. Content that they've never seen before. It's all new, <sighs> it's all fresh, and it's relevant. Um, and that's what I try to... Every accusation is confession. Like, why does that keep happening, by the way? Like, it, I, I could make, I should make a master list of every one of these motherfuckers. Tucker Carlson, it's rich that he's talking about teachers because he is on camera way back in the day talking about how a teacher giving a lap dance to a kid is totally fine if it's a woman doing it to a little boy. Yes, Tucker Carlson's fine with that. And that's not even talking about the Bubba the Love Sponge shit where he actually was like talking about uh, Bubba the Love Sponge brings up uh, his own daughter having like a lesbian encounter. And then he was like, well, if it wasn't my own daughter, I would love that scenario. And you, you, you would love a sexual scenario involving a couple of teenagers hooking up because they're both women and you're so hetero uh, gross what the fuck so yeah yeah I, I don't think they're in any position to be like oh that that's uh, that's a groomer it's a groomer a groomer over there to focus my content on. how do you so you're your own editorial director you're your own fact checking department you're your own tech support how, and you know you have no background in this whatsoever you don't come up from a family of journalists you didn't go to journalism school you're doing something completely different you got bored during covid do you think that's, that's kind of amazing? <laughs> it is and some days i'm like how did this happen but you had <laughs> the real? natural talents for it i guess so yeah um i think that See, it's so boring. So many layups. It's, this whole thing is just like nonstop fawning and just like, hey, by the way, by the way. Okay, one second. I, I, I bring receipts. Okay, I'm going to have the receipts. I've gotten up this uh, hill before. Sorry, sorry I'm trying to get it up and get up there. dance in front of the entire class. Huh. Alicia Smith, pictured on the screen, accused of grinding on the 15-year-old, putting her head between his legs and fondling him. Oh. Smith reportedly admits to doing all this, but only after the rest of the class, she says, convinced her to. Okay. So, you know, I, I think a legitimate opinion divides whether this was appropriate for the classroom or not. <laughs> But there, what? Are, what? <laughs> Hold on, so let me finish. there are people out there who believe that there ought to be criminal sanctions brought against this I, woman. I, I, and I think that's should deranged. Be. So what? if the class had because tried there's to Because no, there's no victim here. If the class had tried to convict her or convince her of committing a crime like killing somebody, which you've done it to. But this isn't I mean, a crime. That's the point does, I'm making. A crime suggests a victim. And what do you mean no there's no victim, though? There's a 15 year old yeah. kid, and then you have Two a woman. There's a 15 year old boy. Uh, on the Bubba the Love Sponge show, Tucker Carlson was also talking about, if all this wasn't bad enough, um, a story involving uh, an older woman who raped a young boy multiple times. Uh, and he said that it was uh, it was a service, that he was doing a service, uh, uh, sorry, she was doing a service by discharging uh, the young lad uh, because that way he's not going to try and have sex with people his own age. That's a Tucker Carlson quote. Boy. And so okay. having been a 15 year old boy, I can tell you, unless How there's something you don't know there? about this, I've gotten this up there before. I have taught 15 year old by the way, this all goes deep down into misogyny and controlling women and making sure you control the women's bodies because it's totally normal for dudes I to have sexual desires, but not anymore. women. They have to be chaste or chaste and pure and, and, and untouched by men, unknown by men, until they are prepared to do a covenant with God. Girl boys, I assure you they are still kids. This is the they may be laughing, but I assure you they're parents. This is the dream. Dream. Like Even if that is true, Tucker, even if that's like every kid in the class wants that, that doesn't make it okay. And it's <sighs> kind of weird if teachers are teaching pronouns, you know, the English language, that's grooming. But if teachers are giving lap dances to little boys, that's good wholesome entertainment. I, I when I started it, I was like, oh my God, like I love this. This is exactly what I want to be doing. And I was good at it. And it just, it fills me with a sense of satisfaction. Um, and oh, it's really- Imagine the satisfaction you must feel by making, by closing down children hospitals due to bomb threats. Woohoo! Satisfaction. Ah. It's hard not to apply moral baggage to this one. Really, it's it's really empowering, um, and I think this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like I want to be leaving aside the politics and all that, you? and it's hard to take them out. But just Disem disempowering people and attacking minorities is empowering to you. Like, how, what kind of what the fuck? 
for a second. It's so cool to see someone accidentally stumble upon like their destiny. I mean, it's cool. Accidentally? Yeah, I, I, I'm very grateful. I, it's, a, it's a huge blessing. They're, None I think of this was Americans accidental. Really and go to work and hate their jobs, and they just don't know. I mean, like, I've said this for a long time. One of the best, best... Oh, okay, what's the... Okay, I'm, I'm staying away from whatever the fuck that is. Um, one of the best things, um... What, things to get out of uh, mainstream media news, especially Fox Media News, is to listen to what they're saying the most and uh, realizing that that's what they want you to think the most. Like this. What they're doing in life. And I feel every single day, I feel so blessed and grateful that I'm in this position and I'm making a difference and I enjoy it and I'm helping people and it's just incredible. That's amazing. You're not helping so anyone. Like, yeah. It's a great feeling. So because you weren't political, particularly, it sounds like you're on a gut level, you're conservative. So like, we can see the main points here. She's not political a lie um she she made it herself uh with no help a, a lie she stumbled into it it was just a happy accident a lie all of these things are lies this is uh, tucker carlson um trying to uh i guess get ahead of the criticisms and try to um and try to preemptively um because, uh, you know, now that this has come out, now that we know who she is, and now that that's all got come out, everything else will as well. Her history within the Pizzagate movement, her history with with Gamergate, her history with all of these movements um, will come out. But this is what the conservatives will remember. Tucker Carlson saying that she did it all by herself. Like these are the talking points. These are these are talking points, and they keep on repeating them. But you weren't involved in politics, and it sounds like you didn't know that much about it. Did you anticipate the response from the left? How many times has, yeah. has he repeated that no, now? Not in my wildest dreams. Tell us about the response. So, I have been called every single insult in the book. <laughs> um, and I can make some up they, some new ones for you. So they call me um, hateful and and dangerous and harmful um, and. So just to be very clear, I am not a hateful person. I don't wish harm onto anyone. And I think yes, that you do. the reality is... Yes, yes, you do. You you, you want... You, tr you literally try and get people fired for, like, putting up um, completely harmless videos on TikTok. But, but you, you constantly wish harm upon people. Like, you can't believe that unless... Yeah. Now, like I said earlier, they don't see us as real people. They don't see us as they don't they, they see us as lesser as lesser. She sees um queer people as lesser than her. Um and she uh and and that's the justification there. We're not real we're not real people. We are awful uh pedophile groomers. Um that we're not real people to her. And therefore, like, when she's talking about helping people, we don't come into that. Like, she doesn't even consider us in people because we're not people to her. That's what you need to understand. Like, there is no cognitive dissonance there. there is, she, they do not believe that we are people. She's, what? She's more clockable than trans women. Just, what, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, who makes that joke? Oh, that sounds like some dumbass lip shit. That a lot of the content in the videos are in fact dangerous. What? Can can we just get an instant replay on this, please? Uh, it's just it's just the people that you are funding, honey, um, will come after you uh, right after they come after us. This is the best response for that. So they call me um, hateful and and dangerous and harmful. Mm -hmm. um, and so just to be very clear, I am not a hateful person. I don't wish harm onto anyone. And yeah, the, you don't, you, 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 when you don't consider people as people, then yeah, I guess you wouldn't be uh, wishing harm upon anyone because we're not anyone. We're just the enemy. Like, and, and we deserve our fate because of the choices we've made in life. That, that, that's, that's how you reconcile these things. She totally thinks the hand smell, the handman was tiled won't happen. No, I'm not even talking about that. You know that uh, she's she's Jewish. Like, 
her her grandfather was like one like a, a, like a huge a huge advocate for like Jew, Jewish um, people after after World War Two, and helped a lot of people through charity work, a lot of Jewish people. Like she's Jewish, honey. You're you're yeah. But you the, the you're you're not going to be empowered by the people who have funded your operation. You're going to be put into the same camps that we are. And that sucks that you've been used in this way. Just like Ye has been used. Just like all just like uh, all of the other, you know, people who our class traders have been used against their people. I don't know. It's fucked. I think that the reality is that a lot of the content in the videos are in fact dangerous and, no. and harmful. Oh, I mean that's a lie because none of it is. You haven't been able you you haven't been able to show one, not one instance. Uh, ooh. No, you haven't been able to show uh, one instance of uh, anything dangerous in one of your uh, videos, unless you're talking about the uh, actual uh, pedophile uh, um, police reports that you've posted next to normal TikTok videos. Uh, but, like, I could do that with you as well. I could find someone who looks like you, who did a bad thing, and then say, look, see, they look they look the same. So, yeah, you're, she's fucking lying. Yes. And so they are correct in, in that sense. In okay, so the videos they showed, the, their choice, the, the, the selection, the, the grand expose, yeah, like, again, was a teacher being like, no, there's no no need to put down trans women like by insulting her appearance. Like I, I she kind of looks like an egg in a wig, but um, you do you boo. So I wouldn't have gone. Yeah, I would have gone gone with an egg in a wig, but uh, you want to go with transgender, I suppose. But like that would be a compliment to her, I suppose. Um, yeah. Maybe get a uh, maybe get a foundation that matches your skin tone, so that you, so that it doesn't look like you're wearing a fucking clown mask. Or maybe put your start wearing your um, foundation further down your neck. Yeah. Like if that that's what I'd do if I was insulting her appearance, I guess. Um, like teeth look fine, I guess. Nose is crooked. Um, your eyebrows should have been plucked a little bit more evenly, um, especially in the middle there. They're a little bit um, messy. But this is all just like shit that everyone has. So like, it's not as if like I'm insulting anything in particular that that exists for her other than egg on egg in a wig. Much more, much more better to point out the fact that uh, at the end of the day, the things that she's working towards are not going to benefit her or her family in the long run. It's a very egg-headed thing to do. The kids in my class get to pick pronouns off the wall, and most of them pick she, her, or he, him. Some of them pick they, them. That, that's it. So, so that, in Haya and Tucker's assessment, is worth teachers getting death threats, schools getting bomb threats, kids getting terror. No, 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 Lance, Lance, you don't understand. These people aren't real people. You can't be hateful against people who are evil. You know, doing nasty things to evil people is good and loving. You, you really need to get back into the um, into the you know Catholic mindset. Uh, that, that, that's equal. Like that, that, that it's worth it. What, what I'm doing is battling the greater evil again of the utility of the English language. That's, that's no par for the course. No, no, no that's but that, that, that's beside that. No, no. no. That's pulling it beside the point. That's that's arguing the points that don't deserve to be argued. As soon as you move down the whole argument around pronouns, when it comes to Chaya Rychik, you you've moved away from the main point, which is they are lying about what they are showing. Like there is nothing dangerous or wrong about any of the videos of uh, you know queer people that they've shown. Nothing. I challenge anyone to show me something that uh, would make me change my mind. That 
these videos, you have again, yeah, basic English of these teachers talking about um, grooming kids, and the doctors are, are mutilating kids and sterile. Not, nope. not true. Not, not true. true. No, lies. With, with, lies. Are doctors mutilating children uh, when they perform surgery on them? Like if a kid uh, has to get some kind of surgery for for any kind of condition, is is, is that? And and even then, even then, by the way, uh, children don't get bottom surgery. They're not mutilating children. Uh, again, this is not something that just happens like like this. It takes a very very long time. A lot of discussions with with doctors. The, the kids that you're usually referring to because you're so concerned about the kids, uh, they don't get surgery of, of any kind, like not at that age. You, you might do some gender affirmation. You, you might use different pronouns. Best thing, like, again, stop arguing the point, Lance. Like, I know it's fun to argue the point, and I'm going to do that in a second and be, like, completely dumb and do that as well. But, uh, like, best response would be that uh, more 16 year old cis girls uh, get uh, breast augmentation surgery than um than uh, trans men and uh the regret the the uh, regret percentage uh figures on those uh, speak for themselves um more cis more cis head girls get breast augmentation surgery and regret it than trans people do. Yeah, yeah, but that one's a that one's a. Uh, I, see, I hate I hate getting dragged down that one, fun randomly because like it's way fucking. T this is this is this is this is. It's way too easy to to fall into like, anti-Semitic tropes, like because there there is a bit there is a level of anti-Semitism there by like saying that all circumcision is um is. Uh, uh, is uh, mutilation mutilation because like there's no the, because because of the um the effects of the language it's not about what is dictionary proof you know you can call it mutilation and say that you know that the dictionary agrees with you and it fits all of this and it's like this is why it's true but at the end of the day why are you saying that? And what are the results of that language going to be? <clears throat> and I feel like talking about it, while I while I may have my personal opinions there over what I think is right, calling it mutilation is damaging for the Jewish community. I do believe. You know what I mean? I've been thinking about that a lot because I've been using that language a lot to, in, in response to people like um talking about the mutilation of children with, with regards to this and i feel like it's just like it's just like um it's the same shit that um that um that 4chan did with maps in order to try and create a wedge between you know the lgbt community like trying to create drama and stress between minority groups i just think that the benefits of using language in that way are, do not outweigh the potential negatives for, you know, the, the problems. And that's just my opinion, though. Like, I'm just a dumbass streamer with who you shouldn't get your opinions from. <laughs> well, But yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting topic of conversation. I don't think that um, we should do circumcision unless it's medically necessary. You know? Can you go away, Mr. Raynor, I'm not going to accept your quest. I just want your sky shard. I want your tasty, tasty sky shards. Then again, it, that's English. You, you know English, so that's just using English. But do you see the egg on a wig? intended to be used. That, that's it. Egg on a wig. Um, there's a there's a lot of videos with um, LGBT no, activists there isn't. Um, indoctrinating kids. Um, there's a no, lot there isn't. of videos with kids and white kids. racism, and all of these things I think are harmful. No, there yeah, isn't. I, I agree that they're harmful. No, no there, there, there is. There's none of that. None of what she just said was true. Like, literally none of it. Go look for yourself. These were all lies. These are just lies. She's lying right now. Wow. What a lying bitch. Um, yeah. Like, there's... There, what else can you say than that? Then she's just a fucking liar. A lying liar, dude. Just a wheezy little fucking liar, dude. And she's allowed to say, and she's just, she's been given a platform to say this shit. Oh my gosh, I'm almost, uh, I've almost done it. Oh my gosh, oh, I just need one more skill point for you. And then I'm onto the jewelry crafting side of things. Oh yes! 
Jones. I'm making it good. Um, so it's it's it is very telling when they when they Comment call me harmful. Um, when Thank you. I'm sharing I'm sharing their own content with. Bear yeah, so like the hurtful nature of it is not the content that you're sharing. The fact is that you're sharing content which is normal, and then you are claiming that it is you are lying about the content to try and purport a narrative. That is what people are calling hateful wrongly because uh, like they don't understand that uh, you don't believe that it's hatred to attack a community that you don't you see as subhuman. Any. I bet you aren't, and you're lying right now, because if that's what you were doing, no one would have an issue with you. They would just be like, well, this is yet another cringe compilation. There's so many right-wing cringe, uh, cringe compilation accounts. You don't see me making whole videos about it, speaking out about it, being like, oh, this right-wing uh, cringe compilation is getting people hurt. This is having real-world consequences. No, that, that this is because you, again, are slandering people. You're label, uh, uh, sorry, labeling them as groomers and pedophiles, and then posting where people can contact them. Here's the school district. Here's the school. Here's the phone number. Here's the address of the school. Yep. It's all public information. Tee -hee. Uh, And then mm -hmm. sometimes it's just like, here's their straight-up phone number. And, and it's like, oh, oops, got delete. <laughs> that never happened. Um, editorial aspect. Um, well, and... there's, there's no editorial aspect in the video itself. I mean, you're not editing their videos. Right, right. You'd be in court right now if you were doing that. Right. And, and just for our viewers who haven't followed this, and I think most of them have at this point, but for those who haven't, you characterized this as, as harmful content in the truest sense. Of All right, hold on a second. Um, and uh, I, I, need, I need to take a quick break. I'm going to do lady stuff. I shall be right back. So don't go anywhere or do. Either way, though, I'll be back very shortly. To these short messages.
And we're back. Uh. He news, everybody. Because, again, do, do you remember when Tucker Carlson and Haya uh, said that uh, she didn't have... Um, uh, social media presence uh, and that uh, she never used social media before and that she actually it's it's amazing that she was able to dominate social media as someone who never used social media uh, and then I was like well that seems odd to say that because uh, she did have social media and she was posting about January 6th uh, I just want to say thanks to trends of TikTok in less than five hours after the Tucker interview they were able to identify Haya Reichek's Linda TikTok face and attire well on the Capitol grounds on January 6th <laughs> From Chad Loader, newly released analysis of the footage appears to show Haya Reichick, the woman behind the Libs and TikTok account, trespassing on restricted grounds of the U.S. Capitol on oh, January 6th, 2021. Shit. <laughs> All That's right. so incredible. Cut him. Oh. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, hey, it's you. How's it going, Haya? Good to see you. Yep. Was that a fun yep. day? That oh, is an you egg like in a wig. Doing a little coup. We do a little coup, we do. <laughs> go, go. Get in the building. <laughs> building hell yeah All get in right. the building get in there come on <laughs> thank goodness for the dumbass chuds that decided to fucking videotape everything right yeah, let's Holy take our moly. country back <laughs> this this is why the real nazis get pissed off is because the dumbass chuds fucking ruin it for them and it's hilarious but also scary uh Chef's Kiss, uh, Chad's a TikTok, and everyone else who's putting in the Lord's work there. Oh, by the way, uh, so uh, you're both lying. Yeah, she she not only had a social media account, but she was like, using it to broadcast her doing a little cue. Yeah, she did a she did a little cue. Yeah. She did. <laughs> yeah, she had she had also had a social media account where she claimed to be there on on January sixth. So, quick yeah. up on the screen so they know what you're talking about. <laughs> Obviously, the question becomes then, when misinformation, disinformation is being spread, when hate and threats are being spread, where are the social media companies? What's YouTube doing? What's Twitter doing? And of course, then you have the reaction to that. Oh, this is big tech silencing people. It always becomes a debate about free speech, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, last week, Twitter suspended lives of TikTok, um, specifically for the policy against the promotion of... Uh, you, you'll note, by the way, now, thanks to the Twitter files, we know that, uh, in fact, uh, she was getting special privilege. Yes, lives of TikTok, in fact, was getting a special order not to have actions uh, taken on the account unless spoken to the highest levels of the security team. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. she got uh, she got some privilege. Uh, violence and harassment. Yeah. So great job, right? Um, but it's been seven days and libs of TikTok is back now and they're tweeting right this very minute, this is violence, this is harassment. It's clear what these accounts are doing. That was the reaction to what you were doing. So that's Brandy Zadrozny, who is a political activist working on behalf of the Biden administration. They all are in the media, yeah. They, they all are. Um, describing you as someone huh? committing violence. So tell us- They all are. No, they're not. What? No. What? What kind of fucking QAnon conspiracy theory bullshit is this? Push back against that, Tucker. What the fuck? What we just saw, if you would. Well, one thing that I noticed in the- It'd be like me saying that Tucker Carlson works for the fucking GOP. He doesn't work for them. No, he works for Rupert Murdoch. Fuck, no. She says that I was suspended for hateful <laughs> conduct, which is really interesting because the Twitter files actually just revealed that the Twitter employees admitted that I never violated their policies. So that's a lie. They were trying to find a violation because they didn't want me to have a voice, but I never actually violated policy. So um, I'm not hateful. Um, the, con the Twitter files did the absolute opposite. That was like literally the opposite. That is, that is as much of a lie as you can fucking make right now. That's an absolute bald faced fucking lie. Read the fucking Twitter files. They ha they banned her so many times that they had to stop banning her because they didn't want to look nonpartisan. She was fucking swinging the Overton window so far that they had to give her swing special treatment in order to like appease the masses. Holy the shit! Content, uh, what I, the stuff I post, um, it's not. It's 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 just. It's not. Um... Oh my God! You're so boring. This is so unbelievably boring. Uh, again, this, this it's it's like this is not what you call an interview. This is just basically like a press release. It's like, okay, I, I'm going to be as funny as possible. I'm going to give you so many softballs. We're going to talk about how you basically invented the internet. Do you like that? Do you want to do that, Haya? And then Haya was like, okay, yes, I, I will be interesting. Very interesting, indeed. Um, it's not hateful, and they're saying that because it's not hateful. <laughs> if you call people pedophiles who aren't pe look at the Twitter files. She was banned repeatedly for um, these Twitter violations. Like, just yeah, repeatedly for for um, breaking TOS and for doxing. 
and for hateful conduct, like continually. Um, she's lying right now because, like, you know, ah, I'm dying. Stop making me die. Ah. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. No wind, no wind, please. Woo! Close one. Pedophiles, yes, that's hateful. If you call entire groups because they're talking about either gay or trans stuff, pedophiles, yes, that's hate speech, that's bigotry. Yeah. If you do that and then say, here's where you find them, here, here, go send them a message and people commit acts of violence, that's where you've upgraded into terrorist. Yes, you are not just a simple- It doesn't stop being hateful contact just because you don't believe we're people, bitch. Big it on the internet. <laughs> they want to silence me. Of course. Um, and they're scared. Because... And yeah, the, the Twitter files don't, didn't- Shia LaBeouf, stop making a little fox die, yeah. Mm. Lies. Like, you need to push, we need to just keep pushing back on these lies. She's lying. She's lying. She, she's, she is an insurrectionist traitor to your country, and she's lying to you. To, like, push, to make money off of your fear. She's exploiting your wallets. As this is their own, their own views, their own. <laughs> no one will stop me from lying. I, I get to lie. I, I get to get paid to lie and people get hurt. And the hospitals get bomb threats. I, I'm not going to stop. You can't stop me. <laughs> I mean, this is what they stand for. And I'm just showing people and, you know, they, they run away the, the left because they don't like it. You're turning the lights on. No one's running away from it. To, we're shining a light on all this shit. Yeah, we, we kind of have to. We have to play defense on this because, again, the majority of people, like normies, they aren't as hate-filled as you. you. You are a minority of incredibly bigoted individuals with a lot of funding and a lot of fucking noise. You sound so much louder than the, the actual hate exists, though. You're trying to push it in that direction. You'd like fucking everyone to be like, oh, we hate trans people as much as you do. Exactly. They're like cockroaches running yes. away in the light. But what's so interesting is that Brandy said, draws me. Jewish woman calls a group of people cockroaches, like insects running away. I seem to remember an Austrian who said very similar things in the past about very similar group of people. Can't remember what his name was. I do know that he blew his own brains out in the end, so let's just see how this ends. He's not a journalist, obviously, but does pretend to be one. And as long as you're pretending to be a journalist, it's kind of hard to argue against disclosure and openness. Like, on what grounds could she plausibly argue as an NBC News employee you shouldn't be allowed to air videos that already played on TikTok? Like, how is that a crime? Right. Posting the real-time data is now against terms of, um, uh, uh, real-time uh, location data is now against the terms of searches. Yeah, something, 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 um, final solution, something, something, I can't remember. I don't remember. Probably doesn't matter. Well, because she's not a, she's not just an employee. She's an activist for the Democratic Party. No, that's totally true. Yeah. Um, so, what? however, you know, she's got a job at a big news organization. He fucking called himself there, like, he's like, that's absolutely true. And then he realized, oh, it's not true. <laughs> yeah. And you're home in your kitchen on the internet, alone, doing all the work yourself. And with her is the Biden administration and the FBI and various intel agencies and the big social media conglomerates. So... I, I feel like you're kind of uh, doing some fan fiction right now, Tucker. You're just, just adding everything else. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of outnumbered. Did you feel that way? Yes, all the time. Um, I have all of everything you just mentioned, all of the media, but it, you know, Washington Post, MSNBC, all of them, um, the Biden administration, obviously, like they're all working together. And then um, I'm just one person. I don't have a whole staff behind me. I don't have yes, millions you of do. dollars behind me, like any re uh, reporter. Yes, you do. Post, for example. You literally do! The, 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 these are all fucking lies. Holy fuck. Lies, lies, and damned lies all the time. This entire interview has been a fucking lie fest. I can't, I don't know, I have no interest in pulling up all the fucking receipts because there's just too many of them to fucking debunk in, in real time. You're just gonna have to look it up for yourself. Like, the Twitter files? Completely a lie. This? Completely a lie. We know that to be false now. We absolutely know these all to be fucking lies. Holy um, shit. And, and I think that actually might be part of the reason why they are so threatened by- My ancestors are proud of me, Nord. Can you see the same of your own? 
to me yes. is because, well, first of all, I think they're a little bit jealous. Yeah. Because I, I am much more relevant and effective than they are. And they, these people have. <sighs> <laughs> You're going to big time your way out of this? Oh, it's just the haters they hate because I'm so good at what I do. So much resources behind them. And, um, and they're not actually. Lies, lies, and damn lies. doing real journalism or reporting right they're just activists and so i think they're a little bit jealous um and that and they're frightened because i'm just wondering. he's uh beloved by one of your fellow canadians who is this i'm blocked by this person Billboard it's okay honey it's, no okay. it's okay honey they're saying bad things about you because they're just jealous of you and your shitty fucking tiktok mm. damn straight hey, oh you blocked me hells yeah oh add that amulet to the gauntlet my power increases. I'm gonna start doing like your soul is mine. My New Year's resolution is to convince Higher Eye Check of Libs of TikTok to join me for street conversations. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> push and check a little with me. No, oh, I can't do it. I'm blocked. <laughs> Please don't influence this poll, everybody, and really, really make Billboard Chris sad. That would be a really, really sad thing if that happened. Please don't do that. No one go over to this poll right now and make and make Billboard Chris's day a little worse. You know, this transphobic bigot who fucking endangers children. Don't, don't do that. I, please don't. All right. I'm, I'm asking you. Person, please don't. And I am, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a lot. I think for our culture. Um, and, and I'm doing a lot for, <laughs> fucking the for your culture. What's your culture? What color is it? Sure. Like, this is wild. I mean, I know there's like, there's some cocky motherfuckers on the left. Not going to say there's not, okay? There's there's some champagne socialists who, who may think of themselves as a, a little bit above it all. Uh, but like anyone who's not going to be transparent be like, your culture of eggs and wigs? I'm a podcaster. I'm a streamer. I'm a YouTuber. It's like, okay, yes, you're, you're an entertainer. But we all are, nah, myself included, right? We're entertainers. Right? That's what we're doing. We're entertaining people. We, we are we are showmen and show women and show people. That's 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 what's going on here, you know? We're, I'm not gods, certainly not fucking revolutionaries. Like, oh, yes, uh, my comrades donating to me unlocks communism. We're so close. Thank you for the gifted subs. So the Washington Post, which is owned by... Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So that you can make communism happen by giving me money. I'm one of the richest men in the world, Jeff Bezos, who sells plastic Chinese stuff to uh, the United States. Um, <laughs> fucking epic. <laughs> Culture is red you from the tell, blood they spell. You can tell that one wasn't scripted because he's just, he's a savant when it comes to that improv. You know, that Tucker Carlson, he keeps it on your toes. Sent a reporter after, like, literally. <laughs> all the things you can say about Jeff Bezos. Because he makes, makes Chinese things. After you. Her name is what, and she did what, if you fill in those blanks. So her name is Taylor Lorenz, also known as Tay-Tay. Tay-Tay. Tay-Tay, that's her name. And who calls her that? So I call her that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to make Tay-Tay happen. It's not a thing. But you know it's a thing now. Fuck, it's on Tucker Carlson. It's on Fox News. Fucking all the fucking 70-plus-year-olds are going to be like, oh, Tay-Tay. Oh, that Tay-Tay working for the Washington Po. The corporate liberal elites are Tay-Tay. Uh. <laughs> is, that, is that because it's like the Popo or something like that? Like, why Tay-Tay? Taylor, I don't even know who the fuck Taylor Lorenz is either, like, I, fucking hell, Americans, y'all need to maybe not, like, be so far up your own heads, your own ass, sorry, you, you might well not want to be, have your head so far up your own American asses that, like, the rest of the world gives a fuck who, who Taylor Lorenz is versus Chaya Ride Check or whatever, right, Fucking egg in a wig here. <clears throat> like. <coughs> hey, titties. I made it um. up. And my goal is that. <laughs> She's so proud of the fact that. <coughs> she came up with a nickname for someone she hated. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. that. I need to replay that. That fucking giggle there. Of her thinking that that's the funniest thing ever just says everything about conservative comedy. <laughs> I made it up. Uh, uh, I made it up. Uh, I fucking love it. Like, this is the most animated she's been. Look how oh, happy she is. Oh, that Tay Tay working for the Washington Po. The Look how fucking happy she is about it. It's awesome. And <laughs> I made it up. And my goal <laughs> is. Sorry, just the way she real like, and then just that 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 split second of self awareness there before she kept going and realized how fucking dumb she looked. Is that people oh, start referring to her as that, and it's catching on. I, I saw it printed. I forget which news oh outlet printed God. it, like KK, and I was like, oh my God, like this is my dream. <laughs> because you understand something that most conservatives don't. It's not even <laughs> good of an insult. Oh yeah, you, you came up with a silly oh. sounding. 
It's supposed to be an insult? What? It's not insulting at all. What the fuck? Thing and then now people think of the, now they're like the silly sounding thing is the thing. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Which is when you control the language, you control the conversation. <laughs> if you when you refer to your next, if you say Tay Tay, then my mission will be. Okay, we have hit peak Karen. Like I, I hadn't brought it up before, and I was just gonna see what the Karen levels would be and where they were rising and what direction we were going. But I think. Is this why they hate pronouns so much? Because they because they hate having to like they 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 think that changing someone's name is like the height of an insult. Is, is that it? That's so weird. Y'all are weird and hateful in the most weirdest ways. We have hit like the black hole of Karenness. This is like a neutron star of Karen imploding into itself. The center of like, time and space will cease to exist because and of the hands sheer your curiosity eyes. that is taking place here. Again, peak Karen. Totally Absolutely done. Dad. Done. So you <laughs> have okay. this uh, reporter of privilege, Tay Tay Lorenz Tay -tay. <laughs> of the Washington Post. Now, what picture? Let's keep it on the screen. What are we looking at there? Tay Tay. So that is Taylor Lorenz at one of my relatives' homes. Um, now, why would she be at a relative's home? Due, dil due diligence of a um, reporter. Yeah, Glenn. What did you do, Glenn? So she decided that she was going to dox me. Um, I've been totally anonymous until then. This was in April, this past April. Um, now, is that she was trying to contact you for a uh, comment before releasing it all. You had the opportunity to, um, like, talk about that with them. Relative's home in the city that Taylor Lorenz lives in? That's in L.A., yeah. She doesn't live in L.A, does she? She does. She does, okay. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. So yeah. she went to your relative's home in L.A.? Yes, uh, not just one, a few. A few? Yes. Yeah! Um, she was trying to do due, due diligence as a reporter. That's their fucking job, you idiot. I like. I love how the right tried to twist this whole thing in reverse and be like, "Well, this is actually uh, stalking. This is this is dangerous." And and you know what? This is Jeffrey Bezos, I believe. Bezos is doing this. Bezos is targeting you. Why would Jeffrey Bezos target you specifically? Is it because you're telling the truth against his trans agenda? You know, the one that he's Wait. very known for. It, Bezos. Are you thinking about um, Soros? Is he getting them confused? I think. I think he's just confused. Yes, the thing that Jeffrey Bezos is <laughs> reporting sure. is saying what well, you read in an article. Yeah, I am a reporter for reacting to rea to a reaction. Same. Really? Yeah. Um, we only got one photo. That photo, famous photo. Um, so she showed up. She wanted to. Um, so she showed up at her dad's place, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, she was doing a story and was trying to get an interview. It's uh, it's what. Uh, journalists do you can have your criticisms of taylor lorenz aside but to try and frame this whole thing is it's like somehow that she's trying to get you hurt or harmed in the process that's that's a picture that you published by the way that's not yeah. not a not a taylor lorenz i don't really care um the billionaires are gonna do as much damage as each other like there's no good there are there are no good billionaires or millionaires there's none reveal it wasn't a taylor lorenz post to dox me to there's no lesser evil there there there's just a rotten system to share my identity um which as we all know she did um and i think you know a silver lining to all of that i think is is right here like this is like where we are right now i my following and my influence increased tremendously after the doxing um i think we deserve his money it's really sick that she's basically been saying this whole time that it's all about the gram and the fucking numbers, you know? Just just going off about that shit, too. Just being like, oh, well, you know, people are jealous, I think, is part of it. But also, like, I love how successful and huge my account is, and I'm able to do this really important work. After this, I'm going to be I'm, I'm gonna be going and, and, and sharing more and doing more of what I can to, to combat to combat them. Um, but she docs herself not knowing how the internet works? Yep, basically. She uh, registered her... <laughs> she's, literally out. she's literally after the they, am, they them army now. Honey... Honey, like the, the the them that you're fighting against and you're getting funding to fight against, the them that the people who are giving you money for to attack, the them, um, that that's that that's people like your granddad, people like you, like that that those are the kinds of people that they're after, after like as well as us. Watch that. Domain, and it's a public registry, and the domain name was available because of that. And yes, if someone was doing a journalism, they would find out her real name. At the time, I mean, obviously the doxing was 
extremely this was newsworthy by the way because this goes to the highest level and it wasn't adopting it wasn't adopting either it was publicly available information um yeah and her life has been affected in no negative way since then <laughs> other than death threats of government. It goes all the way to fucking Ron. Well, not the highest. Which I disavow. You would have to go all the way to the president. Um, I'm sure if Trump was in power, it would probably reach uh, Trump at some point. But it goes all the way to Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis' press secretary interacted with Haya on a regular basis and you utilized a lot of the fear mongering that Haya Reichick was putting out there in her libelous slander, like just repeatedly being like rumors, rumors, pedophiles, pedophiles, rumors, rumors to pass the Don't Say Gay Bill. So she is correct in that she has actually materialized real world consequences uh, to try and oppress and marginalize groups even further. Again, not groups that she's a part of. This, this is just like, this doesn't apply to you, but that's part of being a bigot, right? You have to oppress people, uh, and it's not going to impact your life. You're, you're like, oh, well, I mean, if I could just get rid of all the trans people, then then, then life would be perfect, you know? Then then I wouldn't have to use pronouns. Um, stressful, chaotic, scary. Um... Also interesting, as a, as a matter of justifiable journalism, I mean, your editorial output is on Twitter. You just trailed off. You're in a live interview. You can't just do that. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tucker is having to hold your hand through all this. And you're about to do an entire circuit. Wow. I, I mean, I'm assuming you'll get a little better with time. But, like, by, are you going to go into Tim Pool? Uh, well, I guess Tim Pool has multiple people on the show. They can kind of do that. Really, but you can't just stop it. You see? You see how weird that is? Put her on with yay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can assess it. She could write stories about what you've done and disagree with it or whatever. Why was it so imp important for her to learn your identity and to reveal it when most of the internet is anonymous? Well, I think I think she was scared. Um, my account was. Hey, there's it, a lot of anonymity uh, on the internet, but it's not exclusively anonymous. I mean, social media, especially things like Facebook, that a lot of people do use their real names and accounts. That's how people usually end up finding information, like the fact that Hi Reichek did have a social media account, and now the fact that we have a confirmation that Hi Reichek, in fact, participated in a coup attempt. Yes, that's right. Um, very influential and effective. I mean, we've gotten about a dozen teachers. By <laughs> and very influential and connected. Yes, yes, we know. We're talking about bad teachers who are grooming kids. Um, we've got. No, you're not. No, you're not. That's a fucking lie. That's a lie. You haven't talked about one teacher who's grooming kids. As far as I know, not in one of the videos that you reposted from TikTok. Not one. A lie. No, nope, never happened. Not a single one of the teachers that you've gotten fired and or had to quit for their own safety uh, was grooming. Uh, was was a pedophile. Not not one. Zero zero cases of that. That that's just you lying. One hundred percent lying uh, for mm -hmm. for profit. That's it. Lying for profit. Yeah, b bigotry for sale. Of drag shows canceled. Um, I know, like. DeSantis' team told me that the content that I found helped with the parental rights and education bill. It helped in And see, that's what's fucked about all this. And that's why, like, for Glenn Greenwald to run cover for this and be like, oh, fucking, uh, you're trying to dox, and, like, the biggest, uh, you know, news outlet in the world, the Washington Post trying to dox, uh, you know, a member of the LGBT, blah, blah, blah. Like, nonsense. Ab absolute nonsense. This is definitely newsworthy. This person reached all the way to the governor uh, and helped uh, shape and craft a bill that, again, marginalizes LGBTQ plus people. Um, the majority of Americans don't hate the gay, not, not in the way they do, not, not in the way the Christian nationalists or the far right or the, you know, the neo-fascists do. It, it's not a thing. So they have to do shit like this. They have to continuously uh, lie and amplify just every single story they can get their hands on. Again, like for something like the child mutilation thing, if there was a whole bunch, we're talking the numbers like Matt Walsh talks about, thousands, millions, millions and millions of children who had been improperly mutilated by these doctors, if that was a thing, they would be doing non-stop circuits. They, they would be everywhere. Because the few cases yeah. of people who uh, detransition and, and want to help support the, the right in their narrative, the few cases they do have are the same ones they cycle over and over and over again because those are people willing to vilify uh, other LGBTQ plus people uh, in service of, again, helping right-wing reactionaries. But they are... Yeah, it's funny that all they can find is people is like a couple of people who like just seem to hate trans people like cis people that hate trans people it's very very hard to find trans people that hate hate on trans people not an overwhelming plethora but they, you know they would host them you know they would fucking have that shit on broadcast 24 7 fire that um and i heard from other legislators um stuff, stuff along those lines as well so i know that it was really having an effect and, so and they're scared. But and she they, could write about that, which would be news. Yeah. You know, hey, this Twitter account is having an effect wait, on the public. Wait, 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 wait. So basically, you were doing a thing. People were asking you not to do that thing. Therefore, it was correct of you to do that thing.
That's what I'm hearing about right now. This that's the logic she just gave us. Remember, like they have that they, they all they've done is lie about mundane videos at this point to come to this. To just claim without any fucking solid evidence or proof that there is some form of grooming going on. There isn't. Because like Lance was Lance just said, like they'd be able they would have it they would have it they would be like put it if they had any evidence at all about this anything more than dead air and reframing of mundane videos um then they would show us they'd just show us they'd be showing it all over the place but because they don't and because the truth is that it's cishet, cishet white men that do the majority of grooming and rape. It's a little bit harder to talk about those issues. A lot easier to, to point the finger at uh, gay people, honestly. Policy, that's a fair story, I would say. But she wanted to reveal your identity, which she wanted to keep secret. It sounds like... To silence me. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Um, yeah, and I think they thought... I think they. Th well, yeah, because you are endangering people's lives. That should be silenced. Thought that's what happened. I would... Kind of weird that scared. you would think and, that... And I also had a few... You know, it was a newsworthy story. That's why it was reported on. Taylor Renz talks a lot about internet culture. She's kind of like, you know, translating some internet phenomenons to the normies, which I think you need. You, you need to have people who do that. You need to have people who can get stuff into print that explain a lot of internet shit, because sometimes it's too late by the time they catch up to what's going on. I think fucking some normies are just finding out about Gamergate now, you know? They're just being like, oh, so that's that's what happened. Yeah, and it goes all the way to fucking Steve Bannon and, and President Donald Trump. It's like, wild, wild, yeah, crazy about that. Nuts. We probably should have done some stuff back then about that. Eh? Well, I, yeah, I mean, it's not an easy fix. There's a lot of things going on here, a lot of things, and especially when it comes to right-wing radical I mean, uh, ultimately, what we do need to be working on is having people's material conditions met, because, you know, a, a lot of this does happen to do with people who are really struggling in life, and struggling parents means struggling kids. It's just, it's it's a thing. The harder the parents' lives are, especially making money to be able to support the family, uh, the harder it'll be on the children, and then a lot of young men on the internet, especially young white men on the internet, uh, will become radicalized when their lives are really unhappy, and everyone on one side of the aisle, like, the libs are saying, uh, no, you have privilege, and uh, you're, you're, you feeling sad is not valid because you're white, uh, and then on the right, they're like, uh, come over here, we have secrets for you, uh, take the red pill, don't you hate women, don't you don't you hate black people, don't you hate Jewish people, and they're like, okay, uh, yeah, I didn't, but I'm, I'm starting to now, I guess. Days of warning before the doxing, so I knew it was going to happen. How did you have warning? Um, she was she was harassing me. She was she was calling me on my phone for two days. No, that's not that wasn't harassment. That was her giving you fucking warning. That was her trying to do her due diligence in talking to you about the story. That wasn't harassment. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my gosh, they they were harassing me with warnings about what they were about to do to make sure that I was safe. What the fuck? What a fucking hilarious snowflake. Fucking egg, snowflake egg in a wig. Yes, endlessly. Like, calling me, texting me. Um... I still don't know what Gamergate was about. Too. Watch, um, I'm going to do a self-promo. Go to youtube.com slash the TV and you can watch a free documentary made by moi on, on what Gamergate was and explain the entire story and, and the, the, the fiasco and, and get to the, the bottom of it. She like, she cracks a little smile when she, when she covers her face. I don't know if you can catch that, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's incredible that that person who just said that in those two clips, it's the same oh person. Oh my gosh, who so me, fucking petty. Harassing anyone with my last uh no she didn't she didn't dox you in the way you think you're saying it you, you doxed yourself uh, that, that was you who did that and then in terms of the confirmation that being uh, your house that's again that's you putting that out there showing the photo which yeah someone could use that picture and then uh, kind of find out where that's located using uh, online resources that's that's also true name and then she goes and says those things it's just like that such a person this is so creepy to watch it is i mean it's pretty fucked up you, this is like mainstream fascism you know on fucking fox nation like this person runs an extremist hate account there's like there's there's tears right and that's why i really try to um differentiate different groups and explain to everyone what, what the difference is between say the alt-right or the neo-reactionaries or uh the christian nationalists or christian supremacists or white nationalists or white supremacists or what white, white supremacy is both as a construct and in terms of structural power and stuff like that uh, and how to dismantle white supremacy because it's fucking horrifyingly bad uh all that kind of shit um she is in a unique place in that, like, it is the source in a lot of cases of, you can see, direct violence, harassment, threats, uh, 
being committed uh, based on information that she first puts out there and then it gets amplified. Uh, I mean, there's some things you can point towards Andy No for doing that. There's some times you can point towards Christopher Rufo for doing that. But then after they will put that out there, it's like Matt Walsh scoops it up and then all of a sudden it's just normalized and it's everywhere. And then Tim Pool's doing it. Then Steven Crowder's doing it. And then boom, it's on Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson at a certain point and they're all just going off about how drag shows are actually pedophile conventions and that something needs to be done. Yeah, I picked that. So I was going to make fun of Taylor Renz for saying she has PTSD, but the truth is... But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing you got to understand. A lot of the time, especially with, with us, um, you know, eternally, like, eternally online, um, terminally online, that's a better one, um, people, you've got to understand the normies don't usually get this deep. They just hear, like, they just hear the echoes of what goes on in these dark corners of the internet. Because these are dark corners of the internet. We're not, like, talking about... Main, we're not like on mainstream shit right now. I mean, like, I guess in America it might be different, but like, we don't watch. No one watches Tucker Carlson in Australia. No one really sees or knows who the fuck that guy is. Um, we're aware of like Fox News, but normies don't know who the fuck he is. He may be the most uh, popular one in America, but in Australia. We don't get that here. We have different ones who are just as bad, but not as big names. So you normies don't really get, like, a lot of the Matt Walsh's and shit. They get, um, they get Joe Rogan and the echoes of what goes on after, like, the arguments have gone on. And they hear that there is an argument, and they think that there is a legitimate argument to be had about the rights of transgender people. That's, that's what they get out of it. And that's what we need to be aware of when we're, like, talking about these issues. Because, like, we can sometimes get ourselves bogged down in some, like, doomer mentalities about how the world is going. But we're, we are looking at the worst that things possibly can be. We're not looking at, like, the normie shit. Normies don't get this deep. Make sure you have a normie in your life to talk to politics with sometimes so that you can, like have a better view of what actually goes filters out into the real world and so you can feel a little bit more happy about your lives what's happening to you does sound like it could rattle you i mean do you feel i'd be rattled by it, i think um the the security issues um that um i, I think I, i've taken care of that um the best i can um but as far as being rattled by oh my god it's so boring one five one five save us the by the hatred that i got from the media um, from Taylor Lorenz, from other media, from the left in general. Um, oh my god, it sounds normal now. I just need to see what it sounds like at normal speed for one second. I, I sort of, I view it as, it's kind of just noise. Oh, oh my gosh, god. imagine if I had a normal I speed. Deeply, so, deeply boring. I, once, I think that once you have a basic understanding that these people, um, Oop, no I matter what TikTok you wrong. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> your words, at least no one saw um, it that one. Call you all kinds of memes, and I, I kind of just tune it out, and I'm like, this is just noise. These are actors, they're bad actors, and um, I think that has that has helped me deal with a lot of the hate. Two time one five is okay. And you mean that? Like deep, when you go to bed at night, are you able to clear your head and sleep soundly? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Well, so course. in other words, you can spend. You don't think you're a massive bigot? Well, be yeah, because if you if the people that you hate are subhuman, then um, it doesn't matter, because they're sub. We we're, we're the you know queer people are subhuman to her so she doesn't give a fuck what happens to us who's endangering children you think you're a hero it's just like you're not you've just got this weird fucking like the pov syndrome of this especially i don't know how much of this has been tucker carlson feeding haya all, all this information where it's like oh can we talk about how uh, you just never use social media and then all of a sudden you were like the god of social media can we do that that's i don't know if sure. that was like a narrative that he wanted to spin or that's the one that she's trying to invent because uh, lo and behold she did use social media she was actually pretty prevalent on social media just not really good at it or successful until she got the babylon b money but while she was on the social media uh, she was using it to post to her doing uh, a little coup yeah yeah she, she did a little coup she, she did a little january 6 coup participated in that one not even one of the like the outer circles where it's like you're just watching from a distance you're like oh what's going on over there uh maybe i should take off my maga hat uh no no you, you know participating in the coup all day for two years in the internet at the very white hot center of our political debate and still sleep soundly yes I sleep well, you're soundly. doing it right then you're Thank doing it right i'm impressed i don't think yeah. most people can do that um yeah it takes it takes a lot of work and i think that um if you speak to anyone in the media everyone probably has their own way that they deal with all of the backlash and hatred that they get yes. from the opposite you're side just being exposed to ugly things all day yeah i mean just finding the videos that you do yeah can't be good for you no it's i'll, I'll admit sometimes it takes a toll and i'll take a day off i'll, I'll just you know one day i'm like i'm just not gonna open twitter today um that, i've done that a handful of times over the past two years um but i, I think it's important to to have the support of family and friends um the support of other people in the business so yes. you know i appreciate your support a lot oh, it's heartfelt. um and many others and uh, yeah many many others supporting her in the business 
to, uh, and I think to figure out um, sort of like a strategy of how you're going to deal with, <laughs> with all of with all of the hate trade is. Really think, think of like the stakes. You're, you're talking about like you you have risen to the heights. Some of the largest actors in like alt media and alt uh, technology have been funding you, supporting you. You got to the point where you were actually getting legislation passed. You were influencing politics uh, all the way up to the governor of Florida. You were being uh, definitely uh, counter targeted by people who don't want your bigotry to obviously uh, be propagated and people to be slandered uh, and called pedophiles when they're not. They're just existing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then it got to, to such a point where like your anonymity was revealed in this Washington Post article. And, and then you feel like this is somehow like you have a narrative. There's, there's a story to be told. You could make this exciting. And it, it's just like, and um, yeah, and uh, I thank you so much um, for like everything uh, that you've done. And um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, we, 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 the like, security um, issues uh, like, have been uh, taken uh, care of. Kind of yeah. And, mm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm worried like, oh, my God. Did you do anything? Like I, I <laughs> really important, and I, I think I, I think I nailed that down. So I mean, I think this may apply to anybody who pays close attention to the news, even people who watch the show. It gets in your head, and it's sad. And so, what can do you have any advice on how to stay sane that? in a crazy moment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I do get a lot of comments. Find a minority group that you can feel better than, and uh, dox them to hell, and uh, yeah, make heaps of money doing that. That that that's that that helps me sleep at night. Fucking hell. Some people saying, you know, this account, it's funny. It's effective, but it's so depressing. Yeah. And some of the, it's just. I've heard a similar critique in my line of work, yes. <laughs> it's, it's just. Yeah, I, I imagine so. I mean, if you're super. Busy. And yeah, that, that it is work. It is work that she's doing as a journalist for a, a her for-profit journalism company. Like she 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 profits from this. It's just gross. Don't just steal these keys. Lives a TikTok fan must be weird all day, getting super angry about nothing. That sucks, you know. Spending your day where it's like nothing is the thing that's enraging you because it's not real; it's a made-up thing. So you're just like, it's like the ghosts of fucking uh, transphobia. All of a sudden, it's like, whoa, uh, this thing I've just been told uh, this is a pedophile. I am so angry right now. I'm so mad. Gar. It's a survey and it's dark. Yeah. Um, and I think just to constantly remember that um, this is the best way to expose them. It's using their own words. Yes. And it's just no. It's it's a uh, slander. That's that's what you're doing. You you you're saying that these people are pedophiles and groomers when they're not pedophiles and groomers they're, they're 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 just queer but that's it i get that you don't understand that like you don't get it this is a different world to you i mean i'm sure things are probably a little bit more vanilla uh in your side of uh, the the aisle but that being said doesn't mean that that makes them pedophiles or evil or, or any uh, bad at all like just because it's not your thing you know like i'm not into feet I, I don't think people who are into feet are evil. I, I don't think they're ontologically evil. I, I don't think that there's a Bigfoot conspiracy where they're trying to push their 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 love of feet uh, on the rest of the world and indoctrinate them into the love of feet. I'm not, not going to go off at foot fetishists. I'm not going to make videos and essays about it. I'm not going to take every single time someone's like, oh, you know, I kind of like someone when they're not wearing shoes. So I'm kind of into that. And then post that and be like, this is a pedophile. Clearly the voice of pedophilia. Only a pedophile would say that and expose their feet to the world. Like, that would be really weird, right? It would be strange. Again, not my thing, but I'm also not going to spend my life and uh, make a career out of vilifying the people who do like feet. That's that it would just be very very strange holding up a mirror to them it is the number one way so the more we do that i think the the faster we're going to see things change and then maybe there will end up being less of that content yes. like i always say if my account becomes point, irrelevant Quintino. because we don't have the content anymore that's great that's yes. a win for me i don't i want that to happen um i don't want there to be teachers um bragging about grooming kids whoa whoa this sounds like cancel culture but then no one is uh no one is doing that no one is doing that and you're just lying about it that's it You're you're a Weasley little fucking lying bitch. That's that that's the truth. And it's sad and gross. And you should be ashamed of yourself. And your 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 ancestors are fucking ashamed of you as well. Holy fuck. If there's an afterlife. Damn Causing earthquakes with all the rolling over the graves. Culture 1984, what are you doing here? Is this little George Orwell I see before me? Is, is that what's happening? You don't want them to have accounts? You want to censor their speech? Why do you hate free speech so much? God damn it. Ugh. I don't want there to be hospitals. Um, you know, transing kids. <laughs> I, I don't want there to be hospitals. <laughs> transing kids. There are no hospitals transing fit kids. Uh, for one thing, because transing isn't a fucking thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want the hospitals to be transing kids, fucking...
Egg on the egg in the wig there. Egg in the wig I mean, quotes there. The, Fucking yeah, hell. Kind of like, okay. And if we don't have any of that, I have no content, and that's great. I would love for that to happen. And you mean that? Yes, 100%. Yeah. No, 100% alive. I mean, like, the only way that's going to happen is if the people that are funding your uh, AstroTurf fucking bullshit um, succeed in their goals. But I've already pulled, brought up the fact that if they succeed in their goals, that's not going to be good for you either. That's going to be very, very bad for you as well. Fuck. So, no, you're you're loving the glow up. You mentioned it multiple times. You know how you're like, hey, uh, my haters. Uh, I think they hate me because I'm so successful at the social media. That's why they hate me. It's not 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 all the telling everyone that gay people are pedophiles. Not that thing. It's the other thing for sure. I gotta ask you, since you've spent the last couple of years deeply involved in TikTok, watching TikTok, what do you make of TikTok? Well, I mean, we all know the security issues with it, the Chinese spyware, and I know that some legislators are trying to ban it. Um, I think it would be great if TikTok is banned in the U.S. It will do us a big public service. Um, so much cancel culture. It's out of control. Um, I think TikTok really attracts um, narcissists. It's people who want to see themselves um, all day and, and talk about themselves. And TikTok... <laughs> Weren't you just fucking talking about how you were using TikTok a bunch when COVID started? Oh, sorry, this is a self-report. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's an interview about, about her talking about her. Uh, but but I think I've never actually been on TikTok, but it is. That's good, you shouldn't. No, I wouldn't. You know, I'll do it for I'm you. I'm too old, I <laughs> But um, I've never, never seen TikTok in my life, except... Uh, it's such a weird thing to say that, like, okay, fine. If, if it's not your thing, if you've, like, you've seen TikTok for the What's the thing with the with the Chinese TikTok thingy? What's the thing with the Chinese TikTok? I don't understand the question. What's the question? How it's just like so many different kinds. I've got I've got a TikTok. I put a TikTok up. It got some likes. I I don't know how to do. I I I don't know how to train the algorithm, but I can at least make videos. I guess. I don't know what kind of. If I was to make TikToks, what kind of TikToks would you want me to put up? I've just been putting up random shit like um, animals that try to kill themselves while I'm trying to deliver food in the country. This is about being Chinese spy word. Uh, yeah, because, like, it's just a simplification of something that's, like, inherent within all technology. Like, it, 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 uh, when it comes to t TikTok, um, accesses a lot of your personal information that's on your phone. Oh, hey, what's this? Nothing. The fuck? Why does it say there's a, uh, sky shard? It says there's a sky shard in my, on my thing. Says there's a, there's sky shards everywhere. What the fuck? I want I want a sky shard. I want one. Um. So yeah, it's stuff that all apps do. Yes, it's just bad because China. That's basically it. It's bad because China. They just racist content on a roulette table feels kind of strangely addictive if that's your criticism fine i, I understand that but the, like just outright china too old for these things like that's weird there's going to be new things that come out post tiktok there's going to be things that come out maybe vine too who knows what the future holds but you can't just at a sudden certain point just like cut yourself off like i'm just yeah nah, yeah uh too old for this game what are you like 43 or something in the clip that we yeah. heard from you but um oh wait tucker carlson's gotta be like 50 isn't he it's gotta be like 50, 60 55, he's in his say. 60s i swear Carlson. He was born 1969. Not nice. 53. He's 53. Never mind. Cool. He, is, he is younger than I thought. It really is a vehicle for vanity and narcissism. Yes, yes. And um, specifically... Like, like I'm sorry, at 53, you're, you're like, well, <laughs> well no, it's all this. I don't even like email. I have to email my friends and tell them... I don't know. I feel, I think, I feel like I'm a bit too old for, um, for, for TikTok, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It always seemed like something that the kids were doing. It was just like... And now the old people have come through to make it hate queer people. Sounds like you can be too old for TikTok when you put it that way. I'll open the Alta Vista so I can then use the Netscape and get into the actual web page I want to see. It's a vehicle for indoctrinating kids. So I, there are, TikTok really is, is targets kids. Um, and there's a lot of this type of content. And, and that's why also um, it's really important to show people what is happening on TikTok. That's part of what I do. It's like, if you like... I don't know, but you, you're picking the most mundane parts you're picking the part the videos with you're literally picking videos that have no um that that aren't an issue in any fucking way literally Lit literally li 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 li. refine do i have enough silver weave i have silver weave enough time to craft the red craft the red craft the red 
Sorry. TikTok. This is what they're being exposed to. You know, it's it's we have there's activists um saying all kinds Ooh, of activists. Um, to, you know, trying to fuck. He's almost activists. thirty. And she's married to someone who's fifty years old. Ah, oh, well, that's gotta be. Wait, she's in her twenties. She looks forty. Holy fuck. Fun, <laughs> you know, uh, she can be like, remember Pogs, and he can be like, nope. <laughs> she's young. She's younger than me, and I look younger than her. <laughs> Bringing up the trans women comparisons, then uh, again, I guess. <laughs> Change our culture, um, and you know, like a lot of the grooming stuff. Uh, I see a lot of that. Well, since it's controlled by the Communist Party of China, oh, shit. Is it, I mean, uh, well, if you see a lot of grooming stuff, why do you never actually post it? Why wouldn't this be an effort to destroy the country's culture? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I, it, it, Does it feel that? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it. Does wait. What? <laughs> whoa! 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 We just went on a fucking. We just went on like a fucking huge like. <laughs> like where did that come from? That gave me fucking whiplash. Now, what the fuck? We're talking about like China trying to destroy culture. I'm gonna need a big fucking citation on that one, and not a dumbass like college reject real estate agent turned fascist. The Communist Party of China? I didn't know that. Does it feel that way when you when you look at it? Yes. Someone's thinking through like, what's the most sophisticated poison we can inject into the bloodstream? Yes. And I think you your show did a segment on the difference between the Chinese TikTok <laughs> and the US TikTok, and you can't even compare. They're like, they're just educational. They're, like, they're, they're teaching you all kinds of like. Get up early, work hard. Yeah, exactly. better. Ours is like, let's talk about me yeah. and my identity. <laughs> let's talk about my ghost self pronouns. <laughs> Wait, do they hate China or do they love China? I'm confused now. Like, it sounds like they're like saying, wait, like, they're, they're case, praising now, China now. <laughs> I don't know. So you want, right. so so you want to be more like China then? What? Um. What? Self pronouns. <laughs> no, that's I don't know why I'm laughing because it's so really it's so obvious. I just wanted to hear from somebody who actually knows a lot about it. and You clearly do. Yeah. Um. I I think. You know, people ask me, am I nervous about banning TikTok? Because a lot of people are discussing that now, and, and they're banning it maybe for, for government officials. Some states have banned it already. And um, I'm not worried about them banning it because, number one, I have an arsenal of videos. Like, I have a lot that have never been posted yet. Um, so I have a lot to go for a while. Oh, these must be the ones where there's actual groomers in it, because I haven't seen those. They, they, she hasn't posted any anything with grooming in it. So, like, it'd be nice to see, like, the actual receipts that she claims she has. Uh, number two. So, according to pronouns.page, ghost ghosts. My pronouns are ghost, ghosts. Avoid gendered forms, no pronouns, null pronouns, pronounless, null pronominal, name self, examples and sentence. I think ghost is very nice. I ask ghost if I can borrow ghost pencil. Ghost told me that the house is ghosts. This seems like something that, broadly speaking, is not really uh, being done by the vast majority of people who are trans, is my uh, current understanding of this. And you want to take one example and then suddenly use it to be like, well, all the experience I find ridiculous because I can use this one part that most people won't even want to take time to actually look into. And then they can be like, what? They identify as ghosts? Yes. And did you also know that they identify as cats? And that's why the, the kids have the litter boxes so the cats can use the litter boxes this is the future no. they want that's the radical agenda they're trying to push on you whereas um on the other side in terms of trans activism it's basically uh, and this is what i seem to get an assessment from talking to trans people uh is i i want to exist that that seems to be on on the other end is that like i, I just like to exist and maybe not have you obsessed with me all the time or obsessed with my genitals or obsessed with like you know uh, the health would be nice myself or of not gonna children, lie or even children that i might have i'd rather rather you not obsess over this and just constantly talk about us and all that i'm and barely i skin, barely you know, care that's, about my genitals that's basically what they're going after. Do you say them on a, on a different server? I mean, do you download them? So you I download them, yeah. Um, I have uh, half of my content now is TikTok. The other half is other things. And um, a lot of the other things are really important too. And I'm happy to focus on those if we don't have TikTok anymore. Um, I also post a lot of Instagram Reels, which is very similar to TikTok. Instagram is trying to copy TikTok. So they have these Reels where people do very similar things. A lot of actually the big TikTok accounts do, are doing the exact same thing on Instagram, the same videos. So I can always take videos from there. Um, there's YouTube. There's, there's so many places to get content from. So I'm not really too worried about TikTok being. This is so boring. It's, you're trying to explain, like, well, yeah, what's your, what, what's your methodology? Like, wh how do you do this? How, how do you accomplish this important work? So um, I, 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 I open. Mm -hmm. uh, be pretty easy you just find videos with people with who've dyed their hair and then just pl plastic groomer over the top of it like I, I i think i've cracked the code babylon b where's my fucking money uh tiktok uh, dot com uh then i type hashtag trans in the search function uh and, and then i take the video and i download it using a tiktok video downloader and, and then i upload it uh, to my twitter account uh and, and then joe rogan makes everyone aware of the person we should all target that's 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 what i do because i'm grateful that it exists of course um and i spend my whole life making fun of ben collins on nbc or that well not nbc anymore he was he was fired right oh that's so great yeah. i didn't know that really that's or he was or temporarily so suspended great. yeah so let's go back to work at the cia so and everything will be fine. yeah exactly they're uh, all interconnected oh i've noticed uh yeah, wait whatever. what Back to the CIA. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? Spreading conspiracy theories? Ah. Uh...
Can you actually, like, come up with something fucking real for once? That Stealth Arcade used to be on CNN or whatever, but we get very focused on what's happening in legacy media as if it has influence. But I hear you talk, and I'm thinking, like, maybe we should... I've never been on TikTok, and I cover the news, so maybe... You are on legacy media. This is the most watched news program. You cannot pretend to be an outsider on Fox News. News Like, you have the number one show. You, you brag about it. <laughs> That's, you're not the outsider. You are the elites, Tucker. <laughs> maybe we're looking in the wrong places. Well, I think it's just um, growing with, with the times, you know, like, keeping yeah. up. Um, so, I think... Conservatives, well, TikTok is separate from other social medias because TikTok is Chinese spyware. Um, yeah. But but all the other social media. <laughs> TikTok channels, is Chinese like, spyware. So oh my gosh. And, and oh my gosh. Like every one of these apps is taking all of your personal information because it makes money. It's not just China. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Honestly, I'd rather that a government that at least people have, at least like people vote on, have access to my data than a fucking private corporation that sells it to fucking anyone. <sighs> Y'all are weird. Ooh. And I think conservatives should also, you know, Instagram isn't going away. TikTok. Chinese spyware. <laughs> and zero pushback. He's just like, oh yeah. No, oh, no. We know. My Instagram isn't. That's all. Try Chinese spyware. Try to, to target that younger audience that's on that's on these social media. I'm trying to target the audience and destroy Western values. Not really. Definitely not as good as the government. Are turning the freaking frogs? Get away. Targeting different, a different, younger different audience person. with ideology geared at children. This seems a little sus. What is obvious to you, propaganda from the party? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Yes. All the time. Yes. And you see none from the other side. No. Let. I'm embarrassed to even say so loud because it's also obvious, but that seems like a huge problem. It is a huge problem, and I, and I know that conservatives discuss this. They, they know it's a problem, and... This is on 1.5. It's still so boring. You're going to see Tucker Carlson trying to, like, actually turn this into an interview. I don't know, I don't know, like, you're making a pretty interesting lens. Constantly just being like, alright, so here's another softball. Talk about this. Make it interesting. Yeah, so, um, I, I, like, I look up, uh, if they're trans or gay, and, and then I, and then I type on the keyboard G-R-O-O M-E-R-S, and then everyone gets very mad at them, and they get fired. That, that's me. And I've heard people discussing this, um, but I think it's, maybe it's a deeper issue. Yeah, the stupid party versus the evil exactly. party. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't, don't want to cause any... <laughs> no, I mean, but it seems true. And I'm yeah. obviously part it of It bothers problem. me a lot, because like, I'm, I'm on social media a lot, like TikTok and Instagram, and, and I just, I wish conservatives just learned to embrace it and to use it to our advantage. Yeah, it's a little bit... Conservatives do. Conservatives have the most popular channels on yeah. Facebook right now. They, they don't yeah. have Facebook as a platform. And they, used to they have the most po po popular and most um, lucrative channels on pretty much every media source because, like, upholding capitalism is profitable. YouTube is a platform. YouTube is used by a lot more people than fucking TikTok or Twitter or any of these other conservatives. The right fucking yeah. they they were the voice of YouTube and politics back in the day. It was yeah. like the atheist movement blew up, and then the atheist movement overlapped with the whole reactionary movement, and then boom, that was like that was it. People who would talk for a couple hours about shit that you couldn't find in other corners of the internet, uh, and, and the YouTube would keep the engagement. People would be watching it for a long time. Why do you think the algorithm was directing so many people towards fucking Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson? It's the consistent like I know people who would open up a new account, they would type in like Castlevania run through and then all of a sudden they're like they're, my right side is just filled with like college destroyed a debate uh blah 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 jordan Peterson, peterson eviscery yeah, trans weird try try typing in warhammer 40k no, mate no, no, no. <laughs> like, or or hearts of iron 2 voting rules mm -hmm. against drop boxes and early voting gonna... or 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 kingdom come deliverance I'm oh. law, and i'm not in charge of the law so if that if those are the rules I'm not saying it's uh, the same or as... Or basically anything CD Projekt Red. Twitter, I'm not saying it's the same Sorry. as Facebook. Sorry. There's some good games there, but there's some, there, there, but there's some well, toxic yeah, I mean, fucking community members, I yeah, swear. So if that's what you're broadly applying to all social media, yes, it's the same as any other social media. Your, your information, your algorithm, what you are into, your likes, preferences, all that kind of stuff, what you like, what you share, what you all of that goes into... I should into probably change the... Uh, parties. Absolutely. Title, this, this is capitalism. China is capitalist. They're a capitalist country. They're very good at capitalism. They're actually just rocking capitalism hard. That's what China does. It's it's massive capitalist superpower that's that's who they are they want you to play exactly, by that and exactly and a lot of people are saying that after the midterms just now that it seems like an obvious exactly and, and i hope that they do something i, I hope not so. just wine no exactly. they do have one yeah. i personally it's prefer true. wine because it's easier uh but it doesn't actually change anything right well also, right you're also that's your position if you're <laughs> <laughs> you're right i mean you're totally right what is this? Right, I, fucking, this is what... I fucking hate his simp laugh hey his simp laugh is so fucking gross it makes me want to step on his throat and I bet he pays someone to do that as well. Aww. What are you doing right now? This is just the two of you flirting at home. This is not a show. What are we watching? <laughs> no, it's that's in, in like, Ah, so fucking hate that. No, nighttime show, but I didn't until you came to our studio today. Realized that this was you on the tape. Um, and I should have known that since I knew that you didn't have like a giant staffer. Yeah. 
So this is a call that you did to Children's National Hospital. And when you started servicing <sighs> these videos, one of the complaints against you was they're fake or this isn't really, this is made up. Like, no one's sterilizing. She called, she called a, uh, she called a, um, a receptionist who tried to pass her on to another office. And, like, the receptionist basically just said, yeah, probably. And uh, went, went, went on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the receptionist doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, what what the doctors do? You speak to a specialist about that. She 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 didn't prove anything. No one's performing hysterectomies on little girls or mastectomies or sterilizing little boys. Like that's, you're just making this up. You're the weirdo. And so you, yeah. in an active, I think much needed. Yeah, and 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 she did make it up. It is an actual made up thing. And if he pulls this up, in order to try and prove somehow that she wasn't lying that's a lie in and of itself as well like you are lying to my dude that you you're you are still lying I'm not don't don't be a lying liar dude don't be a weasley little fucking liar dude so we we talking about circumcision what's going on here we're we gonna call out circumcision Maybe. the only thing that the only surgery the child will get um, for transgender care would be, um, mastectomy, double mastectomy, top surgery. Um, that's generally done, and that, that's not until after they're 16, normally. Um, and, uh, if they've had proper, like, uh, hormone blockers in the first place, they won't even need to do that. If they'd had pop, if they had have had access to proper medical care in the first place, there would be no fucking surgery, you dumb fucks. I'm gonna call out child genital mutilation. What about what about intersex people, where the adults get to pick what gender their child is That's going to be based on what they do to I'll their genitals? That seems a little strange. We could talk about those things. We could bring up this as as a topic, maybe, and explore. The journalism got on the phone. But again, but again, we're moving further and further away from the point, and I want to bring it back right now. All of this is based on the lie, on the bold faced lie that libs of tiktok has ever once exposed grooming behavior they have not that is a lie that's what this is based on it doesn't matter what they say other than that they are lying from the start and basing everything that they argue about on the lie that the left is trying to groom your kids. They are lying. Do not let yourself become gaslit by these people. Don't put the people that you know on the left that you dislike into this grey amorphous blob that they've created in your, bl in your mind to hate. That's what they rely on. They rely on you accepting the basic premise that there is some form of legitimacy to what they're saying. There is not. There was never any legitimacy. There is no group of leftists that are trying to groom your kids. If there were, then they would have proof, and they have shown no proof. Do not put the people that you dislike in your head into the picture frame that they have made for the grooming left. Do not do that. I have seen other leftists do this. I've seen Zanderhal do this. I've seen, um, well, arguably leftist, um, arguably not centrist, like who knows, uh, shoe on head. I've seen Vosch do this many times. I've seen people who claim to be on the left. And these people do claim to be on the left, just... I have even seen Lance slip up on this sometimes, right? Do not accept the narrative that there are crazy leftists that tic the libs of TikTok have shown, have featured on their Twitter page. There hasn't been any. It's a fucking lie. Don't get sucked into it. Which children's Spectrophone, I think you're the one. Here's what happened.
I just I just need to want to know if, if you guys oh, do yeah, this. service that age, you know, before obviously before Wait, coming in. You know. Sorry, that's what Tucker Carlson was just like falling over himself, tripping on his own fucking sense of self esteem to be able to bring us this clip that he clearly knew was Haya. He's just, well, I, I didn't know this was you. Of course, I should have known it was you, but, uh, but I didn't at the time when I was seeing this. But it's, it's it's really cool that this is you. I'm happy about that. Coming all the way for an in person consult and going through all the people. Well, yeah, it depends. Each department different. Some, some departments cost eighteen. How old is your patient? Sixteen. By the way, if you haven't seen my debunking video, uh, go to youtubecom slash times. Uh, we went into detail. We played the entire clip including matt walsh is like just fawning over this clip what she did is she called into a directory and then she got into a hospital uh this is someone who's on the administrative staff this is basically speaking to a hospital secretary and then asking hey does this happen and the secretary tries multiple times to direct her call to the proper people to talk to aka the doctors who are going to be able to answer her questions and they're like yes we can call we can direct you to this yes we can direct you to this. And she's like i just want to know though uh if my 16 year old who is trans uh, wants this procedure will it happen it's like well you'll have to speak to a doctor i'll connect you with a doctor right now we'll get that information it's like i just okay but will the doctor allow for a 16 year old it's like well i'll, I'll connect you so you'll you'll make an appointment with the doctor to get a hysterectomy for a 16 year old it's like we in a nut in a nutshell she called receptionist the receptionist gave the incorrect information and uh but things never went further than that because obviously she doesn't have a child uh who's trans thank fuck for that imagine the kind of abuse that that child would have to deal with fuck lucky We'll make Some people shouldn't have well. kids. That's, like, that's the, the big reveal. That you're not speaking to medical professionals. I'm not trying to discount, obviously, the validity of that job or what they do, but that's not their profession. That They are trying yeah. to direct you to people who can help yeah, you so and like, who like, actually have an authority on this topic about whether or not they do indeed. Yeah. You just fucking, you just, you just, Karen, you, she basically karen a um, receptionist into saying the things that she wanted to hear. That's it. That's all that happened perform that surgery that, that would be the point of speaking mm. to a doctor in this case but no you, you spoke to the administrative assistant at, at the front like that, that, that's ridiculous and then the right just ran with this, like, it was the biggest bombshell undercover shit like you know matt walsh did a whole fucking one hour show on this Sorry, it's just loading us, you know, this we know thing. Of irrefutable evidence that they are mutilating children. It's like no, you have evidence that you harassed an administrative assistant. That's all you have. Yes, you got the administrative assistant to be like, yes, uh, the, the, yeah. I think that's gonna be okay. Talk to oh, a doctor. Yeah, and soon as you. as the moment okay, that um, so so they do so they went to so the moment that uh, they would have that uh, she got would have gotten put through to a actual like professional, they would have told her the truth and apologized. But that's not good for the narrative, so, yeah. But, um, lies. For, for lies. Age? Just lies. Yes. Okay, great. Is it a common procedure that you guys do? A hospital worker as well, instead of, like, receptionist. Just for, for that age? Yep. Yes, I'll have um, all different type of age groups that come in for that. It's interesting, like, a real reporter would have asked um, what their position was in the uh, hospital and uh, would have found, um, asked for more information. Uh, on this, um, and also would have contacted them uh, for due diligence as well, which you didn't. You didn't do that. You didn't do the thing that uh, you were crying about um, uh, being harassed about. You didn't do the one thing that you're supposed to do in that situation. You chose not to. So yeah, like, she's a journalist, officially. She's a shitty one. She's a journalist in the same way that uh, Project Veritas does journalism. They, 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 they Karen people into saying things that they can uh, just clip out of context. For the, for the hysterectomy? Yes, ma'am. And people believe it because they want to believe it, and also because normies don't know about this shit. They don't think about this, this shit. And normies shouldn't have to fucking know everything about transgender culture normal people don't need to know like what goes into like transgender can like I, I don't need to know how uh black holes work to make a fucking table uh as a cabinet maker like as a streamer i don't need to know um how exactly the code works in the video game that i'm playing right now like, I shouldn't have to know everything about everything in order to, like, 
l exist within society. That is why we have experts in their fields and people who are trusted and a community around them that critiques them constantly in order to come up with the best answers for the questions that we have. Like, we have systems for this. You just don't like them because the systems that we've created for this don't conform to your worldview. It sucks when you've created systems of science which, like, try and come to the best conclusions, um, and then you discover that those conclusions that they've come to don't support your shitty worldviews. So you need to find someone to blame, and it's leftists. And, well, I mean, it was Jewish people, and still is Jewish people uh, today, that people blame, incorrectly. Um, same old story. Tale as old as time, and it's fucking old. I want them to come up with, like, something new and interesting. But they ain't gonna... They ain't gonna do that... Ugh. Just gonna tell us the same, sing the same old song until uh, like either they die off or we die off. My jaw's open the whole time. I My jaw's open. My God, <laughs> more than normal. <laughs> you like you got like that resting gape and just like, and then like we just lowered it a little bit. It was like, Uh, you also added hospital worker. I love that little addition because because it would uh, kind of you know downplay what's happening. the same thing, Lance. Like administrative assistant attempting to connect me to a doctor to be able to answer my questions. And and there's like there's multiple there's two different people they speak to, and in both <sighs> cases it's like multiple times like well we can connect you to this department they can actually you know blah blah blah. And, and this is the gotcha. I'm thinking well maybe she misunderstands you for for that for that procedure it's oblique and then you just come out and say for the hysterectomy. Yeah, I like I clarified it like five times. I gave them a chance to be like no we don't do that, but they do. I mean they do it. They're not they're, and. And oh my God, you, you clarified again for the administrative assistant who, who was trying to connect you to a doctor and multiple times and that's and then they, they just revealed the game you know hello it's sean. hi sean hey. no love you it was, it was game over at that point the reason why i did that recording was because this was right after some of the um, reporting about boston children's hospital and what happened with that is all of the media came out and started saying you know you're lying it's not true they're not actually doing this to kids and i took a big grunt of all of that um you know, um, hatred from the media and that reporting about me. Um, oh, so horrifying, so bad. Turns out, uh, yeah, actually, that was completely true. They had to release a statement because of uh, the multiple bomb threats that came into the hospital. That's that's what happened. Yeah, a lot, lot of bomb threats, disrupting services, you know, medical services for children. So that's uh, that's something that you can be proud of. You know, that you endangered kids' lives for money, for pay. That seems pretty fucked in the scale of just like outright uh, despicable evil. You know, that's, that's pretty high on the list. Endangering children's lives for money, for profit. And I, in a way, I was like, you know, I felt like I kind of had to like clear my name a bit, you know? I'm like, I need to prove that they're doing it on kids. I want to get someone to tell me directly, straight up, yes, we're going to do this on kids. So that sucks that you couldn't find anyone and you had to lie about it instead. <sighs> sucks that, hey. Yeah, this, this is getting me too angry. Gotta make the meme now. Let's find the perfect frame. Uh... Ah, perfect. Here's the thing about being on the internet, uh, or just being on camera in general, and this applies to me, broadly speaking, as well. Uh, if you blink, uh, there will be moments when you look silly. Uh, it's true. It's happened to me. I, there's times when I look silly because I've, I've... I don't know. She just looks like an egg on egg in a week for me. Stuff like that. Um, one moment. Uh, let me open up the Photoshop. We're going to make some memes in real time. I got time. information to call and ask. Like, how, how else do you find information? Just call and ask. It's called reporting. Yeah, so I just called and asked, and I wasn't expecting... I didn't know what to expect. I, I recorded the call, and I didn't know what was going to happen, and then they just straight up admitted it. But... I guess what I found so compelling, so shocking about that is that you use the word hysterectomy. How can any person, I don't care if you're a receptionist or a surgeon, a parent, I don't care who you are, a hysterectomy for a 16-year-old girl for no medically necessary reason? And younger kids, she said, and younger kids. So how young? I don't even know. Maybe they're doing it on 12-year-olds. I don't know. It's just, it's so, it's so hard. Yeah, the receptionist doesn't know because, like, they don't know. They, they, they don't know because they're a receptionist. They're, they're, they're a receptionist and they don't really know um, about the nitty-gritty stuff. Um... So, yeah, could have worked out a bit better. Where is the setting I'm It was an administrative for? assistant. Do you realize how clownish it would be if you called any other company and all of a sudden you tried to reveal some bombshell about the operations of the company? Because, again, you spoke to the person at the very front who would direct your calls. That's their job. Like, I, I don't understand why anyone is taking this seriously. It's got to be the, like, maybe the, the boomer audience of Tucker Carlson at a certain point just, like, tapped out. And what do you think this, like, how could, I mean, I assume the person who said that is not, like, a serial killer, obviously evil person, but that's so evil. How, what is going on here? Do you have any theories? I think there's, um, there's something so... A conspiracy. About... 
the LGBTQ community has become this cult and it's so captivating and it pulls people in so strongly. And fuck you. Fuck you. Just fuck you. Genuinely. Like, it, it's so wild. On the other end, the LGBTQ plus community, uh, and I say this- I don't know, I don't know, Lance, you're kind of proving a point there. You're being pretty fucking violent. Who's a part of it? Uh, is saying, leave us the fuck alone. That's, 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 stop using us as scapegoats. Stop using us. There is problems with the world. It's not the queers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the queers are making things more pleasant, down. fun, interesting, and exciting. Uh, stop going after them as an excuse for everything. Like, goddamn. At the end, oh, you know, it's, 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 it's just it's this woke ideology, the woke mind virus, the gay. It's trying to infect the children. Like anything we've ever seen. Um, and they they brainwash um, people to join and they convince them of all these things. Brainwash? Um, no, no, no. Okay, so that's not how cults work. If you knew anything about cults, like, you wouldn't be talking about brainwashing and shit. Brainwashing is, like, uh, fantasy shit. That That's not how cults work. They don't use uh, brainwashing. There's indoctrination. Um, there are children who are brought up in environments that believe certain things, but if they are taken outside of those uh, environments... Um... Hold on a second. Um, ah, no, 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 oh, my bro, my bro's trying to find uh, my, my thing. I gotta change my, um, username back to just Little Fox or something, or sh yeah, show you TSH Little Fox or something. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. La -da -la -da -do, la -da -dum. Where was I going with this? I can't even remember what I was talking about. Family is more important. Sup? Who said sup? Sup? What's up? I don't get that part. They brainwash people to join. Life yeah, all right. That's what I was talking about. That was what I was talking about. All right. So, um, so brainwashing. It's a myth. It's a myth. It doesn't exist. Um, brainwashing is is just movie babble bullshit. The idea that you can um take a person and make them think in a different way without them choosing to think in that particular way. That's fantasy. That is not true. Um, if that was true, then conversion therapy would work, and it wouldn't be considered torture. If that was true, then the MK MK Ultra program would have uh, succeeded, which it didn't. Uh, it instead um, led to torture techniques um, in the, in Iraq. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's continue. It's easier all of a sudden? It's like, oh yeah, things were going so great before in high school. Why don't I come out as uh, trans? Let's see. Let's see how my friends and family treat me, especially uh, the media. How are they going to treat me? What's that going to it's be really like? Really hard to get out of it. It's really difficult. And, and there are studies on this. Like there have been, there's been a lot of reporting on this about people, uh, parents who are like, you know, my child is is starting to say, you know, that they're non-binary or transgender or whatever. And what do I do? How do I how do I stop this? And it's really <laughs> okay, so there's the first problem. That's 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 a very weird angle. Like if, if a child was like, "Hey, mom, my tummy hurts," it's not like at that moment you have to perform surgery on your child. What was like, I doing? Oh, yes, uh, and I will do whatever is necessary. No, but you listen to your kid. You know they always downplay. Well, kids are dumb. They don't know what they want or they don't know anything. It's like okay, well, if your child came up and said, "Mom, my tummy hurts," oh my gosh, like, like no, some people, you're have, stupid, some people, you're a stupid dumb child who doesn't know anything. Get away from me, sick. Or, or would you be like, "What's wrong? What, what did it start hurting?" Just waiting for it. It will. It will stop on its own. Scale of one to ten. And actually, I'm gonna do that myself. So, so this is basically a thing. Like the kind of the kind of uh, person. Do you feel the pain moving? It's 
the kind of person that uh, would say that kids don't know anything and and blah 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 and stuff like that are kid, uh, people who are a don't have children or b have children and they're just awful parents who don't give a fuck about what their kid children want honestly because kids are fucking clever they're learning how to speak by themselves through um just just like cues like they learn an entire language within years like an entire language by themselves without having any reference frame of reference for what it means but like if you think your children don't know what they want that is because that is a fucking self-report you piece of shit it's getting worse. Oh, you're crying now. Oh my god, maybe I should go visit a doctor. Something's happening here. Yeah, that, that, that would probably be how you go about that. Just like in this case, it's not as if you just walk into a hospital and a doctor is like, Trans, you say? Behold, the surgery table awaits you. Yes, and then we can give you any procedure you want. Uh, yes, if you can afford it. This is a profit institution, after all. The trans ideology has brought me a pretty penny. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to access, like, transgender care in America when you don't have a lot of money? Like, through, like, oh, I mean, you don't even have a public health system, like, for one thing. So, like, I couldn't imagine how hard it would be to access healthcare, healthcare for being transgender in America. Um, in, in Britain, it's even worse, worse than here in Australia, like, because a lot of the time, the GPs will try and not allow you to access transgender healthcare because they're, they, they get to choose whether to, to, uh, send off your, uh, bullshit or not. Not because they legally have the power to do so, but they're often relying on the fact that you don't actually know your rights as an individual they're not relying on that sorry they don't even know that they have to uh, refer you to the gender clinic in in the in the britain and in australia they don't even know that stuff because there's not a lot of education out there for gps gps are old and we need and new new gps are coming in new people learning to be doctors that which is great but like yeah uh the states is easy to get the only thing is some sites it's easy to get is Easter Jail, which isn't that hard to lose a lot of the effects if not repeatedly taken long term. Yeah. Yes, <sighs> no. No, no, it's, it's like everything else that happens with doctors. It's usually a lot of conversations, a lot of a lot of weighing the pros and the cons, saying, hey, there will be side effects. Hey, there will be this. It's hey, not you immediate. Have to understand what this could it's not fucking immediate. Like I had I've had a friend who just went to the doctors and like it's not fucking immediate. That they are trying in Australia actually to move towards um, GPs being a able to um, prescribe um, HRT to adults, which is a step in the right direction. Um, but yeah, that's just not the case unless you have a lot of money and you can buy your way through things. And which is a lot of these D transes that I see um, tend to have affluent parents who can just buy them whatever they want. So yeah, do but at the end of the day, if this is going to improve, uh, detranses that um, anti-trans detranses, I should say, there should be a friggin' name for them because there's people who have detransitioned who need support and uh, who are being fucking trodden on by as much by these fuckwits as uh, everyone else. Quality of life of your child, then you probably want to do it. You're off it. I'm guessing after being most parents would want to do that yeah. at that point. It's like, yeah, I, I would like I would like my kid not to hurt anymore. I never want to be off it again. We've ever seen, I think. Um, it's extremely poisonous. Um, but what parents are looking at is like the destruction of their own children. The destruction. I mean, like, again, I want to pull back this again. I, I, I am a broken record here. But every time she says something like this, I just want to make the point that they are basing all of this on the lie that libs of tiktok has exposed anyone within the videos that they've posted on twitter for grooming activities that is a lie so every time they talk about how it is inherently damaging and how she is she sleeps at night very well it is based on a lie you do not have to argue further than that, because if they had proof that the left is grooming children, they would be showing it to us. They haven't. Not one of the videos that she's posted has shown this or proves this. Not one.
Stop believing the lie. Don't just assume that there must have been some crazy lefty here or there that she showed on the on lips of TikTok. There, there isn't. They're just just normal people talking about their lives. That's it. That's what she showed. Normal people talking about their lives. Do you know who else um, were just normal people going about their lives? And uh, you're going to hate me for this, and I hate myself for this as well, but... Um, um, Hmm, interesting that this is not the first thing to come up. That's so weird. That's so weird. Huh. They've separated gay from from drag. That's so weird. Um, yeah, in Colorado. So Thomas James. Thomas James uh was at a uh just just living his life all of these people all of these people here all of these people here right all of these people here right these people here right they were just living their lives they were just doing their own thing before someone came in and Shot them. Fat ass incel fuckhead. Who got his face smashed in. And, and, and that's one of my, the fa my favorite uh, pictures to look at before I go to bed at night. Is his, his mushed in face. His swollen fuck ugly face. Um, so happy that they captured him alive. But I wouldn't have been sad if he died. But yeah, those that those are the exact same people that uh, she's showing in her TikToks. TikToks, the same people that just are living their lives, living their truths, talking about their lives. That's the truth. The lie is that by living our lives authentically to us, we are somehow grooming children. That's the lie. And if you argue the points that they're trying to make you argue on you are accepting the lie that somehow there is some legitimate criticism to be had against the tiktoks that and videos and people that she doxes and sends hate mobs after just need to remember that their own family line which like 20 minutes ago we used to admit was like a very basic thing you would want grandchildren that's not weird to want that that's a human desire to yeah. want. That's a, it's the best and most basic human desire and you're giving up all of that well, yeah how do they sit down with this so that's old school homophobia by the way that's that's like you know he's obviously we're intersecting right now he's, he's trying to put this into the modern age for transphobia as well i'm guessing that has something to do with their idea of like chemical castration and all this kind of stuff and surprise surprise yes trans people can still have kids um but that's old school homophobia just, just straight up being like well i mean it's it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. How are people who have sex in their bums ever going to have kids? How are they going to produce more offspring? How does that work? No, get, get your adoption papers away from me. I don't want to adopt, fuck off. No, I just, I have to ask. Yeah, have they thought about that before they jumped on this trend, on this very popular trend that everyone seems to love at this time? Well, they're told that, okay, so there are a lot of parents who let their kids do this. Um, and, and they promote it and they encourage it, right? And there are a lot of parents, obviously, who are grooming their kids to doing this. Um, but there are a lot of parents. That's not grooming. That's that's not grooming. That's a lie. That's that's that that's the lie. By the way, when you listen to the stories of actual parents of trans children, and we've played many of them on the show before, an overwhelming theme appears. Parents trying to downplay what their kid is telling them for a very long time. Seems to be a pattern. Them being like, oh, you're confused. Oh, you're a tomboy. Oh, you're a tom girl. Oh, you might be gay. I think you're gay. Stuff like that. Working through that. And in the early stages, the area of which Matt Walsh and Haya seem to focus on, hyper-focus more than anything, there is no surgeries. There's no fucking puberty blockers. There's no testosterone. There's nothing outside of affirmation, aka, oh, Oh, okay, I'm gonna call you by the pronouns you want. Oh, okay. I like 
it requires nothing on the other side. Like I say this as a cis person, all you gotta do is use the preferred pronouns or the preferred name if the pronouns are too beneath you. You can say the preferred, but that's it. You can now maybe grow your hair long if you want or cut it really short if you want. Yeah, sure, you know, wow, you seem way happier, way healthier, better quality of life. Hmm, maybe we're on to something here. Maybe this is not just made up or make-believe. I can see a visible difference in the quality of life of my child. That, that seems to be a constant theme. Not the parents are like, well, because of TikTok, it got the woke mind virus. Time to turn my kids trans. You're non-binary now in this household. You will use they, them, I say. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you know how cartoonish that sounds? That's like such a fucked worldview. This this doesn't happen. It's, it's again, made-up nonsense. Um, either you have a dead kid or you have a trans kid. So there, it's really coming, I think, from from higher up than just the parents. It's coming from the doctors. And it's I mean, like, you don't have to have a dead kid. You can treat them like well, and the chances of them wanting to commit suicide are very low. If you're in a um, accepting environment, that's it. Yeah, leftist court colleges. Elon Musk think came out thinking uh, that leftist colleges made his daughters trans and hate him. Um, totally no other reason why she'd hate him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sounds like my dad. In other words, if you don't cooperate and allow your child to be sterilized, your child will kill himself. Yes, and, and there's not really any. No, like, if you don't. What? No, fuck that. I'm not even going to fucking, like, uh, get answered that one. Like, uh, it, it, fucking. So it's, Sterilizing your children? Lies. See what I mean? Like, they slip that shit in there so that you argue the point. But if I even tried to tried to argue that on their level, I'd be agreeing to the fact that um, children are being sterilized, which is an absolute fucking lie. What a fucking piece of shit. Well, I know, I know I, I'm aware of that, but that's... No. No, there is overwhelming evidence that the very high rate of suicidal ideation experienced oh, come by on. trans Lance, Lance, that was a trap. children is due to you. And I'm not saying okay. you specifically as the only single person who does this, but to transphobia, a, a general fucking society-wide uh, like misunderstanding of trans issues, uh, of, of, of bigotry, uh, of condemning them, rather than just letting them live, you know? That's, that's the reason for that stat. And guess what? When kids are in safer environments, when children are put into areas where they, they are... Don't care. It's just going to be moving the po moving the goalposts. They don't care about the kids. They they don't care about the kids killing themselves. Like you you've literally they they literally showed how fucking heartless they are by turning it around that the the, the idea that a child is going to be fucking suicidal from their parents abusing them, turning that around so that the abusive parent is the victim. Don't even fucking argue that shit. Just point out what they've said. What Tucker Carlson has done there is turned around and made the abusive piece of shit deadbeat parent to be a victim somehow if their child is unhappy enough in their household to want to kill themselves. Fucking holy shit, dude. Think before you fucking speak sometimes. Where they have good friend groups, good family groups, good bonds, all the things that every kid wants, turns out those numbers are reduced. Yes, that is what the science and the data demonstrates. To say otherwise is just to lie, because again, you're a couple but of fascists. But that wasn't the point. That was not the agenda. point. That's that was yeah, not that the point. Like, guess, the point is that, like, they're trying to talk, they're trying to, um spin the parent as if the abusive fucking cult cultish parent um is, is is somehow the victim in all of this that's the most horrendous twisting of a narrative that you could possibly fucking go with as a, as a father that is awful you, you would do anything to prevent your child Yes. And you goal. missed yeah, it you thing. missed it <laughs> lance yeah. you missed yeah. it and what except for affirm their gender <laughs> That's the only thing you won't do. I mean, I'll draw the line somewhere, you know? I mean, as soon as they want me to use different pronouns, I've never even used these that much. He, him? What is that? And they're they're told a lot of um, false information, um, and and they're kind of just pulled in. And another theme that I see a lot is... Like what? What's the false information? Because... Uh, I hate to point this out, 
But you have given more false information uh, during this inf interview than uh, anyone has in all of the videos that you posted on Twitter. Yeah. When a child starts out on the on on this gender journey, whatever you want to call it, um, the process is always very rushed. Like the doctors and the the social workers, there there's a lot of pressure to, nope. to do this as quick as possible. No, um, and not true. I think that one hundred percent lying. MRI scheduled in a lot of places as fast as they can get a second. Exactly, not exactly. True. You can't get. This, a, you're just straight lying now. It's just it's complete nonsense. Again, for the people they're most concerned about, kids, you know, kids like people who are three, four years old, uh, there is no surgery. There there is no hormone blockers because guess what? They're not experiencing puberty yet. <laughs> a a thirty five year old woman who wants a hysterectomy. It's really Really difficult to get they have to go through a lot of different um parts they have to have consultations and speak to to psychologists and they need to get letters and and it's they don't just and that, that is exactly the same for trans children also um that is not the truth if we're talking about rich people rich people can buy their way through that shit sorry it's true like the struggles that you're talking about don't apply to you as a rich bitch so why try and invoke the plight of the poor uh, in order to step on their fucking throats? Ugh, you're just gross. They don't just do hysterectomies on, on grown women, but when it comes to when it comes to gender ideology, they're doing hysterectomies on sixteen-year-old girls. Do you see? No, they're not. Without getting too personal, but do you see a spiritual component to any? Lies, fucking lies. <laughs> Uh, please, please bring God into this. Please bring religion into this. I'm so ready. Um, <laughs> you don't have to answer that if you don't want. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I do. I do. He's going to come. That was, things got a little too real. Damn. Well, you are on the white supremacist power hour. So I imagine, I mean, if you didn't know, yeah, at a certain point, it's going to get strange, you know? It's, things are going to get weird. It makes sense at all. No, it, there, there has to be a divine reason for this. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and I think... I think they're just, I think they're evil. Um, and, and sometimes we try to, we try to- And do... that's it. And that's it. That's it. That's, that's what I was talking about from, from the beginning. Like, it's pointless trying to, um, rationalize the, the morality in this, because at the end of the day, they don't, people, this, um, egg, egg in a wig here doesn't believe that I am a human fucking being. She believes me to be less than human, um, and that's just the justification at the end of the day for treating me as less than human. I deserve to be treated like shit. I deserve um, my fate if I choose to uh, suicide. Like, I deserve all of those things because I made the morally wrong choice of being born trans. Doesn't have to make sense, logically, um, because it does make sense logically to them. We are subhuman to them, and therefore, it's not hate. It's not hate. You can't hate something non-human. You can't hate something that that is deserving of hate. That's the point. That's the disconnect. That's where libs don't seem to understand, like, the point of view. They are... And, and Egg in a Wig here wants to normalise that. The fact that we are morally evil for our... for just things which are inherent to us it's the same old thing it's like the nazis and the jewish people and the trans people and gay people and like you know like the romani people and other travelers and basically everyone that wasn't uh their in group it's fascism she's just a fucking fascist that's it and honey i don't know how to tell you about tell you this but if your friends that are funding you get their way, we'll be put in the same fucking cage, you and I. You haven't thought this through, like most capitalists. Um, to break it down a lot, and you know, we, we discuss like why this is happening, what's happening, and whatever. And I think sometimes the simplest answer is like they're just evil. They're bad people. They're just evil people, and they want to. 
So I, uh, I I have made a meme. I, I need your feedback on the meme. Yes. Uh, this is a meme about Kaya Raichik because it was just discovered that she actually participated in a coup uh, to depose the democratically leader, uh, democratically elected leader of the United States. Uh, should the should the text be on the top or the bottom? I'm thinking thinking maybe the bottom, but this also seems to work. Um, could 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 be. I'll, I'll wait for some some feedback. In the pics in white, nah, no, nah, that would be way too. That would be too busy. It, it, that's like this is one of those ugly, intentionally really low five memes. Odds are, so end up punished. No, she won't end up punished for January six. How many people? I mean, she didn't break into the building. She was beyond the area. She's trespassing. That's the most I think you can charge her with. Um, I don't know if they'd go for sedition. <laughs> Much better on the bottom. Okay. Just use the Drake format. Well, the Drake format would basically have this one up here, this one down here. Ooh, that one does work better. It already looks better on the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that's call. beautiful! Good I love call. that. That's Don't that is. Good she one. blocked me. She blocked me for pointing out that uh, she had posted a video where someone filmed inside of a, uh, a, a child's one. bathroom while the kid was going to the bathroom. So I was like, "That's really fantastic terrorism." Nah, no, fam, I'm a, I'm a legit. Kid going to the washroom. Yeah. Someone filmed some weirdo, fucking pervert, filmed a video inside a kid's bathroom with a kid going to the bathroom in it. That's much better at the bottom. That's most so most dumb, trans so women tell me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's send it to the press and 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 now fly fly away. You know what's interesting about Twitter? Um, Twitter used to have very fast like. Um, it was it was a lot speedier. Like you could see in real time, people liking, retweeting, and stuff like that. And now it's like for the first little bit, you don't notice, and then all of a sudden it's like when you have a large account, then it's all of a sudden it's like it's almost just I don't I can't. This is the feels of the reels, but it feels like it's just being squished, <laughs> squished into into the tubes that make up the internet, right? The internet is a series of tubes. I was told. And the one group hits. Yeah. They're recruiting. And it's it seems to me no, the internet the internet is a little black box with a red light beeping on blinking extremely, extremely effective. How is it affected? So you grew up in this country. Um, so I'm assuming you had respect for doctors. I know that I always have. Why wouldn't you? They're yeah. doctors, right? Yes. But you've watched for two years videos of doctors participating in the destruction of children for no medically justifiable reason whatsoever because they're members of this cult. Lance, what is your Twitter ban? Oh, that was a big, big fucking lie. That was a big fucking lie there. Holy shit. What are you talking about? There's, there's copious amounts of medical information that you choose to ignore. So, yeah. Caught another one. Fucking hell. Uh, it's so a cartoon lies. that I drew myself, uh, making fun of Joe Rogan and Matt Walsh, where Joe Rogan is saying, like, I'm telling you, bro, it's a woke mind virus that's infecting kids. They normalize it in the media, and soon they're grooming kids with drag shows, bro. It also transformed to so hot, bro. And Matt Walsh Push like, fanboy who is into existence. That's why I should be the one who respects kids generally. I don't know about, I, I don't know about that one. I, I, don't, I don't want to institutionalize fanboys. Seems like that could have a lot of... Like I roll on issues uh, and I, I posted some in Twitter the future and then, um, the left camp meme i think got really mad at that one or maybe it was the other one that i was doing the left camp meme just occasionally will pop out and it's kind of funny because the left camp meme is like it's a really sad account it's mostly like them being like thank you for yet another uh you know uh, left camp meme for me to like mock haha -ha. and i was like okay have fun <laughs> like you get roasted <laughs> in the comments tom scott has a funny video on it for the general audience oh thank you has that affected your view of doctors? Yes, 100%. And yes. I think not just the gender stuff, but in general with COVID. Yeah. Did that change people's views? Of nah, fam, that's, that, 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 that's his sister. I, <laughs> I made the mistake once too. <laughs> Why? How did the doctors lie to you? <laughs> did you hear that, like, um, that, that uh, fans of uh, Fem Shapiro, well, not, not Fem Shapiro, that's, that's a different thing now. Um, why, what's glowing? Oh, someone... Someone's cat is lying. Um, what did I come in here for? Oh, that's right. That's right. I need to talk to pirates. Wait, I got I got experience. Why did I get experience? Aha! There we go. There we go. Gave me some. Ah, oh, I see. You mean I was only joking, by the way. You. If there was something that was invented and was just scaled up to the tune of we're talking billions billions of human beings taking something and the end result was that oh yes it seems to do the thing they said it would do and yes there are mild and small accounts of myocarditis or the complications that come from taking it because again on a sample size this large if a whole bunch of people do something you are going to get uh results let's just say complications that's just how medicine works that's the way and it turns out that uh, the things they said turned out to be accurate and true i, I definitely would be like wait until she hears about the drawbacks of uh estrogen and uh, cyproterone She's going to be real angry then. Oh, okay, so I'm going to go with that team. Yeah, the, the the team science who was like, hey, here's the risks, here's the reward, do you want to do this thing? And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, my my COVID experience is a mild cold, not I'm on a respirator thinking I'm about to die. That that part. But you do feel that way personally? Yes, and I think I, I would say that a lot of people do. You, really? After COVID, yeah. 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 Someone told me today that um, 
vaccine acceptance a lot of dumb people do for the conventional types of vaccines is way down oh yeah did a lot of it does make sense i hadn't known that yeah. but did a lot of parents are so bothered by the covid vaccine yeah. stuff lying around it, the harm that it's yeah doing. i mean how can we trust these medical yeah people? yeah she's she's anti-vax she's she's like full on she was she was full on into the QAnon movement like I'll have to bring up the uh, chuds of TikTok thing, but yeah, she's like fucking, she's in, she's fucking crazy. Since ever again, I had medical the medical institutions ask the Biden Biden DOJ to investigate me for reporting publicly available videos from these hospitals YouTube channels. They don't they want kids they're they're upset. No, that no I I the fucking hell! Like it's this is this is not the truth. This is not the truth. This is this is this is just liars again. People wanted you to take down tweets which had videos in them which pushed medical misinformation not the videos themselves of course people used like video like co people tr probably tried to use copyright to take down those videos because they short saw how fucking damaging your dumbass opinions were but to think that like your your views are confirmed just because you have a backlash is the definition of confirmation bias. No, that's not even confirmation bias. What do you even call that? I must be right because people disagree with me. Like, what is that? There has to be a name for that. Because that, that, that sounds to me like something... I want to look that up because uh, I'm interested. Name for I must be right because you disagree. Argument from ignorance? Maybe. From the title to my opinion. Ad ignorantium equivocation. No. Oh, false equivocation. Maybe. Um, argument from ignorance. Yeah, could be. Uh oh, boys are fighting again. Good day for you, Rx. What is the name of this? Non sequitur? Perhaps. <laughs> I forgot the day. I forgot my brother was watching. <laughs> oh, I think. Um, I think. Um, the younger, my younger nephew, um, thinks it, it is starting to learn what cheating is and doesn't quite understand it um cheating isn't when someone wins it's when someone does something wrong in order to win if someone breaks the rules in order to win i don't think sean tends to do that i'm sure he does sometimes but like yeah that's a hard one to teach but yeah uh yeah i think that's false equivocation FALSE EQUIVOCATION! If you know the... May I ask if you know the term for something? Because I know there was a word for the belief that when black people gain power, they'd want revenge for so... <laughs> um... Just desserts? <laughs> no, no, that's the same. That, that's, that's just, um... <laughs> yep. I see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not just desserts, but um, yeah, I think, uh, I, yeah, that's 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 just. I don't know. I don't know if this is this, this is white replacement bullshit. It's the same as white replacement. It's white people th worrying that um, that uh, the people that they did shitty things to are going to do the same things back.
but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of like the actual term, but um, it's the same kind of logic. It's like we would do it, therefore you would do it. Um, really? The slave ship? Paradox of slavery. No. Morality of revenge, slave morality. Uh, priest, the slave and master morality, the literary, literary revenge. Counting the slavery, can you outsmart pro slavery act? Ugh. Non-central fallacy. No, this doesn't have that. Just wipe genocide. Non-central fallacy. Oh, I like that. X is in a category whose archetypal member gives us a certain emotional reaction. Therefore, should we should apply that emotional reaction to X, even though it is not in a central category member. The non-central fallacy. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like this. This is actually a really good um a really good article. I like it. I'm gonna read Oh whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure about the, term, the the actual term, but that's an interesting thought. I'm just saying that they're giving kids mastectomies. And, I mean, how could you trust a medical institution that, that, is, that is promoting um, mutilating kids like that? They're not. You wonder what I'm sorry, but that's just not happening. That's not happening. And, and if it was, then you'd be able to prove it, but you haven't. So, get wrecked, scrub. Get good. Like the people who serve on the boards of these hospitals, you know, the local car dealer and the, all the local rich people who want to be on the board of... Again, unless you're talking about male circumcision, you know, unless you're talking about that thing that happens, I, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing that's happening. Baylor, Vanderbilt, or, you know, any of these hospitals, UCLA Medical Center that are really like, you know, throwing the big galas every year. Why don't they ever say anything about this, I wonder? Um, I think because that... it's not happening. People don't talk about things that aren't happening. Because if they were happening, that would be big fucking news, and there would be a big fucking outcry against it. But it's not happening. And your claims that it's... that, that, that... basically that is what, um... That, that, that's the confirmation that they have. They, they, they... she, she, she's conf... She, it's like a self-confirming bullshit. It's like karma. I don't believe in karma. Karma doesn't exist as long as billionaires do. I'm sorry. It sounds harsh, but that's truly, truly what I believe. It's just, yeah, there's, they're, 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 that, that's like saying, it to, to, to always talks about things that isn't happening. Like, like karma, like uh, karma, but... Oh, sorry, maybe I'm, like, uh, misreading, like, I mean, that's just kind of, but, like, it was a major belief that we can't... Oh, yeah, 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 you're, you're using it in a different term, sorry. 
I was thinking of uh, karma as in like the idea that um, like good things happen to you if you do good things, um, which is just not true. It's similar to the it's similar to it's as bullshit an argument to me as um, the argument that God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Uh. It's really unpopular in our culture to be a conservative, and conservatives are treated badly in our culture. It's that all the institutions are run by left. They, they, they are, are the most way. persecuted group. It's true. When you put on the MAGA hat, people don't see you for who you are. They only see the hat. I think a lot of them are probably scared of what would happen if they if they said that they disagree with with these things. Because by the way, definitely demanding that you tolerate the intolerable, like someone who does not tolerate other people. These people, like you know, higher right chick Tucker Carlson. Uh, here's my question for y'all. Uh, where was where? Tolerance was always something that was preached by the right wing, forever. As long as I, as long as I've been, like that was those were conservative values for me. That, that was what my parents taught me. Uh, as well, you did horrible shit and bad things happen to you. Everything sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're looking, if you're looking, ha ha, you get yours. Yeah, then, 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 yeah. Then, then, then. But the whole, there, the, there are people out there who actually believe in karma as like an actual force, which I can't understand. So that, 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 that's just a, a distillation of the worst parts of um, uh, contemporary Christianity for me. Every single one of these far-right reactionaries, uh, these hateful bigots, they don't want queer people to exist. That, that like, that's this. That, that's what this entire project is about. Yeah, you can make yeah. money along the way, and sure, if you endanger a couple of, you know, cis kids, who cares? Uh, there were the uh, sacrifices in in the march towards getting, uh, you know, queer people. And and she's already said that that queer people are evil. So it doesn't matter if it's a child to her. If that child, like, read um, Irre Irre Irreversible uh, Damage and uh, the other books that uh, people read. Um, watch um, Kaylin Conrad's videos about um, the uh, the uh, turf cult, the gender critical cult, right? Look at look at what they actually say and they actually talk about. They consider trans children to be possessed. They act and treat transgender children as if they have some form of demon that's got inside of them and they need to exercise it in order to get their children back and everything that the trans demon says to them is evil and so it is justified to them to do whatever is possible and if their kid kills themselves it wasn't their fault no no their kid was trying to um emotionally manipulate them like, this is how these people talk, and I got stuck. This is, this is, no, I'm not being hyperbolic, hyperbolic here, either. This is not hyperbole. Uh, hyperbole, damn it. This is not hyperbole here. Um, this is the language that they use in these books. It, 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 it comes across as more of an exorcism um, manual than an actual book about... Uh, it's an exorcism manual and a um, manual uh, it's an exorcism and um, abuse manual and how, of how to get away with abuse as well it's pretty fucked up um, so if yeah if you want to watch to read a non-fiction horror book found something scarier than the news folks eliminated from the earth you know, this is what everyone, this is what they have to do now. This is what they, they all have to, to agree with, with this, um, at least publicly. But I would not be surprised if a lot of them behind the scenes are actually horrified by it. I was taught as a child was a very popular phrase when I was a kid. And I'm paraphrasing, but all that's necessary for evil to flourish is for good men to do nothing. And I remember thinking, well, that's a little melodramatic. But I don't think it is. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, think, um, I think people are scared to speak up um, because... Um, well, I, I mean, that was a quote about the libs, the, the libs in World War II um, who uh, didn't do anything and then ended up being... Uh, 
pulled into a fucking war um and uh, pulled into the nazi ranks like that's that's what happens it's like the libs do nothing and then um yeah the the nazis fucking win that's it that, that, that's what's happened historically and that's the meaning of the phrase Tucker Carlson, you lying liar, who's lied so many times, I can't even count during this interview. I saw it with my account, the second you speak up or say anything, I mean, the left is going to come for you. Like, like you've never seen, and, and I'm lucky, I don't, I don't run the risk of losing my job. The I'm left? Lose my job. But like, a, they, a teacher, them, army. Example, who, who really doesn't agree with- Imagine that, like, your job is running a hate account that, like, endangers kids. Like, that's yeah. what you make money from. That's fucked. All of the uh, propaganda, the LGBT propaganda in schools, you know, if they say anything, they might lose their job. Yeah. So they're yeah. The difference between me and Egg in a Wig here is that I don't hate her. I don't need to hate her. I see the results of her actions upon the world and then look at the circumstances and I think to myself, well, hold on here. Like, what, what are we talking about here? Like, what, what, can, what, what is the actual, actual criticisms that we can make against them? Like, what can we actually do to fix these problems? Like, I can, you know, react to it and provide some entertainment for people, I suppose. Uh, but, like, yeah, I don't need hate to call you out for being a, a fucking awful person doing awful things. I don't have to make to turn you into I don't have to call you subhuman in order to want you stopped. That's the difference between me and her, I suppose. Like I see you as a human being who's made who has awful views based on probably a lot of factors from your childhood um that you haven't dealt with. Um I haven't been given the opportunity to deal with either you know like this stuff is oh, what the fuck is this what's all this a little house in the, in the middle of nowhere what's up hey hey what's up what's this place for some sort of like event area huh. future event maybe who knows um yeah I don't have to. I don't have to make you out to be some sort of like uh, oppress, like grand enemy that needs to be fought. Um, because at the end of the day, like I know that your opinions didn't come from you. Uh, they've been around for longer than you or I have been alive. The systemic problems that allow you to do the things that you are doing have been put in place for centuries. They've been part of the system from the start. And you're just trying to turn the ratchet back on fights that have been hard won throughout history. Fights that have been lost. And we know what happens when we lose those fights. And we should know better than to just allow this sort of hate speech to propagate. This is why it's bigger than just egg in a wig here. Is you know, like you crack that egg, another person come jumps up to fill their spot. It always happens, you know. Every time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that was annoying. Well, you've just had an amazing experience these last couple of years. Of just you've been thrust. Yes, I, I'm. I'm sure. I, I'm. Sh Oh, so the so, but I thought the attacks from the left were um, damaging, and that you know they were bad. Sounds like the left doesn't have the power that you think that they do, considering the fact that you weren't able to, that no one on the left was able to uh, get rid of you. It seems like you're oh, what are, what's the word? Um, lying again? 
sure the hateful, bigoted, anti-LGBTQ plus teachers are the ones suffering in these schools where it seems like people are targeting specifically trans people, gay people, queer people. They seem to be the targets. Uh, they, they seem to be the ones who are getting the death threats. And people who help them, say doctors, allies, anyone like that, they also seem to be the targets. It seems like that doesn't matter either. It doesn't matter. You, you can be cis, straight, uh, you can be everything. And as long it's as you're saying... Woman that doesn't have any personal thoughts. Well, they're doing more and more to try and replace them with um, black people now. Um, which is kind of, like, fucking disgusting in a lot of ways. Especially after the years of the years and years of Republicans um, claiming that de the Democrats, um, you know, use uh, black people as a puppet to uh, get their... Use, basically use black people to get their, get their um, legislation through, which is, you know... There's an argument to be had there, but uh, when you see the blatant uh, exploitation of um, people like Ye who need fucking mental health support and, uh, you know, pushing, pushing people like um, Herschel, was it Herschel Wallace or whatever his name was? Trying to, you know, trying to astroturf these organizations like they are that like lives of tiktok is like a literal um subvert like yeah subversion of um leftist um leftist uh um damn i'm good at words you know the fox news model yeah um <laughs> you know the fox news model like ever they all look the fucking same i swear like Like, R Rupert Murdoch Media has made it, like, so hard for me to, like, d differentiate between old, old, balding white men, honestly. Like, I was watching, um, the TV the other day. Oh, I, I, no, I wasn't watching the TV. I was, I went into a doc the doctor's surgery, looked up on the wall, and there was, like, a sports game, uh, playing, and, like, oh, I'm just like, oh, shit, it's, uh, it's Scott Morrison. Like, uh, what, wait, no, this is, uh, those are the nosebleed seats. Oh, it's just another bald balding white man. Herschel Walker. What did I say? Wallace, didn't I? Yeah. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. Like, it's not me trying to make fun. Like, one of the reasons I'm calling her Egg in a Wig is because I do not know, do not remember her name, and do not care to. <laughs> and I will forget her face after this uh, stream ends, because, like, she's basic as fuck. And that's why I call her an egg and a wig. It really doesn't matter what facial features she has. She's just fucking so generic. She's got the same shade as an egg. Don't mind trans people. It's like, what? Oh, you're part of the problem. It's you caught the woke mind virus. So as we go out, I'm just interested. I shouldn't do this, but I can't resist. <laughs> Since you've been through all of this and you've learned so much, let's make two columns here. Okay. Good guys, bad guys. Who are... Let's start with bad guys. Who are the people other than Taylor Renz who you think have... Who are the people that... Who are the people that you need to pay money to? Who are the people that you need to uh, kill? <laughs> fucking hell. Good guys versus bad guys. Fucking hell, this narrative. And I think, I, I honestly think that uh, Marvel culture feeds into this. When you when it comes down to it, like, Marvel culture feeds into this in such a way that makes you think that there's a bad guy that needs to be defeated in order for the good guys to, you know, save the world. And it's just like, no, no, no. There's, the things are more complicated than that. Things are much more complicated than that, and it's systemic problems that allow the bad people to get into power. That's why you need to change the systemic problems in order to prevent it in the first place. I've been the most unfair mm. and dishonest as you've watched this for the past. In regard to my account? Yeah, to your account, too. Was we just making a hit list live in 4K? Cool, fun stuff. Media figures who are really not covering the news, who are really lying on purpose. Um, so obviously, I mean, like, real estate agents are on a list, apparently, in America. Disavow? I disavow. Hey. Yes. Um, I would say Ben Collins. Stop trying to make Tay Tay a thing. It's like, ugh. you know what sucks is that now the right, uh, every time we watch a video, it's going to start out, it's going to be Ben Shapiro's like, yeah, so they call Tay Tay. You know, it'll, it'll open without a Steam card. Tay Tay! I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it. It's just to stop talking about it then, just like. It's, it's not even. I don't know, I don't understand it. Tay Tay today! This is really high up there. Yes. Um, don't give it any air. Yes, uh, previously. Yeah. I don't know, I think he's on the point now. It's the dumbest Before, thing ever. Um. <laughs> I think um, Yoel Roth, really? he came out looking really bad from all those Twitter files. Yes. And no, 
No, y'all didn't. He got slandered as again. A- Ooh. Oh, so the bitch that's making that's uh, p- that's uh, pushing a false groomer narrative is now trying to um, attack uh, another person who uh, is not a fucking predator. Like, I don't know if you've seen any of the Eli, I think it's Eli Roth, I think that his name is, um, basically Musk, um, was, but Musk doesn't like him, and Musk has a history of calling people he doesn't like pedophiles, no, no wonder why, you know, he gives preferential treatment to, uh, lives of TikTok at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's, uh, not surprising, um, yeah, uh, they're trying to call him a pedophile for talking about uh, the need for more safety protections for um, uh, queer kids to protect queer kids. So cool, good one, guys. What good good job? You're really protecting kids somehow pedophile by this time elon musk yes uh space daddy karen came by to be like uh you're you're a pedo uh it turns out what yul roth had done in terms of his writing that he's been slandered as a pedophile for was yes his thesis was a thesis paper in which uh there are young queer teenagers who are using social media even if they aren't of the age that they should be allowed to be on these apps such as grinder yeah like not nothing about that was sexualized and stuff like that you're just making it sexualized in order to like they shouldn't be on the apps but they are how do we protect them and police this how do we allow and give the social media the tools to be able to questions that every fucking parent has about their kids how do we protect our kids on on social media without being uh fucking fascists like that's it identify it and then isolate and take them away from predators that's that was the purpose of the thesis to actually this may surprise you protect kids like the right flips all this shit on its fucking head. It's like, well, oh, you know, Elon Musk tweeted it out. It must be true. He's got access to all the Twitter files. Turns out Yul Roth was a pedophile all along. No one knew. Good thing Elon Musk is here and completely fucking dismantled the trust and safety team. The very team that, yes, was preventing human trafficking of kids on Twitter. But apparently, according to the good Dr. Jordan Peterson, child porn is way down according to his measurements. I don't know how he's measuring this. I don't know what his uh, method is. But Jordan well, Peterson I, has claimed I can't that find the child it anymore, porn can I? is way down. Way down. Yeah, that, that, that's a uh, thing that happened. Invisible he walls. personally was the, on the, the, the team that made the decision to suspend my account. Um, and while knowing that I never violated the rules. So um, y'all came out looking really bad. Um, yeah, okay, like he was on the team. What did he say during those files? Yo? What, did, was he the one that, uh, you know, pressed the button, made the, made the call? Like he's in the group, so a group of people decided on that. So you don't like him, is what I'm hearing from this. And you're happy to uh, call him a pedophile. Like, I don't think you're saying what you think you're saying when you claim that Elo Roth was on, you know, the group of people that you don't like. You know, it's, it makes it less believable that uh, he is um, a predator in any way. Because um, you, you have reasons to dislike him, so you're just pedajacking him. Um, you piece of shit. From the surface, but also related to my. Account. Fuck off. Um, you know, so Get off my planet, off, uh, bitch. By the way, I'm not here to uh, defend millionaire uh, fucking, you know, he- uh, very high up uh, members of massive corporations that do decided damage. Um, but that's different from targeting a person and who happens to be gay, by the way, with this entire fucking pedo slander that is 100% factually incorrect. Like, it- it's the exact opposite of what you were saying. And still, everyone just pushes it like it's truth. Like, y- Yul Roth had to move because of the harassment, uh, because of the death threats, because of the fucking people stalking him immediately, who now all think that he's this, like, fucking pedo covering mastermind. Is... There are, there are some people that I feel like they're, they don't deserve to be mentioned by name. You know yes. what I mean? Like, I don't want to give them a oh, that, that's, that's totally fine. You pick three ones that I would, I would put on my list as well. People okay. went out of their way to lie yeah. and to cover for evil. Mm-hmm. Um, now, on the good side, you, you went through a lot and you did it alone. Is there anyone who reached out to you, who supported you, who took your yes. side? Yes. Um, first of all, you. Please. I really appreciate it. That's an easy one. Um, I will say this. When I was... This is so fucking masturbatory. Um, someone from Ron DeSantis' team called me. Really? Yes. And she said, um, the governor wanted me to get... Like, isn't that fucked? Shouldn't, like... 
If I remember, if I remember correctly, uh, wasn't um, Libs of TikTok in um, in communic in DMs with someone on Ron DeSantis's team? I seem to remember that. This be a problem? Isn't it like, well, you do have this massive social media platform and you use it primarily to do hate speech uh, where people get targeted, they get death threats, spawn threats, that kind of shit. Uh, yeah, probably not what politicians should be hanging out and being like, hey, high five. <laughs> we're, we're a team, aren't we? Your message. Um, he said, if you don't feel safe or you or your family, if you need a place to go to hide, to stay, you're, you can come to the governor's mansion. What? He said, we have a guest house for you and you can come and stay as long as you need. Wow. The governor of Florida. Yes. I, wow. I can't even. I was like, I was almost in tears. Like. The governor of Florida, like he has nothing but like. And you're living in California. I'm living in California, and he took time out of his, I'm assuming, extremely busy schedule. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's the governor of Florida, and to send someone to call me to make sure I'm safe. That's crazy. Unreal. And invite you to stay at his house. Yes. I agree. Yes. I agree. The, the, yes, that's crazy. What it is fucking? Is this not newsworthy? Is this a story at this point that we have high levels of fucking people associated with the governor of Florida being like, hey, if anyone's targeting you, you know, for all the hate speech you're doing, targeting the queers, all that kind of stuff, we can protect you. We got a safe house for you. Yeah, we got a safe house for you. The the, the hate account. Well, I'm so glad I asked that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was oh, incredible. This is such a fucking, ugh, this is it, like, it's just, it's disgusting on so many levels, but it's just wild to have Tucker Carlson just like, you know, set up this whole boring ass fucking uh, PR campaign, which is sure, just wonderful. Is there anything you can't do? You seem to be the smartest person on the world. W what did you say? 9,000 IQ? Wow, power levels rising. Well, I, 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 I don't even have the words for it. Like, so, so grateful, so grateful. Well, that's, ama that's an amazing story. Yeah. Your whole story is an amazing story. Yeah. I had, I'll just give a shout out also. Um, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene called me. Really? And she's like, I, <laughs> I'm just saying. You should ask Marjorie Taylor Greene what her thoughts are on the California wildfires and, and what caused the California wildfires. Yeah, ask you her should. That. You... Ask her, hey, you know the, the California wildfires? Did... Uh, uh, come on, Lance. Like, she's current. She 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 has backtracked. If, if there is one thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene has done is backtracking on the Jewish stuff because, like, yeah, she actually went to the... Um, Holocaust Museum, but she didn't actually believe in the Holocaust. Originally, <laughs> fucking hell. Are you are you aware of how uh, y'all voted for the these people? The origin story to the California wildfires. What you're going through, and I wanted to. Well, I mean, like Marjorie Taylor Greene went in uncontested, as far as I, if I remember correctly, and didn't actually have um, a proper competitor in that race. But uh, still, this is your fucking system, America. You know, you have my full support, and um, I support everything you're doing. And she's like, if you need anything, call me. You have my number. Really, really sweet. Like, you could not get a fucking higher five fashion endorsement. The fucking person who pals around with Nick Fuentes, until it's inconvenient, but pals around with the neo-Nazi Nick Fuentes and is completely fine going to Nick Fuentes meetings and talking to people, and then afterwards being like, what? Apparently that guy is not on the up and up. He doesn't seem to really like yeah, the MTG, MTG is What's fucking dumb. Yeah. Really? She, you know she no. actually is I dumb. Mean, we, I mean, we like interacted on Twitter. Like, I retweeted some of her stuff. She's retweeted some of my stuff. But she like took like. Really? I mean, it was a solid. Dude, she's a crystal. She's a crystal mummy who like fucking decided that uh, she knew enough about um, politics to run, without even knowing that the Holocaust happened. Are you fucking surprised? Like Americans, why do you keep on Pikachu facing over this shit? Like half hour out of her day to call me. Ooh, this one is this one's burning up pretty fast. Well done, everybody. This one's already at 647 likes, 77 retweets. Oh God, the engagement, 7,586 views. I didn't want to know that. Now I hate this. All these numbers are poor, very poor. The day I was off, and just be like, you know, you're incredible. You're so brave. Stay strong. I was, I mean, like that meant so much to me. I just love knowing that. I love knowing what people really like. Yeah. You know, and you don't really know. You don't really get to know no, you their don't. personal no, side. No, you don't. And I'm so glad I could share this now. And like, I mean, you would, like, and, and you yourself also, like you, you have also I'm so much on your plate. You know, you do your show. No, no, it's, I mean, but that is you what, I, like, that is what I do. I'm not an elected official. Yeah. Those are people who have actual responsibilities. Just, yeah. <laughs> and they take time talk show. out of their day to, to, like, to call me and to show that they cared. Um, those were the two that really stuck out. Amazing. Did, did you plan this? Like, were you like, okay, so for the final five minutes, we're just going to inflate each other's egos publicly? Just like a thing after thing? You're so great. <laughs> it's, you're so great. No, no, you. You're really great. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, that's my favorite question I've asked today. Because <laughs> the answer is just so wonderful. <laughs>
Do you have an Insta? Uh, oh, I was about to say I usually have it down here, but I guess I've replaced it with the talk tick. Uh, yeah, it's the same as everything else. I think it's the Surf's TV on, on I don't post a lot. I post Chico, obviously, because Chico's so cute and can do no wrong. And uh, here's a Christmas picture of Chico to wash all this horrifying transphobia away. Oh, that's a very show, cute picture. Look, isn't this better? Doesn't everything feel good now? It's just like, oh, fresh fresh air. Look, he's such a good boy. He's such an amazing boy. What a, what a, a great, boy. What a great baby. He can do no wrong. And that's all I got to say. Chico is uh, Chico is good. Hire right chick bad. In, in that order. Chico good. Hire right chick bad. And now you know the rest of the story. Do you enjoy the surfs, but prefer not to hey, have to use your Hey, and we're done. Well, we've Woo. got a solution for you. It's the Surf oh Diaries, gosh. the podcast form. Available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out. Apparently, a long free, video. Just like the I'm, uh, I'm a bit We're tired. I'm gonna finish up for today. So yeah. Um, there's anything you need to take away from this? From all of this, is that it's all based on a, on the lie that anything libs of TikTok has reported on is legitimate. That's a lie. It's a complete and utter lie at the end of the day. Not one of the videos she's shown of a queer teacher has had anything to do with grooming. Not one. And there's no argument to be had there. It's all based on lies. And trying to argue the points aside from that to allow them to shift the goalposts on, and the points in the argument, they need to provide evidence of grooming. They have not. And that's the most important thing to take away from all of this situation. Egg in a wig doesn't matter. Tucker Carlson doesn't matter. Like, all of these people will be, will be replaced if they disappear or, like, stop doing what they're doing. Um... But yeah, it's just important to take care of yourselves in all of this. Um, so until the next time, uh, take care of yourself, uh, take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. And I'll let you know. I'll let you. I'll I'll let you know through Twitter and through uh, the Discord with a like we're going ahead with tomorrow. Um. Yeah. Bye for now.